top of the morning to you everyone day two this is the brother presented by allbrands.com booth streaming um virtually at the virtual houston international quilt festival 2020 so welcome everyone we're going to take just a quick five minutes just to get settled in and then we have our special guest becky Thompson from Power Tools with Thread. After each video today, we're going to be doing a live giveaway. So you have to be here to present to win. Um, and so good luck there. So uh, we'll see you in just a moment. At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Okay, hi everyone. I'm gonna stop that early just so that we can dive in and meet our fun, amazing influencer, Becky Thompson, vlogger from Power Tools with Thread. I won't waste any time. I'll bring her in and say hello. Hi, Becky. Let me bring all of you in and then we will. Yes, hi Becky, Becky. how are you? Good morning, and good morning, everyone that's watching. All of your fans Including are here. Including the one on oh, my ceiling. Trisha. Can you turn off the camera on my laptop? There we go. <laughs> Got it. Barbara and I are getting used to this technical thing together. I am so pleased to see all of my uh, my friends from our Power Tools with Thread Facebook group, too. We have a wonderful group of people about... About four and a half thousand now that uh, just like to get on and share inspiration 
uh, of their quilting and machine embroidery adventures. And so I'm really pleased to be here. Thank you again for having me, Barbara. Thank you so much for coming on the show. And we have some exciting uh, products to show from Brother and, and even some other special things. So take it away, Becky. Okay, so yesterday I have a little bit of an introduction. For those who were not here, I'll let you know again. I am retired from the U.S. Air Force after 20 years. And I just recently retired from Air Force Civil Service to follow my passion here and help uh create a love of sewing and embroidery. And it, this has just been an amazing ride. Well, one of the things that I absolutely love to do is to combine quilting and embroidery. And the very best way to do that is with applique quilts. And I'd love to make applique quilts because the possibilities are just endless. And yesterday I showed how we made Autumn Owl and I will provide a link below, or I, I always say that because of my videos, I will provide a website at the end of this where you can uh, order Autumn Owl and you can get a free Santa hat embellishment. During the show, the 3rd through the 5th of December, you'll get the free Santa hat embellishment with the uh, leaves and the berries. And this is from Pamelama Joe Designs. Thank you, Jana. It was my pleasure. So. I did yesterday talk about how, why the Brother Scan and Cut is really the ideal cutting machine. I'm touching it right here. We're gonna turn the camera in just a minute. Why it's the ideal cutting machine for quilters. Because as we get a little older and our fingers don't wanna work as well, it is a lot easier to let the Scan and Cut cut the fabric for you. And the Scan and Cut is the only cutting machine on the market that has a scanning ability. And today I wanted to show you this other pattern. This is Patchwork Pines for Christmas by Bunny Hill Designs. And I will also, on the link, there is a discount code for this one as well that I'll provide the website when we're finished. And inside of this one, the applique pattern is this Christmas tree. There are a dozen, oh, let me move this back, there we go. There are a dozen of these Christmas tree appliques in this pattern. Well, and they all have four pieces to them. So who wants to cut out 48 Christmas tree bows? bows? Not me. <laughs> so I wanted to show you how great it is to be able to cut all of these by scanning in a single page into the scan and cut. And we're gonna upload this into the Brother Canvas, which is a cloud. And don't be worried about going to anything about the cloud. You're just going to upload it because the scan and cut has wireless capability. So you will, you will upload the design that is scanned in and it will go to the brother cloud. And then we're going to go to my laptop and we're going to, you're going to watch me maneuver the pieces to get them ready for cutting. Then we're going to download the design and brother has come out, has a, 24 inch mat. This thing is huge. This is a giant mat. I've already got it prepped with the fabrics. And we're going to cut out all of the pieces. We're going to be able to do four trees at a time. So in just a few minutes, you're going to be able to cut four trees. You run this thing through three times and all of your pieces are cut and ready for applique. So let me show you how to do this. Now, most patterns, when you scan in a pattern into the scan and cut, it doesn't like dotted lines. See how the lines are dotted? And as applique quilters, we all know that the lines, the dotted lines mean that you have an overlap right there. Well, to do this, you would just need to trace just like you normally would. You would normally have to trace that pattern onto the, uh, the heat and bond and then iron the heat and bond onto your fabric and then cut out your fabric with scissors. Well, all you need to do is trace it one time. So I'm only tracing four pieces. I did have the little trunk down here, but I cut that off because that's just a two inch strip that you can rotary cut quick and you know make 12 little um, tree stumps. Trunks, not stumps, trunks. 
So you only have to trace these one time. And it's really very easy. And I wanted you to see, I made a little boo-boo right in here where I made a mistake. That's okay because the scan and cut only looks at the doesn't look at the inside line. So it's really easy to do these. And this is so nice that you don't have to trace 48 pieces. You only have to trace four. So we're going to use the scanning mat. I'm going to move my camera just a little bit. <laughs> I'll come in and just say hey so you guys don't get seasick. And it's so great to see your comments. Thank you so much for uh, saying hi. Um, that's really wonderful. Okay, so we're ready to go. I'm turning on my machine. Okay, so this down just a little bit. Maybe it's a little better. I need a camera. Barbara. Hey, Becky. <laughs> so, Becky, your audio is just a little bit um, low. So, if you could just speak up just a little bit so everyone can hear you, that would be great. Okay. All right. Is that a little better? Oh, yeah. Is that a little better? Uh -oh. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh oh okay technical difficulties no worries though because while becky's um computer's coming up we can do our live giveaway now and just get that out of the way um <laughs> unfortunately we have no control over wi-fi which is just this enigma <laughs> you know guys it's so funny but let's just make a positive out of a negative and i'm going to give away a ten dollar allbrands.com gift card right now. So if you guys go ahead and comment down below in YouTube or Facebook, I see both. And I'm going to choose a winner for our allbrands.com gift card. Um, so give me some comments. Becky, can you hear me now? I think your computer disconnected. So okay all right so give me some comments down below and i'm going to let becky know about her computer um let's see and there we go let's see she says she can't hear me it's because her audio is on her thing so um let's see hold on just a second um lost your computer sorry guys all right <laughs> is that better oh i can hear you now yay I, yeah we just lost connection to your computer but i promised the giveaway so before i forget let me um check a name i love to win oh my gosh and i got we have so many people in here this is such a good group don't you love sewing and embroidery and quilting so do i okay i'm gonna close my eyes and click a name and congratulate congratulations, Pat. Please email events at allbrands.com your name, email address, and phone number. And I will get that $10 allbrands.com gift card emailed to you on Monday. Congratulations, Pat. All right. Are you ready, Becky? Yes, ma'am. All right, here she is. all it has no sticky it just has a and this keeps all the fur baby fur and dust and whatnot off of whatever it is you want to scan so you get a nice clean scan and i'm just going to put my tracing where i filled in the dotted lines underneath that flap on the mat and we're going to scan it So let me bring the camera over so you can see. On the scan and cut, you have 
you can pull up patterns or you can scan. And that's what we want to do right now. So you have three buttons here. Home, there's your mat, load and unload and a pause. And I'm going to load my mat. Okay, and we just want to scan it. And you've got three different choices here. You can do a direct cut, scan to cut data, or scan to USB. And we're going to do a scan to cut data and start. It takes just a moment. And Becky, yes. while you're scanning it, if you could, I see that your computer screen has the login for StreamYard. If you could just log in with that again um, on that screen. And since we have so many folks watching right now, I'm going to do another giveaway in this video. But Yay. the next one is going to be for a $20 allbrands.com gift card. So I see awesome. you again there now. So uh, <laughs> we have luck on our side. Here you go. Okay. So once you've done your scan, you have three choices and you can see the pieces here. You have three choices. You can do just the outside. You can do inside and outside, or you can do just regions. And so since there's nothing in here that I need inside, we're going to choose just the outside. And I'm going to tell it, okay, it's got everything that I want. And this little line down here at the bottom is the edge of the paper. And we're going to get rid of that in the cloud. So I'm going to tell it, okay. You can do all of this on the machine. It's just easier in the cloud. So now it wants to know where do you want to save it? To the machine, to the cloud, or to a USB? Well, I want to save it to the cloud. It takes just a moment. And then, Barbara, you can switch over to my computer screen. Okay, can you hear me, Barbara? Loud and clear. Great, great. Okay, so when you first open up the Brother Canvas workspace, and this is free uh, to have an account here, you would go to My Projects, and there is the design that we just saved, and you can download it or you can edit it, and I wanna edit. So I'm going to click on the Edit button, and the easiest way to clean, what, what, what I call clean up the mat, that's the very first thing you need to do to make sure you don't have anything on here that you don't want. And so I'm going to grab the pieces that I want to keep and I'm going to move them off of the mat. Just grab them with your mouse and drag them. It's really easy. And then I take my mouse and put it up here in the upper corner and drag it down to the bottom. And then I'm just going to hit the delete key on my keyboard. And that cleans up my mat. And now what I want to do is put everything back on the mat that I'm going to keep. This is so fun, you guys. I love doing this. I have such a good time with it. Okay. And I'm going to turn this one around so we can maximize space. Now, if you're... If your pattern requires being mirrored, you need to pay attention to that just in case. Okay, so now I want to make a whole bunch of these. And by default, you can tell the mat is a 12-inch mat. So you want to go to Project. And right here, you're going to change your mat size from 12 by 12 to 12 by 24. Just hit that, and now you can see how big, how now you have the 24 inch mat. That gives us a lot more landscape to be able to cut a bunch of these. So what I wanna do, first of all, I'm gonna highlight all of them and they get little blue dotted lines around them when they're highlighted. And I'm gonna right click and group these and make them one object. And what's really nice is that you can see now how big a piece of fabric that you need. So I need a piece of fabric that is almost five by 10. So I'll use a five by 10 inch piece of fabric. That's so handy. Now, now that it's highlighted, I'm going to right click 
to get a new menu and I'm going to click copy and right click again and click paste. And I'm going to move that. You can kind of see where center line is on the mat and where the six inch markings are on the mat. And I'm going to click paste again, right click paste and come down a little further and right click paste. There we go, that's it. I'm all finished. I am ready to cut. So now I'm gonna hit download. Now another beauty of the scan and cut is it gives you two options to download. This is the scan and cut transfer where you're gonna transfer your cutting design. But this right here, if you notice this file extension right here, it says FCM, that FCM file will allow me to download a file that can be imported into either BES4 software or Brother Simply Applique. And then it will create the entire applique file for me that I can use in an embroidery machine. So I would be able to have it do the placement stitch, the tack down stitch, and the final blanket or satin stitch around my pieces. It's an amazing way to fully automate applique quilting. But right now we're just going to cut. So I'm going to hit transfer and it's done. It says it's all ready. It's all ready to go. I'm going to hit close. So back over here to my phone. So, and Simply Applique is an embroidery software by Brother, and it's amazing for doing applique with the scan and cut and embroidery. And I have an entire series of videos on my channel where I show how to do this step by step. So now that we've finished with everything for the scanning part, now we want to do the cut part. So I'm going to hit the home button. And it says, is it okay to delete all the patterns? And yes, it is. I'm going to tell it okay. And now I need to load my mat for the 24-inch mat. But the first thing I want to do is retrieve data. And it says, where do you want to retrieve it from? From the machine, the cloud, a USB, or maybe I'm cabled to my laptop. I want to get it from the cloud. And there it is. And you can tell you have the 24 inch mat when there's an arrow down here at this part. If you touch it, you can see the bottom part of it. Okay. And I'm going to tell it, okay. Hold on a moment. I need to load my mat, Barbara. So I'll be just a second. Okay, so we are all ready to go. Now, what I want to do is to be able to scan the fabric. As you can see here, I have fabric already on the mat, and it is already backed with heat and bond, and I want to scan it. And so I'm just going to hit this blue scanning mat right here, and I'm going to press start. And that's going to scan the entire mat. And what it's doing is taking a picture of all of the fabric. And this gives you an opportunity to move your pieces around if maybe they're not in the right position. So as you can see here, can you see the screen pretty good, Barbara? Yes. Great. So as you can see, all of these pieces are on this green piece of fabric. And these have all made it just right onto that piece of red fabric. And it looks like everything is okay. I think I need to go into the settings and uh, cut area. See how it's um, 12 by 12. I need to change that to the 12 by 24 and tell it okay. Okay. Now when I hit this button, now we can see the rest of them as well. It looks like it's perfect and it's ready to go. So I'm going to tell it okay. 
and it says, please select. I want to cut and start. So in less than three minutes, it's going to cut out four of those trees. That's amazing, Becky. And you can only do the 12 by 24 on the SDX 230 and the 225, but the other models don't. Well, I have the SDX 225. Let me back my camera up so you can see the top of my head. I'll back me up too. There we go. So the SDX 225 and higher. So there's a 230, and I think there's some other numbers as well. Have the ability to scan a 24-inch mat. Any numbers of the SDX series that are below 225 cannot scan the mat. And so you want to be sure to get the, the, the brother scan and cut that can see. If you're going to do a lot of applique, you want to be sure to get the one that's going to be able to scan in like we just did right there. So it you know for sure that all of your pieces are going to actually fit on the fabric and it's going to cut them out just right. So you cannot do that with any model of the scan and cut that is under the 225. So anyway, so we're cutting them out now, Barbara. I don't know how much time we have left, but um, that's essentially what I wanted to show. Yeah, so uh, I see Reen backstage. I'm sure that we can go up, uh, just wait till the end um, to show your designs. But I did promise a $20 All Brands gift card. And I did want to tell you about, so this is the special below for the 225F. That is the what you're seeing on Becky's side. And when I came in earlier and I was muted, I was showing you my SDX 230D. That's the Disney model. And that one includes over $1,000 of accessories in the box. So I did comment a link to shop these products. Um, so it's the, the better deal is the Disney version because of all of the extras that you get. You get the rolling tote as a rebate. It's only $8.99 free shipping in the continental usa if you're outside of louisiana and texas you don't pay sales tax and guess what they're both in stock and available online which is unheard of that was never available you had to walk into a dealer to get both of these models so thank you brother for allowing us to sell that virtually um with these uh, with with this great bundle so give me a comment down below and we are going to be doing a Giveaway for the $20 allbrands.com gift card. I forgot to mention too, on both of those scanning cuts, you can finance that for six months, 0% financing with Synchrony Financial. So let me close my eyes, pick a winner. Eartha Lewis, oh, it's so good to see you again. Oh, I love you so much. And congratulations, you won a $20 allbrands.com gift card to shop online. So um, email me at events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number, and I will email that to you on Monday. Congratulations. So Earth. Barbara, it's all finished cutting, and I just want to show how easy it is to just take these. We're just going to peel off. Look at that. It just peeled right off. No more scissors. I love it. I absolutely love it. It did amazing. Sometimes one thread will get caught and you know, that happens, especially when you're live. But there's the second one I just peeled off. So see how easy it is to get your applique quilts done. Uh, just you can get it done in just a minimum amount of time. Again, if you are interested in any of those patterns that I showed earlier, please go to my blog, PowerToolsWithThread.com. And I also have a YouTube channel, Power Tools with Thread, where I show lots of videos on how to use the scan and cut, incorporate that into your quilting, and how to use Simply Applique and BES4 to be able to let the embroidery machine do all the work for you. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you so much, Becky. And we'll see you again tomorrow at 10 o'clock. And you'll be talking about some more um, applique printed designs. So don't miss out on that. And we have a full day of demos. So next up is Reen Wilcoxon. And we'll take a short little five minute break and then I'll bring her in. So thank you so much, Becky. We really thank appreciate you. you coming on the show. Thanks everyone for joining. All right, we'll see y'all in five minutes.
At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Welcome back again, everyone. And we have Reen Wilcoxon from Embroidery Garden. She's not only from Embroidery Garden, but she founded Embroidery Garden. She's super inspiring. Here she is. I will bring her in. Hi, Hi Reen. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi, welcome. <laughs> yeah, and we'll be doing a giveaway at the end of this. So everybody let us know where you're watching from. Comments get you eligible to win uh, at the end of this presentation. So what are you going to show us well, today, Well, I'm going to show you how to make a cork key fob. So what I was going to do is Cute. I was going to do this one and, you know, show you how to cut the file. This is a file I made in software. But last night I was thinking, you know, what fun is it for you just to watch me cut something and sew it together? So I'm going to show you now how to create your own file directly on the screen of the scan and cut. Yay, Rhonda's here. Okay, so I'm going to head right on over to the scan and cut. I'm going to change my camera view here. Whoops. Sorry, turn my camera off instead of switching it. Okay. So we're over at the scan and cut and I have the brother scan and cut the DX uh, 225. 
And I'm gonna show you again how to make this cute little key fob directly on the machine. Now to make a key fob, we need three pieces. We need just a long strip that's for the back. And we need a strip that has the cutouts in it so that our fabric can shine through those cutouts. So let's get started. So to start, we need to come up with the little hearts like this one has in it. So let's go to pattern. I'm gonna go into the basic shapes and let's scroll down and find that heart that I used. And there it is. Now you have to make little small cuts in the uh, key fob. So I size these down to a half of an inch. And you can see that it's going proportionally down to the half inch. Let me, whoops. I want to make sure it's a half inch. Okay. Now I'm going to hit set. And I, I want to edit it. Here's a little heart up here if you can't see it. There it is. So let's go into edit. And now I want to go into object edit because I need more of these little hearts. So this icon here, the box with the plus sign, that's gonna allow me to make more of the exact same shape that I have on the screen. And I kind of guesstimated that I needed 16 of these. So I'm just gonna click it until I get 16 and hit okay. Now I'm gonna hit okay again because I'm not gonna be doing anything on this screen. I'm not doing anything on this screen, so I'm gonna hit okay. This is the screen I want to be at. I want this icon right here. I'm not quite sure what the actual name of that icon is, but I'm going to call it the arrange icon. And I'm going to click on that because what it's going to do, it's going to give me some options of how to arrange all those hearts. I'm going to click the top one. And you can see it's put them up here at the top. They're all evenly spaced and they're all kind of going at a little bit of an angle. So I'm going to choose that. That's what I want. We're going to go back into edit. And now you can see there's a red box just around one of them, but I want a red box around everything. So I'm going to click the select. And this button here is select all. Now you can see that a little red box went around all each one of those individual hearts. I'm going to click OK. Now I need to group these together because they're still just, I could move one of them and it would move and I wanna be able to move them all together. So if I go into object edit, this is the group button right here. And now you can see it put a red box around all of those hearts. So if I want to, I can move these anywhere I want and they all stay together. I want to rotate this because I'm gonna be cutting it uh, vertically because I, I only have a few scraps of uh, cork left and my pieces are going vertical. So this is the rotate button. And I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. And you can see that there's all of my hearts. I'm done with the cutout, the center part of the fob. So let's just move that over to the side and get it out of our way. We're gonna hit okay. I need to get back to the screen where I can add something to it. I'm gonna hit okay again. And here's my add button. Now we need to make the two long um, vertical, tri I'm sorry, rectangles that we need because we need a piece, a solid piece for the back and we need a piece to go around these hearts so it will cut out the rectangle and then put the little heart cut out inside of the rectangle. So I'm gonna hit add. We're gonna go into the patterns. We're gonna go back into the basic pattern built into the machine. And let's scroll down until we see a, this rectangle right here. Whoops. Okay, so it put that rectangle up on the screen. And I'm just gonna hit set. It puts it up here. I, I'm gonna have to rotate this rectangle and I can't rotate it if it's up in a corner. The machine thinks that there is no room to rotate it. So let's just kind of move it here to the center. 
I'm going to go ahead and um, hit edit. We're going to edit the object because we're going to rotate it. Here's that rotate button again. And I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. Hit OK. Now we need to size this. So this is the size button right here. And for a key fob, I usually make mine 11 and a half inches high by one and a quarter inches wide because I'm using one and a quarter inch key fob hardware. So let's start to resize the height. If you notice it while I'm pressing the plus button to increase the height, the width is increasing also. I don't want to um, resize this proportionately. I want to be able to work with the height and the width individually. So I'm going to click this little icon right here. And that's going to allow me to only change the height. And I need it to be 11 and a half inches. Okay, almost there. Go back down, get it to be 11 and a half. And the width needs to be one and a quarter because that's the size of hardware that I'm using. Okay, almost there. Okay, now I'm there. Now, I need another one exactly like this because one of these is going to be for the back. One of them is going to go over the heart and be the front. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go back to this Add button like I did when I added all those hearts. I already have one. I need two. So I'm going to hit the plus to uh, make it two. Hit OK. And now I'm just going to move one of these way over here to the left, because that'll be my back piece. And let me just kind of move it a little bit. Now I need to, um, I, I want to center this piece. So let's go to OK. I'm going to go to Move. Now I know it's hard to see, but it put a little plus mark let me select that one. It put a little plus mark right there. Um, and that's the center of this long rectangle. Let me move it out of the way just for a, a little bit here. Now, what I'm going to try to do is if you see this darker vertical and horizontal line on the um, mat, right there is center. So let me just kind of get it close. And I'm going to hit the magnifying glass. And I know it's hard to see, but there's the little plus sign right there. And I'm going to use these arrows here to fine tune it and move it where it needs to be. So I'm just lining up that plus mark in the center of the rectangle with the center of the grid. And that looks good to me. I can see that it's right there. Now we're going to have to move the um, all these hearts. Let me just select them and let me just get them over in the general direction. Okay. Now, when I was doing this, I fi figured this out that this top grid line here, if I put the top of the hearts along that grid line, it's going to be centered. So let me use these fine tuning tools again. Another thing I'm doing is I'm centering it uh, sideways and then I'm going to center it up and down by making the top of the heart even with this grid line here. So I think it needs to come down just a smidge. And as I look at it, it looks like it's good. I want to check the bottom though of the uh, fob. So if I use this down arrow here, it's going to take me down to the bottom of my mat because I am zoomed in at 200%. And that looks good. It looks like I am right there along this placement line. So let's say OK. Now I want to get this key fob, the front part of the key fob. I want to move it over here because I don't want to cut it like this and waste all this cork here in the center. So let's hit OK. And then we're going to go and we're going to select. Now I only want to select what's here in the middle of the mat. So I'm going to use this select um, icon here. It lets me choose what I want to select. I don't want to select my, um, my back piece that I have over there. 
So let's just bring it in. And all I got to do is um, not have that in the uh, selection box. Hit OK. Whoops, I didn't, I didn't get it all. So let me go back to the selection. Now let me hit OK. I've got the two pieces selected, the hearts and the outline, the rectangle outline for the front. But they're still two separate pieces. I have the rectangle and I have the heart. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to go back into Object Edit. And we're going to group those two pieces. Now it's one piece. And I can take this and I can move it anywhere I want. So I'm going to move it close to that other one. And if I want, I can use the move button and I can, you know, play with it and get it. I don't want them touching, but I want them really close. I'm actually going to click on the back piece. I'm going to move it over a little bit because like I said, I don't have a whole lot of cork left. I do know that brother has just come out with um, cork. So let me just get it close. Okay, that's going to be good. All right, we're ready to cut. So I'm going to hit OK again. Now at this point, after I've done all this work to create this, I want to save it. So if you click Save, you have the ability to save it to the machine, or I've got a USB stick in the side, I could save it to the USB. But I'm ready to cut. I'm going to hit OK. Please select. And we are going to cut. All right, so what I'm going to do, um, one second, hit cut. And why isn't it letting me cut? Oh, I don't have the mat in. <laughs> so I'm going to have to move the camera back so that I can load the mat. And I shouldn't make it too bad moving. I got the screen green, so move away. <laughs> or, uh, okay. <laughs> move freely. <laughs> just let me All know. Right, I'm just going to get it set up. Great. I love how Brother mm -hmm. always tells you like exactly what to do <laughs> whenever it's like <laughs> something happens. It just has that little message up there. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Okay. Yeah. I need a man in, I guess. It's like Can a family you member that's brutally honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your brother or your sister, right? Right. Can you see the mat? Yes, I can. Are you ready to okay. come back in? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I've already taken my cork, and I have just placed it on my mat right side up. I'm going to use my brayer and just kind of roll it down because I want it to stick well. And I did take a few pieces of tape and taped it around just to be sure. So now I'm going to load my mat. Here's the button to load it. And it's going to load it. And then we're going to cut it. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and cut it because I think we're going to be good on, um, you know, get fitting them both in there. And I'm going to hit start. Normally, you might want to do a test cut, but I did a cork demo yesterday, and I did practice the key fob last night, and so I know I'm going to be able to cut the cork. It's going to take under two minutes now to cut it. it just okay, so while you do that, do you mind if I do my giveaway now? Sure. The $10 Albrands.com gift card. Okay, so if you guys want to be eligible to win, Give me some comments down below. Um, <laughs> let us know. Just something fun. And um, I see Tammy and and Giselle in the background. So our next presentation is our tour of our San Antonio location. We actually have seven retail stores in Louisiana and Texas, and they're all offering quilt show specials during the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, so what is the special on the scan and cut? Very good, very good deal. So on the 225F, you get a $50 allbrands.com gift card, a rebate for a duffel bag, and it's only $5.99 with free shipping in the continental USA. If you're outside of Louisiana or Texas, 
then you don't pay sales tax when you check out online. And then the Disney version, which I'm kind of partial, Mickey, you know, <laughs> I love the Disney version because it has even more included accessories in the box, over $1,000 worth of extras. It's only $8.99 with free shipping. You can finance both of those for six months through Synchrony Financial. And with the 230DX, you get a rolling tote bag. So I'll go ahead and just bring that up on the screen so that you can see what that looks like. Um, this is the tote bag um, right here. <laughs> on our uh, on our specials. So $75 all brands gift card, the tote bag and the vinyl roll feeder and the project book only $8.99. So, uh, so let me pick a winner. Um, and let's see, giveaway time. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes to everybody. And Joy Rainier said, I love embroidery garden too. And congratulations. You can check out on allbrands.com. Email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number. And I will email you that $10 gift card on Monday, Joy. So congratulations on that. And I'll bring Rain back in. Okay, so it's finished cutting. And all I'm going to do is pull the cork off. This is always the fun part to me. And this is our first strip, our solid strip. And this is the one that's gonna have the little hearts in it. And you can see the hearts are sticking to the mat. And so I have my two pieces. I have my front piece, I have my back piece, and I have my strip of fabric, which can also be cut on the scan and cut. All you have to do is size your rectangle the right size. Um, there are going to be other presenters, though, showing how to cut uh, fabric, so I didn't do that part. So how do you get your key fob together? Take your fabric and place it on the back side of the uh, heart cutout piece. And I'm just going to lay it down here in front of me so I can um, get it lined up really well. These are so fun to make. You look so cute today, Reen, and I love thank your you. room and your home and your beautiful embroidery designs that you created. Oh, thank you. you. Just gorgeous. And I'm so excited about your favorite things where we're doing a Scan and Cut giveaway. Right. All Brands has generously donated a Scan and Cut to my favorite things. It's an annual event I do every year, and um, I'm so happy that uh, that they did that. That is just fantastic. Very generous of them. So now to put the key fob together, again, I just have the fabric, you know, back here behind the heart cutouts. I put the solid back piece on. So you see the right side of the cork on both sides. I like to use these little tiny clips. I want to hold it together. And did you know your luminaire can actually sew? <laughs> it can. So I'm going to use my luminaire and when you go into sewing, it just parks the arm over to the left-hand side. I've gone into sewing. I'm gonna use step uh, stitch number 1-07. It's kind of a, I don't know, here's the finished one. Maybe you can get a good look at what that stitch is. I thought it was kind of neat. Got so cute. It is. I love it. And I got matching bobbin thread in the machine and you know, I could bring my camera over here really quick. The other camera. Just to line it up. So, I mean, if you wanted to really see how I'm going to stitch this out. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to have time to stitch it all together, but you will get the idea, definitely. So let me go to my other camera. It'll just go a little bit closer to the machine. So we got about three minutes, Reen. Okay, so I've thread uh, in the top matching in the bobbin. I'm going to I've got my J foot on and I'm just going to stitch along the each long edge. And I'm just going to line it up. I'm going to hold it um, even with the um, edge of the foot here. We just kind of get it lined up first. And I'm ready to sew. So it's kind of doing like almost like a triple stitch. It's kind of going back and forth and it's actually putting a single stitch in between these little back and forth stitches that it makes when i get close to the 
clip. I'm just going to stop, take the clip out, and continue stitching. And I'm going to go down one side. I'm going to go down the other side. I don't think you need to kind of watch how I do that. I mean, that's pretty, pretty, um, pretty simple. And then all we do is bring the two ends together. I do like to take my uh, machine and stitch across them so these pieces don't shift when you are crimping on your hardware. And you that can see- That is so cute, Reen. I love it. I thought it was a cute little project. And the Scan Cut has so many little simple shapes built in. There are stars, there are um, you know, circles, diamonds, all kinds of things that would look really cute. Judy wants to know how I find the favorite things. Go to Embroidery Garden's Facebook page, click on events, scroll down, you will see favorite things and just click on it and indicate that you are going and you will get a notification when I go live. I have got the scan and cut to give away. I've got two sewing machines to give away. I've got a thread storage system, a pressing station, gift card, patterns, fabric. I mean, it's, my sponsors have been very generous this year, so it's going to be a great time. Yay. <laughs> so thank you so much, Reen, for coming on the show. Uh, oh, from, yeah. I, let's not forget the uh, discount code for embroiderygarden.com. The discount code to get 20% off during the festival here is Quilt Fest 20. So use that in bordergarn.com. Yay. Oh my gosh, there's so many great deals happening right now. Uh, <laughs> and all those great gifts, Reen, too. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming on the show. And we will Thanks. see you. Um, let's see, tomorrow, same time, same channel. So yep. <laughs> uh, a little different video, but <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> same time. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Reen. And I think that we're going to just transition. I see. Um, I see Tammy and Giselle in the background. Do you want to say hey to them with me? Sure. Okay, I'm going to bring them in on the screen. Hi, Hi. guys. Hi, Barbara. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. So Tammy and Giselle are 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 in our San Antonio location, and y'all are just so festive. <laughs> We had a lot of fun picking headbands today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Reen, for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Barbara. Bye. Bye. Bye, Reen. Okay. Hi, guys. I hear the store is super busy today. Um, it is. So tell us what's going on. Just customers coming in looking for fabric, getting needles and supplies. Couple machine repairs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just a, a lot of a little bit of everything. Yeah. So why don't you um, show us a little bit about the store and, and take us on a little tour? All right. All right. Let, me, let me change our view here. Okay. I'll come in while you're doing that. And we will also be doing a giveaway at the end of this. So be sure to stick through to the end. And here they are. Oh, and Rosemary says, y'all look festive. Yes, I love it. Aww. Hi, Rosemary. Hey, Ro. All right. Okay, we just set up a new scan and cut area in the front wall in the store, which is over to the right. Our quilt frames and everything and our discount wall are back here in the back. We now have a display wall. You can see the corner of our classroom and we now have a fat quarter wall next to our blenders. Steven, wave. Steven's our technician. And I can't see from the glare from our windows. <laughs> see all our fabulous fabrics we have. And today we will probably be selling quite a few fat quarters because it is fabulous, fabulous fat, fat quarter, quarter frenzy Friday. It is Friday frenzy. It is not. <laughs> Thank you. 
ladies, we're going to have our staff wave at you. Here's Deanna. There's Delia. And Janet's on the phone talking to a customer. There we go. All right. Okay. So let's do a little closer look at one of our machines. Um, we've got a little project. We're making Christmas name tags for everybody. So we are going. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet, Tremaine. Thanks, Janet. It, it is kind of big. All righty. So we've got Giselle um, sitting at our XP2 machine. Hi, guys. All right. Let's see if I can get down where you can see the screen, see what we're doing. Um, we're making some. Oh, Giselle told me to show you hers. We're making a Christmas tree name tag. Um, for all of us, because we do love the holidays around here. All right, so the machine is going. And Giselle, do you want to say a few words about the store or anything? And uh, let's see if I can change my camera out some to see you. Oh, not that I can get our thing to work here. There You're going to have to come in and see us. We just got a brand new batch of blenders in yesterday that we have not been able to put out. And, uh, excuse me, I have to change thread colors. I would like to give somebody else this duty. <laughs> I think I think I'll stick with Giselle, my day job. You look so cute. <laughs> Giselle, you look so cute. You look like you have bunny ears on. <laughs> Please don't give her any ideas. Oh, I've got ideas. Christmas is coming. <laughs> she uh, has a whole tub of these things, and they put every single one of them on my head last night. Okay, here we go. Step two. This is a really quick, easy little project, and it has several different applications. You can put, use it as a name tag. You can run a thread through the star and hang it on your Christmas tree. Um, you could. When, when we can meet in groupings together, you could use it as a as a placeholder um, at the table, a little a replacement um, badge. Yes. And sewing on cork is so much fun anyway. Yep. So Patricia asked, what is a blender as it relates to sewing? Oh, it's a, a group of fabrics that will run from white to black and every color in the rainbow in between. So if you need a blue with maybe a little interest to it, that's a blender. You pull that one in, you may get tones and shadows and uh, it just gives your quilt some interest. Your mask is so cute, Giselle. Uh, Do you know the pattern? Christy is my mask maker. I have a Halloween, a Thanksgiving, and a shiny Christmas. And I have a flamingo. Of course, Tammy. If you ever see a flamingo in the store, that was probably Tammy's doing, right? I'm Janet. I have two of them now. Um, the pattern uh, that Christy uses is on a website called Made by Barb. Um, and it's it's a kind of a spin off of the Olsen mask patterns uh, that you may see floating around here. Um, it, it's really easy to put together. It's not a bad one, and it's got a nice fit, and my glasses don't fall up. <laughs> Judy says, I bought cork, but I've been afraid to use it. Now I have to try. Do you have any recommendations? No, no it, it's, you can make such beautiful things with the cork. 
you can make little zipper pouches. Um, you can make uh, but notebook covers, uh, it posters, earrings. We made a pillow. It's good. Where is our pillow? Over in the shelf, I think. Okay. Yeah, it, it has so many uses and it's so easy to work with. It's, it really is one of our favorites. Yeah, so Gloria says, Tammy, she loves your mask. Ah, thank you. <laughs> There's and nothing better than Christmas flamingos. <laughs> and Anne says, can you get cork online or do you have to go to the store? So I think currently the brother, the new for 2021 brother cork is available on our website. And I'll give you guys the coupon for the 15% off all brother accessories that you can use this coupon in store or online. Um, but you guys also have other brands of cork in the store, but not the brother yet, correct? Right. We don't have it yet, but we do have other brands. And the one we're using today has a little gold in it. Gives it a little shimmer and shine because we like our bling over here. I'm sure it doesn't show. <laughs> I like it on the bottom of the tote. Yes. The yes, the mask pattern is um, from a website called Made by Barb. B A R B. And she's got she's got really good instructions with it, so it's it's really easy to follow. That's right, Caroline. You know we got to have the bling. <laughs> What color did she do that in? Hello, Donna. Nice to have you join in from Ohio. Yeah. So can you tell us um, what machine you're on right now? Um, we are on the XP2. Nope, I take that back. XP1. We're on the XP1. <laughs> we sold our XP2. <laughs> oh, goodness. So you have an old XP1 for sale. And then yes, they we do. upgrades to make it into an XP2. At exactly. A we have those. Nice. I thought that we were out of the XP ones. But well, we even still have one new in a box. Well, look at that. So, everybody, if you want to get into the XP2 at a low, low, low price, just come to San Antonio, buy the XP1, and upgrades at 15% off, and then that makes it an XP2. All righty. We're on our last color. And next to last. Next to last. Next to last. We still got one more. What color is yours? Black. Why? Because that's what you said to do. No, I said to do <laughs> that on my name tag. <laughs> let me uh, let me change the camera view over to the machine. Okay, while you do that, I'm going to come back in. Here we go. Let me slowly pan so I don't make y'all nauseous. So you can see our XP1. And the nice big screen. And all of the throat space. It's one of my favorite things. You've got so much room to work. And the bright light. It definitely helps. Also... the hoop got a nice 10 and a half by 16 hoop it's fabulous I think that was the air hoop right that yeah. had the recognition marks on it yeah yes okay. my one of my other favorite features with the the luminaire it's on a couple of our other models too um and the sewing portion of it is the directional stitching um i use those stitches all the time it makes doing tote bag handles so much easier and then i i fix a lot of uh holes and jeans because i have teenagers and um it just it makes it so much easier it's it's really a neat neat machine we're gonna do the work okay wave janet Janet, 
Janet has made a lot of our quilts on our display wall. She is very talented and does a lot of uh, hand applique. <laughs> <laughs> so Sharon asks, she was wondering what the new model is that replaces the Dream Maker. And that's the new essence, right? Yes. Yes, it is. And we have, oh, look, speaking of the essence, let me pan past Giselle here. I have it right behind Giselle. So it's a nice, lovely machine. It's got an eight and a half by 11 hoop or eight, or eight by 12. I'm thinking paper this morning. Um, it has the directional stitching that I bragged about on the XP1. Um, it has it as well. Uh, this is actually the newer version of the model I have at home. Uh, so it's a, it's a really great machine. <laughs> so Barbara says it's made her life complete except for her endless list of wants. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, come in and we can help fill some of those wants. We're, we can enable with the best of them. So Anne asked a good question. What do you guys recommend as a good starter sewing an embroidery machine for my daughter? I have a suggestion, Anne, but I'll see what Tammy and Giselle say first. For a starter one, well, one of the things we say around here um, is do, do buy what you can, the biggest piece you can afford. But you're going to find that you're going to outgrow those hoops because you're going to have so. Uh oh, the Grinch just came through. <laughs> oh, um, so cute. Uh, so uh, we really would really like to see you in at least a five by seven hoop. Yes. So in the brother dealer models, that would be an NS twenty seven fifty. Um, we really really like to see you go into at least a six by ten because. This is a whole, embroidery is a whole rabbit hole. You can do earrings, keychains. Um, there's just so many things you can do with it besides doing your basic embroidery. Um, so the NQ3600 is good. Um, if you're not sure she's going to enjoy it, um, we have the SE625. It's a 4 by 4 machine um, that will help get the bug. Um, it's just it, there's there's so much I could talk all day about it. So much fun. So I'll tell you guys about the internet models that I would recommend. So if they're not local to your area, um, we have a really great show special on the Brother SC 600. That's a four by four sewing and embroidery machine. And right now it's only four hundred and ninety nine dollars uh 99 cents with free shipping and you can finance that for six months so that's the smallest embroidery field that you're going to get um and then the next step up step up from that is the um it's actually the se 1900 let me fix that real quick so it's the se 1900 and that's a five by seven sewing and embroidery machine that one is in stock it's only 9.99 free shipping and six months and that's a combination sewing and embroidery for both of those now if you want to get into a six by ten embroidery area we have a smoking hot deal and we have inventory on a six by ten um which we used to not be able to sell online but now we can um and that bundle has 12 months, 0% financing, and it's only $14.99. So that's what I would recommend as the three options. Good. Better. And I love the $1,600. Oh, it yeah. It has jump stitches. It does. It's wonderful. If, if you're only going to do embroidery, that's the place to start. Because you'll get mad at us if we let you go home with a 4x4 four four hoop. This is Christy. Hi. Hi. She's another one of, of our co-workers. She's almost as crazy as me. <laughs> you look so cute. <laughs> I love your mask. And she's she's wearing her Christmas shirt. <laughs> I see she raided my tub. Yes, she did. <laughs> Thank you. 
And our project is finished except for cutting out. And here's what we came up with. We're going to cut it out. We're going to hang it on our Christmas tree. That is super duper duper cute. And it doesn't take that long. It's like a 10 minute job. And uh, you can get cork with different backgrounds and different patinas to it. And you can use the backgrounds with the gold or the, or the silver or whatever to make a difference in your project. Give it just that little bit of glitz. Yeah. <laughs> so the girls had, need bling. So that that design was that where did you where did you get that? Did you build it in the machine? Is it multiple designs? It's um, a split design and the uh lettering is straight out of the machine. Uh the split design, uh Christy had it. I think she got it from uh I don't know. Dude, I'd be lying if I told you where it was. I can find out if anybody wants to know and let you know. Yeah. Um, but it had several different, it had a stocking and it an had ornament. A reindeer, reindeer. had a snowman, it had Santa Claus. And uh, they're all split so you can put words like the greens, which green is my last name. Or you can just put your first name, like my name tag. Or you could put, you know, peace, hope, love, joy. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. So you can you can really personalize designs like this. I love it. And they make great gifts. That's really cute. Can you show us your tree before we Which have one? fun on that? Which one okay. do you want? We've got oh my goodness. <laughs> we have the one in the front door that we're gonna hang this on. So there's our, our first one. It's it's done up in green and um, well the tree's green. It's done up in gold and silver. So that one's the one that greets you when you first come into the store. And then if we move around, got hey, a lot. Everybody at the wave. Wave. Bye. <laughs> Let me try to do this so I don't go too terribly fast. You're doing great, okay. Tammy. And then, thank you. Then we uh, have our little Bernina tree back in with the Bernina machines. So it's, of course, done in red uh, with some Bernina ornaments on it. We have what Christy calls the fun tree. And it's, it's in the back close to our classroom. And it has flamingos on it. Of course. Let's see if I can move back here. hanging next to one of Janet's creations. So uh, you can probably see the big pink thing at the bottom. So that's my flamingo. Hey, Donna. And then we have the smaller tree over here by the hook machines. And we have our Texas A&M tree skirts Whoop. draped around the bottom. Giggle. So, 60 months, 0% financing started today. Yes, yes, um, it did. I know. I'm so excited about that. Um, today and tomorrow um, in the store is going to be 60 months, 0% financing. Yeah, we're, we're anxious for people to come in and take advantage of that because that's, that's how you get these, these uh, upper machines. It, it makes it easy. Since my mom bought one two years ago, we can't get her out of her craft room. <laughs> now, we have had a lot of calls about the XP2 since uh, the quilt show started yesterday. We did. Yeah. We got a lot of calls. Yes, we did. Good. So and thanks, how about everybody, that called. Oh, yeah. And um, so tell everybody your phone number, um, and I'll put it on the screen. Okay. Our phone number here at the store is 210. Three four four zero seven nine one.
All right, so if y'all want a smoking deal on a <laughs> XP2 <laughs> Lumen PR1050X uh, 670, and even the Persona qualifies for the 60 months as well. Yes, it does. Uh, yeah, so any machine purchase over $5,000 qualifies for five years, or is that six years? Is that five years? What's six yes, yes ma'am. Five Zero years. Zero percent interest. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm not a mathematician. <laughs> 60 months is like the best of the best deal. So yes, yeah, well, yeah. Oh my goodness. So let me pop in with you guys and I'm going to be doing a giveaway to a watcher. So a $10 allbrands.com gift card. Um, so go ahead and give me some comments below if you want to be eligible to win that. And if I pick your name, then just email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number. And the gift card will be emailed to you on Monday. So good luck there and start typing in your comments. So while we're waiting for those comments to come in, are y'all excited for the for um, all the holiday festivities? I see that your that your store is so festive and fun. So yeah, thanks we, we love the holidays. <laughs> thanks for sharing it with us. It was so good to see you too. Oh, we um, miss you guys. Yeah, we miss you too. And we're going to have to virtually uh, have our Christmas party this year. Um, but I know. I know. But it'll be, it'll be, we'll make it happen just like we made Quilt Show happen this year. That's right. Sure. Got everyone together. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to pick a winner. Um, let me go ahead and take that off the screen. And doopy doopy doo. Hmm. Kathleen. Patley, congratulations, you are the winner. Email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number, and I will get that to you on Monday. Congratulations. 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 Yay, Kathleen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'm. we're going to take a quick five-minute break, and then I'll be up at the top of the hour talking about XP2 upgrades. Thank you so, so much, Tammy and Giselle. We really appreciate um, the virtual tour. I feel like I just went on vacation to your store. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we're happy started. to have you in our house. Yeah. Oh, I love y'all so much. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll let y'all get back to it so that the customers can get taken care of, but we love you so much. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. 
Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Everybody, Barbara here from All Brands, and welcome back to the show. Um, I will be your presenter today, and we are going to be talking about upgrades for the XP2 Luminaire. So let me know who's watching, where you're watching from, and at the end of this presentation, I'll also be doing a giveaway um, to a lucky commenter. So good luck on that. So XP, um, the great thing about Brother is like I got into the XP1 when it first came out. I wanted the latest and greatest. So they came out with a new machine called the Luminaire XP2. And guess what? You don't have to buy the whole new machine to get those new features. When Brother has a line, like a series of machine, which I believe is typically like five years, and this one came out um, last year, um, they're going to have five years of upgrades available so they'll have multiple generations of this machine they're currently on the second generation uh which is super exciting so when you get into this you'll know that even if you have the xp1 or the xp2 when they continuously go up in model numbers you're gonna have those upgrades available and i wanted to let all of you know that these upgrades are available in our seven retail stores in Louisiana and Texas, and they're all 15% off. So there's two upgrades available. There's an upgrade one and an upgrade two. So yesterday I talked about upgrade two, just a few of the features, and today I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into those features for XP2. So let me just check the comments. Hey, Esther. <laughs> 
Oh, yes. So, Kathy, you have yours upgraded to the XP2. That's wonderful. And it's so good to see everyone watching. So wonderful. All right. Well, let's get into it. And I will show you what the box looks like for the upgrade. So here we are. And this is um, my sample. But this is what the box looks like for upgrade two for uh, if you have the XP1 Luminaire. The part number for this, I'll just zoom it in on the screen, is S-A-V-R-X-P. So that's important. So depending on the model number, they're all going to say S-A-V-R, but the XP upgrade has XP and then UGK2. And here's some of the features just listed on the box. Today we're going to be going over the enhanced buttonholes. I'm going to do a demonstration of the new snowball sticker for endpoint sewing that is pictured here on the box. And um, I'm also going to show you the app and the uh, uh, some other cool things that aren't even listed on the back of the box. So there's uh, even more fun stuff that comes with this machine. So when you upgrade your machine, it's super simple because the Luminaire has wireless has wireless capabilities now. So you get this activation card and there's a code on the back that you just go to your machine and it's so super simple. Um, the instructions show you how to do that. You type the code into your machine and it gives you all the new features that the latest model has. So you're also gonna get, I believe this is like 92 snowball stickers. And if some of you are familiar with snowman stickers, you know that you can use these over and over and over again. So I think that this is going to be a lifetime supply <laughs> for me. Um, I don't think that I'll ever use that many, but we'll see. Um, maybe challenge ex accepted. So the screen's going to go black while I sh switch cameras real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, so now we're at our machine and this is another thing that i'm going to show you today which is really super exciting so let me just go home when in doubt go home okay so my first feature that i wanted to show you is the newest snowball so my friend gave me this leftover fabric that i was like oh my gosh what am i going to do with this and i was playing with my serger so i actually surged um searched it together so you can totally search your quilting um, and there's no like phrase behind it and then I made my quilt sandwich with my top piece my batting and my backing and I'm ready to stitch in the ditch so stitching in the ditch is just going in the middle of that line and then I want to stop in a certain spot so that I can turn a corner to maybe go this way you know, and I can't necessarily see that closely when my fabric is underneath my foot here. So let me just check the comments to make sure everybody's can hear me and everything. Oh, Babette, thanks for watching. Okay, so this is now, and I'll just show you really quick. How do you know if your machine is upgraded? So we're going to go to... Oh, I have to show you the app guide too, because that's so, so neat. In the settings, you will see um, if you've purchased the upgrade kit, um, if it's grayed out, that means that your machine has been upgraded. If it's green and the certification box is available, then it hasn't been upgraded and you need to upgrade your machine so you can have all of these capabilities. So we're gonna go to sewing. And I'm going to show you the snowball feature. So this machine is so great because it has a um, projector on it. That's why they call it the Luminaire. And so the first thing, this comes with any um, XP machine, is the guidelines that are projected on the fabric. So whenever I do stitching in the ditch, no matter what foot I'm using on the machine, I definitely use this guideline and I'll just zoom in real quick 
so that you can see that up close. All right. And maybe I'll turn the fabric so you can see it just a little bit better. So this is our guidelines. Do you see that? Yes. Yes, yes. I love my luminaire too. I don't think I would be a happy camper without it. So you have multiple capabilities to change this on your screen. So if I go back to my screen here, when I stitch in the ditch, I'm going to have a main, a main line and a subline. So I can turn it off and on here. I'm going to turn my subline off and I'm just going to have one line and I'm going to have it in the center. And depending on the color of fabric you use, you can change it there. And I can change where it is going to be shown. So here we go. Sublines off. Main. Okay, so I have my guideline is in the center now, and I'll show you that. Um, yes, and this is so super easy to install. You just go to that screen that I just showed you, click the certification, follow the instructions. It literally took me two minutes to upgrade this machine. So I'll show you up close what the snowball sticker does. So I'm going to go back to here, up close. And go to my snowball function. So right now the machine is like reading the fabric. And what it's looking for is this little snowball sticker. Let me get another one. So you might not want to put it on batting because that makes it not sticky. Let me get another sticker. Here we go. Back in business. Okay. So if I want to stitch in the ditch... From here, I want to stop right here on my fabric. So I'm going to offset my snowball, and I'm going to line up the horizontal lines, if you can see that there, excuse me, um, on the edge of my seam line, just like that. Oh, I'm way too close. Here we go. You see that? So your uh, horizontal line is on the fabric there and I can see projected there's lines here and it's reading it's like tell me where to stop because I need to do that so I'm just using my regular foot now because my guideline is going to show me exactly where it's expected to stitch so I'm just going to press start and it's going to start stitching I'm going to slow it down just a little bit All right, so we're in business, stitching in the ditch. Let me know if y'all do this, stitching in the ditch. Sometimes I like to offset the, the sides because that looks nice as well. All right, so it's recognizing that it's going to automatically stop. See, I didn't press any buttons. The machine automatically stopped in place. So that now I can either use my knee lifter to lift my foot or I can program that to happen automatically with my stitch. So I'm going to pick my foot up, turn my fabric very easily, and then the machine, I'll, I'll take my sticker out first so that I can reuse, reuse that one. So I'm going to turn my fabric put my foot back down, and then I'm going to tell the machine where I want it to stop again. So I'm going to put my sticker back on my fabric here, on my quilt sandwich, and I'm just going to press start. And I'm using the guideline and the center of the foot with the needle in the center position so that I know that I'm stitching in the ditch. There's also an amazing foot, a stitch in the ditch foot, and an attachment for the move it foot. Um, so it automatically stopped, and then I can do my turns and so on from there. 
Um, so I love, love, love that feature. Let's see if we have any questions. Oh, no, Kyle. Um, the snow man sticker is for embroidery, but now the snow ball sticker is for sewing. Yes. Cool. So I love that feature. Love, love, love it. So I'll show you where it is on the screen when you select your stitch. Here we are. So when you select, when your machine is upgraded and you select any stitch, even if it's a decorative stitch in sewing, um, you have your edit bar here. And then it's all the way at the bottom and it's this icon. So we have it activated and you can choose if it's a pattern stitch, if you want it to stop with the pattern finished or not finished there. So I really, really enjoy that. I'm going to turn that off and we're going to move on to another awesome feature that comes with this. So another thing that is great, I'll just move on to embroidery because the next three features are going to be featuring embroidery. So we're going to go to home embroidery. Okay. So now we all know that the, um, they have, as I explained yesterday, the um, stippling around embroidery designs. So if I pull in, let's see. Okay, so it's Christmas time. I want to do a Christmas wreath. Okay, I'm going to click set on my machine. I'm going to go ahead and maybe change my hoop size. Let's see. Um, let me go ahead and put my my big. Which, guys, this hoop is ginormous. If you have it, it's ridiculously big. Uh, 10 and 5 eighths by 16 inch embroidery area, which is awesome. So let's go back. I'm going to pull it back up. Here. I love the intuitive screen on this machine. So great. Set. Okay, and I didn't realize this, but um, for a certain amount of sizing, you can actually do it with your fingers like that, which is really cool. So when you click edit, as we showed yesterday, the upgrade is going to add fills for you in the embroidery mode without even going into my design center. But guess what? It filled in the outside, but not the inside. So what do I do now? And let's just recap that because I want to show you guys. The amazing new fills that you get with the upgrade. So it's the last, the last page. Um, all right. So I'm going to go back as soon as it puts the stitches on there. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, let's see. I'm going to go to cancel. What I want to show you now is that in the stamp function, you now have the option for the inside of the design to make a stamp to bring into my design center. That is a big, big, big deal. Before I had to bring it into my design center, uh, hand draw a shape around the inside and then <laughs> fill it in. So this just saves so much time. So I'm just going to click inside. I'm going to up my distance here. I love this machine. Oh my goodness. Thank you, brother, for this amazing technology. Ah, I'm so glad you're learning. Okay, so I'm going to, once I select like how far I want it to be from my design, which I suggest you offset it quite a bit so that it gives that dense pattern, like some breathing room from the stitches around it. It's really going to make it like pop out, especially if you have like a a thick batting um, because your embroidery is going to be sitting on top of the batting and then essentially you're going to be doing your stippling um, with your batting and your top fabric as a stabilizer on the back. So I'm going to save it to memory. 
and it says it's in my design center and it's in the stamp pattern list. So now I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to my design center and I'm going to go to shapes. And then there's that icon again. And here it is. And it saved my outline. So if I have my, so essentially I would embroider out the wreath itself first and then keep it in the hoop and then bring it into my design center. Click OK. And then I would fill around it. So I would take my automatic fill stitches, which you have so many more now to choose from. If you're in upgrade one and upgrade two, you get all of these fills. And they're super cute. And they even have one for Angela. It's fish. But since this is a wreath, let's find something a little Christmassy looking. I like the swirls or, yeah, that one looks fun. And then you can choose your color. So, of course, red or green, right? Uh, let's see, red. I want red. And then I'm going to take my paint bucket and fill in around that design. So that's so super exciting. And then what I would do is I click next. I can change those patterns. So let's see, first I can change the middle. So if I wanted it to be, I think it looks beautiful just the way it is, but just so that I can show you the different ways that you can change it. And we can see the difference. So I changed the direction. I'm going to change the random shift, which you have more options for random shift now. And now you can choose triple stitch or single stitch. So see how it made it look a little different? Um, and then this is like the thickness. So if I want a triple stitched or a single stitch. So why is that important? You you want to do a single stitch on fabric that you want drape on. So if it's like a light quilt, um, you know, and the, the if you want a thicker, uh, thicker stippling on your quilt, then you would do the triple stitch. So it's going to stitch back and forth three times. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Yolanda, I totally agree. I am so free motion impaired. That's why, you know, I have the So Steady Westerly rulers. Uh, but when I don't have time for that, I totally love Brothers Quilt Broidery. Um, it's amazing. So then I would just click OK. I would click Set. OK. And then it's going to bring it into embroidery, and I would do that. And then essentially, while my design is still in the hoop over here, then I could scan my design and see that in the background to make sure that it's lined up on top. So I absolutely, absolutely love that. So let's get into one more, two more features just real quick. So I'm going to put my a fabric piece on here. I'm going to show you the illumination now. So we're going to get out of this. So you've always been able to project your design onto your fabric with the luminaire before you stitch it out in sewing and embroidery. But now, so we, we, we embroider and sew on all different colors of fabric, and that projector had a very, very bright projection. Well, now it gives you the ability to see that with three different backgrounds so that you don't see that big white box behind. So let's just choose this one, love. And we're going to click embroidery. And then I'm going to click my projector. So this comes, the projector comes standard on the XP1 and XP2. But now, if you see it says background color, it adds when you do the projection, you can change it 
to light, medium, or dark. So I'll zoom in real quick so that you can see that. All right, so we're in business here. And it's not rainbow, just only on the, <laughs> only on my screen. <laughs> I do love this feature, Carol. Uh, it's good to see you watching again. So this is the lightest function, but what if I have like a black fabric? Let me just find something dark real quick to, I'll use my all brand shirt from yesterday to show you. So if I'm projecting on like a darker fabric, that white box is kind of distracting, and it, it also projects the colors. So it may distort the colors of the design uh, when you're projecting on it. So I can get, choose medium color, and then it's not changing my background fabric because of the lightness, and I can better see what my colors are going to look like. And that's when you have a black colored fabric um, so that you'll be able to see it on all different shades of fabric. I love that. Thank you, brother. And it's also available for the sewing side as well. So light, medium, and dark fabric. So the last thing that I wanted to talk about, oops, here we go. All right, I'm coming back. Oh, goodness. Let's see. <laughs> okay. All right, here we are. So the last thing that we're going to talk about is the apps um, that you get in the upgrades. So there's one app that you get in upgrade one and one app that you get in upgrade two. The app that you get in upgrade two is the... Oh man, I'm gonna have to remember which one it was. It's the My Snap for mobile app. And I'll ask Cindy to uh, fact check me on that uh, on the next one. So here's my cell phone. And I have the Quilt Festival is my number one, <laughs> my number one icon. Uh, and then my number two is the My Design Snap for mobile app. And then my number three is the My Stitch Monitor app. So my Stitch Monitor app is like a baby monitor for your machine. So if you want to go downstairs, get some coffee, you know, um, do something besides watching your needle go in and out of the fabric for 45 minutes, you just open this and it will tell you exactly where your machine is in the stitch. So that we'll go over that uh, uh, maybe tomorrow, but I wanted to show you the My Snap for mobile app. So this instead of because i know most of you know that you can scan in a design with this machine using your scanning app that looks like this so it's it um the camera in the machine reads whatever you draw on a piece of paper and then it converts it to stitches essentially so and that takes about to scan this hmm, it takes like a few minutes and then it has to like render it in the machine and my phone which I just got the new the new one last year I think has a really really good camera in it um, the DPI level is really high so um, it's actually our phones have better cameras than what are in the machine so what I would do is I'm just gonna go and take a picture of this heart just like so just like that. And then it's going to save it to my photos. I'll go to my design snap and I'll select the image that I just took. And then it has a little button here that says send to the machine. It says sending. Sent. Sent to my design center. So I'm going to go home. All right, we're going to go to my design center and then I'm going to pull up my design. So I'm going to click this and I want it to be a line design. And then guess what? It's all through the wireless portion. So this is it's, the most recent one is always at the top. 
So I'm going to click this one. And it's pulling it up. And there it is. And now, how much faster was that than scanning it? I mean, and guess what? If you see a design like out in public that you want to take a picture of, and you don't have your machine to put it on the scan mat to scan the actual picture, like say you're visiting a friend or a cousin and they have a coloring book that you want to convert to stitches, you can take a picture of that with your phone now. So you're not uh, limited to having that design with you right then and there, which is really, really cool. So then we just pull this in, click OK. Guess what? Now we can convert it to stitches. I want this to be like a fancy schmancy stitch. And let's see. We'll show original view and result view. And I'm going to set it. And now it's an embroidery design. I would click next. Look how cute. Ready for embroidery. Making your own embroidery designs in the machine. Isn't that phenomenal? I love the technology and no other manufacturer can compete with that and have Disney and the amazing warranty that this machine has. So I hope that that was helpful for you guys and that I did a good job for brother uh, <laughs> telling you about that. I'm just, I, I'm I'm an enthusiast myself, so um, I love the product, and I know that you will too. Um, and I was so excited when those new upgrades came out because I didn't have to buy a whole new machine. And I know that with the next generations of the Luminaire that come out, I'm going to uh, have the capability of um, upgrading even more times in the future. So. Thank you so much, brother, for that. Okay, so we're going to take a quick break. And then next on the list is Cindy Hogan. And I'll do I'll do a giveaway at the beginning of that one and at the end of that one as well. So um, good luck there. We'll see you in five minutes. At allbrands.com, our doors are open, and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask, and after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com.
I don't know about y'all, but I always love dancing in those little five minute segments. I should be doing other things, but it just makes me want to dance. And guess what else makes me want to dance? Our wonderful next guest, Cindy Hogan from Cynthia's Embroidery, a brother ambassador, and she's been featured on It's So Easy TV, and oh, she's amazing. So I'll bring her in. Hey, here Barbara. So you inspired me. I can't wear hats, but here's my here's my lovely earrings today and I have snowflakes and glitter. Glitter! Where's Jerry? I'm telling. <laughs> I've got my bling on. Um, Jerry and Lewis inspired, although I've, I've actually had the sweater for longer than I've known those two. <laughs> it's so, so cute. And Keller, I love Cindy Hogan too. So guess what else I love? Yeah, is what we're talking about today? That is such wonderful thing. It is the bomb. It is one of my favorite toys to play with, as you know. <laughs> well, I'll let you take it away and talk all about this wonderful software that is now available for sale on our website at 50% off of MSRP. And then I have a coupon to save an additional 50, 15 off of that. So. And so if anybody's ever thought about buying it, now is the time to go for this because I've never seen it this low. A full version of the software uh, for 50% off. It's a $2,000 program plus a 15% off coupon. Wow. Amazing. Okay, guys. So today I am going to talk a few, about a few more features. Yesterday we did split hoops and we talked about applique. Today I'm going to share my screen, Miss Barbara, if you would. And we're going to talk about some other magic buttons that we have. All right. So <clears throat> you'll notice on the right hand side, I have an import window. You get to choose where you want to import designs from. And I always import rather than open because usually when I bring it into software, I'm making a change. So my import window is my magic place. And you'll notice that right now it says network sewing machine. That is because I can pull things from my sewing machine, embroidery machine. This is my ton needle that I've pulled from. I actually had set some designs there. So those designs are sitting here and I can play with those designs. So if I want to play with that embroidery design right there, I can double click on it and bring it in. You can tell that I had combined two designs. Now, one of the fun things about this that I just recently learned is that when I send a design from my software to my network machine, if it's something I created, when I bring it back, I can still futz with it like it was something I was drawing. So that was really a, a cool discovery. So we're going to get rid of part of one of these. I'm just going to take off that top design and I'm going to take this one and move it in. And if you want to know where I got this design, it was one of the um, 2,500 designs that came with the original release of the Luminaire. So I still have those and that's what we're going to play with today. Magic buttons. Let's come pick us a hoop. So let's say I want, well, I've got a good hoop here. This is my eight by eight frame. So let's say I want to put this in a quilt square and I actually want to do all the quilting with the software, not having to go anywhere else. Your dream machine has a ton of background fills, decorative fills, echoes, all of that as well, but your software has even more. So, above the 30 something that you have on the luminaire or the 36 that you have on the 10 needle, you actually have more that are built into the software. So there are 59, I believe it is, 54 decorative fills that are built into the software. But wait, there's more. You can create your own. So up here you can see if it's got an A in front of it, it's one that I've created. So I'm going to grab that one right there. I'm going to touch OK. Now I have snowflakes around my design. If I want to change that size, I can change them to make them smaller. There we go. I've got smaller ones. We can come in and do a 50%. We have much smaller ones. And I think I like 60 and we'll go somewhere in the middle there. When you're done, you touch OK. It will fill the hoop with that decorative fill and your design is now ready to be sent to your machine to embroider. How quick and easy was that one? 
So that is one of my favorite of all time magic buttons. Now you get it on your design page and you decide, you know, that's not the decorative fill I think I want. I want to try something else. Go over to your sewing attributes, click on the decorative fill button and pick a different one. This is another one that I created that this is actually one of my favorite ones that I've done. It, you can do it disproportionately or if you choose, ooh, I like that. What do you think about that one, Miss Barber? If you want it proportionally, you choose maintain aspect ratio and it will maintain the aspect ratio. But I really did kind of like that funky effect. You can also put a little bit of torque on these. So this really works well when you have something that is very linear. If it's more random, it's not going to show you as much. But if you do random shift in the software, it will give you a totally different look to that background. And like I said, it works better with things that are linear because it, it has more ways to pivot that. You can change the direction of your fill if you want and totally customize it to fit your needs. So that is that magic button. But let's say, you know, I'm going to go back to make this defaults. I don't want to have any funky things going on just yet. Take our direction back to the default and let's think about this. So if I look on my color tab, and I will say I'm a brother embroidery color palette kind of girl because it doesn't have so many colors for me to dig through. But that may not be the color that I plan on embroidering with, although it is for me. We now have a magic button to actually convert the colors to the thread palette that you want to use. So it will take the design colors. Right now mine are brother embroidery, just so you know. When we click on this little thread spool, this is the select color pad palette. When I touch that button, it brings up the color palette selection menu. And if I have a different manufacturer's thread that I'm planning on using, let's say I wanted to use the Floriani thread, I touch OK. It converts the colors of that design to the closest match in that, soft, in that color palette. So, um, that is one of those sweet little things that I absolutely love. Now, you want to know how to make a decorative fill? Let's go up there and look at that. Let's go up to our option pull down menu and choose Stitch Design Factory. That's going to bring up, oh, wrong button. I didn't want Stitch Design Factory. Sorry, I was teaching that the other day. I want the um, programmable stitch creator. Pardon me. So the programmable stitch creator lets you do many, many things. So you can create programmable fills, you can create motif patterns, and you can create decorative fill patterns. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to create something that's quite fun. We're going to slide and get ourselves a grid up here, click on our home button, and let's just start clicking. So that one that I had that was square, I'm going to go around clicking and double click. I'm going to select that square. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. Hold my shift key in and shrink that in a couple of grid squares. Copy, paste, and shrink it in. And you can see my preview window over here showing me what I have. You don't really have to worry about connecting it. It's going to do its own thing and try to map it as close as it can to make the least thread jump. So now I've got the, the base for the pattern. Let's come in and draw some lines to crisscross it. Look there. Isn't that cool? If you want to get even more interest, you can come and double click here and add a couple of more little clicks. And you've got a totally different looking pattern. So it all depends on what you want to do. Once you've done it, once you're done with it, you come up to the, pack, the application button, choose Save As, and we are going to save this as a crisscross. Oops, if I can type and spell today. So I'll save that. If you want to use it, come back over into your sewing order window, select the segment that's the background fill. It's the one with the hole in the space. Come click there. Here's our decorative fill that we just created. 
click OK and voila, you've now changed it to a different fill. If we want to change the size of that, once again, highlight the size and I've got maintain aspect ratio on it so that it proportionally resizes. There you go. Now, I noticed I didn't click all the way to the outside edge on that one, but I could go back in and fix it. So we're going to select this. Now notice there, right there, there's my little opening. I'm going to go back and save it. Come back, reselect it, and it will refresh itself. And now I don't have that little space that was there before. It's a complete pattern. Any questions for me so far, Barbara? Um, well, we just have a few folks asking, how do they get information on how to use this after they purchase it? What are some resources for them? Resources for them. The first resource is the help menu. Your instructional manual is lives online, plus there's a downloadable PDF version of it that you can grab. It tells you that you're going to have the most recommended settings of whatever browser you want to use. But let's say you want to see decorative fill. Type in decorative fill, press search, creating a decorative fill pattern. Voila. That is the easiest way. If you know what, you, oh, did you, oh, wait a minute. You couldn't see where I'm at because that was on the other screen. So hold on just a second. Let me bring it down for you. Okay, so when I opened up the um, help menu, this is what it gave me. So I came up to the search bar and I typed in decorate, decorative fill, if I can spell D-E-C-T-A-V. -E I can't spell today. It's really hard to spell when you're presenting. <laughs> I've noticed that too, like when I try to type on camera. It's just so funny. <laughs> so if you type camera? in decorative fill, it gives you different operations that you can select from different menus. So if you want to learn how to create a decorative fill, grab create a decorative fill. There you go. Um, it also says saving and editing a decorative fill and it will walk you through those steps. Other resources. I do a weekly Facebook live right now on Brother Software Programs. That's done from my web page, uh, from my Facebook page. It's at 3.30 Central every Tuesday, except for holidays and if something's happening in life that I can't do. Um, there, I also sell workbooks on it and All Brand sells those workbooks on it. So there are different, different sources that you can find. I have been doing Facebook Lives on Brother Software Programs since March of this year since COVID started. So you should see a whole lot of information there that you can come find. Come find. There are also built-in tutorials in that help menu. So as I said, when you go up to um, the online instruction manual, you'll find built-in tutorials in there as well. But when you install your program, it will actually install a PDF manual. The most current one is here in the built in the software because it, it uh, keeps up with all of the updates. Printed manuals can't keep up with the updates. So um, right now, however, uh, I do not have a version 11 book. My version 10 book will get you started with this. Nothing has dramatically changed. All I'm doing is writing a supplement for this book. So um, next thing I want to show how, how are we doing on time? Any other questions? Um, I, some people are asking about the workbook and I'm going to add that to the comments and to the shop page. Where do you find the fills? They are built into the software themselves. So let me go back and do that background fill wizard again. Let me get rid of what we've got here. So I'm just going to select the pieces that I don't want in my, um, sewing order window. And now I'm going to go into background fill. You tell the software where you want the background fill to go. You touch next and then you click on this big pattern that's in there, whatever it's usually the default, which is um, the, this one right here. The, the patterns will automatically pop up and I actually do suggest you go ahead and leave your patterns in here. Isn't that one a kind of a cool one? That looks like Christmas presents around my tree. 
There are, as I said, 54 of them that are built into the software and you can play all day long. The exclude internal patterns is what removes the background from underneath your decorative, from, the, from underneath your original pattern. Minimize feed keeps it moving without having as many thread trims. Offset spacing is how far you want it to be from your original pattern. <clears throat> now, I've shown you the decorative fills, but let's talk about what else you can do. You can echo fill. If any of you have ever taken a class from me and let me show you how to do some of these features without having this background fill wizard, you understand that it was a much longer process. There were way more steps involved in this. You had to set whole sewing. You had to turn off the fill stitch. There was a whole rigmarole that you had to do. Now you don't have to do that. The software is automatically removing it for you. For the echo types, you have echo clipped and regular echo. So that was echo clip or echo. And this is echo clipped. You once again can choose minimize the feed or not. Running stitch, triple stitch or a chain stitch are your options for that. How long you want your stitch is your run pitch and how many times you want it to go around. You also have stippling that's built in. Your Offset spacing is how close it comes to your design. Your stippling spacing is how loose your stippling is. So if you wanted micro stippling, you just kind of shorten that stitch down and then you've got a tighter stipple. You want it looser. This is probably going to be loose, way loose. Yes. So, and each time you make a change, you update your preview. Your run pitch is your length of stitch. So if you want a shorter stitch, you shorten it. If you want a longer stitch, you increase that. You also have crosshatch stripes. And so this is kind of your faux quilting. Uh, you, it basically has, this is your crosshatch. This is your stripe. You can change your size. If you only want one direction, go one direction. Both directions is crosshatch. When you're done, you click OK. If you want to ex exclude the internal pattern, that is what's going to take away the outer edge. I mean, it's going to take away the background from underneath it. When you're done, you click OK. Um, the benefit, yeah, what's the benefit of doing it in your software as opposed to the machine if you have a Lumi? You have more decorative fills. You have more control over them. It's just you have more options to play with. That would be the only, that would be the advantage is that you have more to play with. Okay, so one last thing I want to show today before I go back to you, Barbara, and we're going to talk about the design database because I talked about it yesterday, but I didn't actually show it. And I think everybody needs to see this part of the program because it really is a nice part of the program. I'm going to go find designs on my computer so you can see what this looks like. So here are my 2,500 bonus designs. Let's go into celebrations. This is where it gives you a thumbnail of your designs. You can have large thumbnails, small thumbnails, and details. Details gives you the stitch information, how many colors it's got in it, and the size, and what the format is. It's also the place that you can convert embroidery file formats, and you can preview it to see what it looks like in stitch format. This is where I go searching for designs. It's where you can print a catalog of your design. So if you want to print, you choose print preview. And evidently my computer is going to take a little while to process this today. There we go. So that is the preview of one design because I only selected the single design. Let's go in here and choose print setup so that it knows what we want. You can choose one design per page, four, 12, are in the instruction manual. So let's go with 12 per page and preview that. There you go. And if you look at it, it tells you the design name, where it's located, how many colors are in it, the stitches, and all of that. So if you're doing this as a business, that is a huge resource for you, just so you know. All right, Barbara, I think that is about all the time that we have for. Yes, you can export the designs in other embroidery formats. So you can't save them that way, you export them. You can convert them to other formats here. So if I choose convert, these are the formats that we can convert 
to and from DST and EXP. Everybody will read one of those two formats. Every machine on the market will read one of those two formats. For the brothers, it, it is um, DST. So great. Thank you, Cindy. So I am still waiting on um, Angela Wolf in the background. I don't see her in quite yet. So um, we, there's no hurry for us to go. But I do have a giveaway that there I want go. to do. Yeah. So um, let's see. What are we going to give away? A $10 allbrands.com gift card. So go ahead and give us some comments below um, and I'll pick a random winner for that. Oh, hey, Angela, I see you back there. Cool. Um, so um, just comment below and I'll give you some time. But I want to go ahead and Cindy, I remember when I first started working at All Brands, it's been 15 years now, and my father always spoke i mean he continues to speak so highly of you and you're just a wealth of knowledge anytime he has a question he he asks you or contacts you and sends you like this long email and you respond back so thank you so much for being a support system for us to lean on uh, to help us be creative um, as the liaison between software support and, and getting the end result that we want. And for having both brains, like it's difficult to actually know how to use software and then know how to execute it. And for your weekly show on Cynthia's embroidery on Facebook, amazing. So, so I try to do all of the programs that we have. So whether it be BES, Simply Applique, actually I haven't touched Simply Applique lately, but Scan and Cut Canvas, I try to touch a little bit of everything depending on what we're doing. So there, you know, it, it is a um, quite a hodgepodge of what you get, mm -hmm. but in any bring questions because uh, you know, that does help me know what you're wanting to know. Yeah. So the package with PE design 11 includes the split frame. That's the only way we're allowed to sell it. So if you don't have a to needle, that's okay because it, you got it for free anyway. <laughs> And then you just use the coupon on it. So let me pick a winner. And that's going to be mm -mm -mm, Carolyn Weinert. And I actually promised to. So if you didn't win that one yet, uh, I'm going to pick one more. And that's going to be Laura Willis. Congratulations. So both of you email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number. And I will um, email you your allbrands.com gift card on Monday. So congratulations. We love, love, love you too. And thank you so much, Cindy Hogan. For congratulations, joining. all the winners. I mean, you guys have had a lot of giveaways lately, which has been awesome. Yes. After every live, except for the last one, which is why I did two on this one, I forgot. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Cindy. And we'll see you again. Yes, I'll see you this afternoon. Thanks so much. And I'll have different earrings this afternoon. Yeah. So just pay attention. Cool. So we're going to take a quick five-minute break. And then Angela Wolf is going to join us. And we'll see you soon. Tell Angela Bye. I said howdy. Bye-bye. Bye.
At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. I love it. Oh my gosh. Thanks everybody. Hope you had a good break and did some dancing and now we're ready to get into some new exciting things with Angela Wolf. So I won't waste any time. I'll bring her in. I wonder what she has in store for us today. She's always so fun and exciting. So here she is. Hi, Angela. Oh, you look so cute. <laughs> I tried to find another pair of glasses, and that, these were still my favorite. I love them. They're perfect. Um, Very nice. And I brought my mug. This is a gift <laughs> for my sister. Is this hilarious? So yeah. the only bad part is my tea bag. I had to actually attach string onto the end to hold it up with the squirrel because, like, it's way down there. <laughs> it looks like you could fit inside of that cup from here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so bigger is always better i agree <laughs> thanks julie <laughs> so what's going on today i'm so excited to be here i know me too so today we're going to talk about the new luminaire xp2 and all of the amazing features that it has and you come in the box don't you 
I do come in the box. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice because there's so many features of this machine. It would take literally a week just to like go through everything. So can you tell us a little bit about how you come in the box? Like, do you actually like when they put it home and they open it up? Do you pop out and say like, hey, I'm here? Well, thankfully there's not a pop out there. I hate to see those photos on social media, but <laughs> you do get access to my master class. And the master class is um, 13 lessons. And each lesson has between five, well, four to seven videos in each one. So there's like a chapter that has that teaches you how to do a certain aspect. It might be um, quilt sashing, it might be um, embroidery, it might be sewing. And then after that, there'll be a project that has five or six lessons. So there's teaching and a project. And then you can go back, you have the class for a whole year, so you can go back and check it out. And I'm even surprising people and adding, I have plans to add a few more chapters just to give you some more projects. Yay, that is always helpful. And I love the brother has playbooks too. So they have one for the XP1 that covers like a lot of the features that are also in the XP2. Do you have that playbook? That playbook is awesome. Yeah, I'll have to look for it um, when when you're, <laughs> I'll make you full screen and I'll go like dig through and look for it. But like, oh man, that's how I learned. I just mm -hmm. took it home. And, and because these machines have so many features, you're like, what? how do I get started? Like what, what buttons do I press to even do what? It's a full color tutorial um that has like click this button here this button here but it's project based so you yeah. end up with a tangible item and that kind of gives you the idea of like how am i going to learn this so mm -hmm. so many resources and education and when you buy from all brands you also get education from the store at the store level with our show special discounts on that uh, machine as well that's so, awesome what's your favorite feature of the xp luminaire no. XP? I have to say yesterday I showed the snowball feature. I mean, I could show it again if you want, but I forgot one of the main things. Can I go show you? Yeah. All right. I thought that snowball was the, the snowball. The snowball was the main thing. Hmm. No. So I wonder what you're going to show. I know. Well, I'll still show the snowball again because that is my favorite, but make sure. Hold on one sec. I just got to make sure my volume's on over here. Can you hear me okay over here? Oh, yeah. Loud and clear. Okay, great. So what I totally forgot about yesterday, well, I didn't forget. I was just so encaptured with Snowball. So on, and this is on the XP1 and the XP2. When you go into sewing, you can actually change your stitches, your stitch length, your stitch width from over there. So click on the projector. And here it just shows me what's here. And I'm actually going to pick for now a decorative stitch just because I think you'll see it over there a little bit better. So let's go back and click that. Here we go. All right, now I'm going to take you over here. I love this projector. So sorry about the rainbow. That doesn't come with the project. That doesn't come with the machine, by the way. It's just camera angles. So what happens here is you can use your stylus push this button make sure you have batteries in it and i can change stitches on here i can change stitches i can change stitch length i can change a lot of things right from here now why on earth would you want to do that well if you have if you're working on a garment or a quilt or a project where you want to see exactly what this looks like on your fabric that's why so here's one stitch i can adjust the width you see it getting a little bigger and then if you get that beep, that means it can't get any bigger. The machine knows more than you do, right? And I can change the length just by touching. I love that. And okay, what about maybe you're using a different color fabric. Now you can actually change right from here. The background. Oh, you can really see that. There you go. Or maybe you're using this color. This one's always a little bit harder to see. See the difference? So whatever fabric you're using, if you're using a dark fabric or a light, you can actually change this whole thing right here. Not only that, you can click on this icon and look. There are three different stitches. So if you can imagine, this is the stitch that we touched on the screen. 
And if we looked back at the screen, this is the stitch that would be to the right, and this one was to the left. Well, instead of having to go over there and switch them, I can use this. And look at that, I can click through the stitches and see what they look like right here on my fabric. So let's just say we get to, see how, I think I went, to the, those are all straight stitches, that's boring. Let's go to something a little bit more festive, right? I love that blanket and feather stitch. So you just can keep scrolling all the way through that entire screen. If you run out of designs, well, go to a different screen. But this is a really easy way to check this out. So let's just pick this one. It's amazing, too, Angela, how many stitches come in this machine. And really, you're unlimited because with my custom stitch, you make your own stitches. And now with the XP2, it goes up to seven millimeters wide, which is awesome. It is really awesome. And so then that's all you have to do. And you can go back and forth. You can see how easily I chose a stitch. I can still go back here and change the width if I want to and the length all from right here. And then you can just go sew. That is so simple to do as far as on the sewing side. And so if I take you back to the screen real quick, this was the stitch that we have. We started here and you can see how we just kept moving over. And so it's the stitch to the right and left of whatever stitch you pick, and then you can keep scrolling. I mean, I love that. So yeah, by the way, um, this, my custom stitch, have you guys used that? Well, there's a whole character decorative stitch section here. These are amazing, but not only that, you can take a part of a stitch and it shows up, and maybe you only, you wanna combine your own stitch. So, there are so many different options here. Let's see if I can find some of the, there's letters. Here's where you can do your own custom stitch. Let me cancel that. And this, you they've had this on the machines for a while and I think people actually forget about this, except this one, I mean, it's just so easy to use. You just move over a little bit, click set. I've still been trying to figure out how to do a fish on here. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you planning on catching tomorrow, Angela? What kind of fish? Uh, well, hopefully we're going to go out and catch a uh, steelhead. I will be sitting in the boat, though. I'm still fighting a little bit of a cold, so I'll be sitting by the heater, drinking a nice big cup of hot tea and probably some hot chocolate. And if the guys catch a fish, I'll be like, it's all yours. I'm staying in here. <laughs> Bring your NS80 with you on the boat, the little travel sewing machine by brother. And then I you can do some of your projects. There you go. I could do some of my projects. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so that is how easy that is, by the way. In case you missed that, that's a stitch. And you can start sewing that. So you can design your own stitches. I love that feature, by the way. I totally forgot about that one. But I have to show one more time, for those that did not watch yesterday, this feature is by far my favorite. So let's just say... Why don't we pick, well, first I'll just do a straight stitch. And I have my snowball right here. See that? And let's go to the machine. I guess I'm not gonna sew on paper, although you could. <laughs> I'll just- I sew on out. paper all the time, Angela. I make Christmas cards for people with the triple stitch. It looks so cute. I love that. You, and then you get them cut on the, did you cut them on the scan and cut? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll cut the embellishments on the scan and cut and layer them. And you can even sew on the little, the cuts from the scan and cut. There's no reason you should buy any of those things when you have brother products. I agree. Hey, by the way, before I show the snowball, I wonder how many people have noticed this on the machine. It's under the S. So I do a ton of jackets and I love top stitching and I love when it looks like it's hand stitched. These stitches are beautiful. Of course, they look beautiful on a quilt, but they look great on fabric. So just a little hint there, go under the S category. It's a whole other section of stitches. So what does that stand for, Angela? The S? Is that Shashiko? Um well, it looks like Shashiko, so it, if it stands for it or not, but that's exactly what it looks like. Here, I'll show yeah. you one of the stitches. I'll just stitch it one. looks just like Shashiko to me. It does. That is cool. 
And that looks so good on a jacket, by the way. Well, it looks beautiful on a quilt, too. But let me just sew, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it'll look like I've been working hard. <laughs> and look at that. So I have a purple in the bobbin here, by the way. So what it does is it pulls up the stitches, and it it's really cool looking. But anyways, I'm, I got my snowball here. Let me show you that. Okie doke. I'm sorry I don't have white on the bottom too. You know what I did right before we got here? Is I made sure <laughs> that my bobbin was full and I didn't have a white one so I used purple. Okay, so in here, if you click on straight stitch, now go to this right here. And this is where a lot of other things open if you wanna put your feed dogs down to do free motion. This is also where you can combine stitches or um, on the, that last section where I showed you decorative stitches, you can just do one of them. You don't have to do a whole row of them. Twin needle, oh my gosh, we love the twin needle. But here is the new button. And when you click that, let's see. Now, if I was doing a decorative stitch, you can choose if you want this stitch to finish halfway through or you wanna finish your stitch and then it ends. It's totally your choice. So let's just go all the way to the end of our stitch. And it shows you on here, this is wherever these lines right here, this is what the snowball is, it has two dark lines. That will be parallel with where you want your machine to stop. Now don't put your sticker right in front like that. You should move it to the side a little bit unless you wanna sew right over it. So, oops, let me bring that back up. Make sure I have that on, right? Did I just turn it off after all that? Nope, it's on. You have an off and on, by the way. So if you're not getting it to work, make sure you actually have it on. Okay, now let's go back to our fabric. And I'm gonna move this just down to here. So I know how to use this in quilting, but how would you use this in garment sewing, you think? Oh gosh, you know, yeah. uh, with decorative stitches, sometimes you're sewing like for a hem on pants or a hem on a sleeve or um, on the full round. Maybe you have decorative stitches, you're going all the way around. You don't wanna have like half of a decorative stitch. You want everything to be finished. It's a great way to have the decorative stitches combined. But also, what about a collar? You know, on a collar, you've got like a straight line and you're supposed to turn, <laughs> well, supposed to. And um, those are great opportunities to stop right where you want it to stop. So check this out. I'm going, actually, I'm going to, um, I'll just use my foot pedal and stitch. And I'm not stopping. It actually is stopping parallel right there. Isn't that amazing? And so if you were turning, you could turn. Or if you're finished with your stitch, you could finish with your stitch. So let's just do that one more time. Maybe you're sewing a collar or something like that. Let me just bring this down. Here we go. I have it way over here. I'm just, you know what? I, let me, I wonder if you could see this a little better on a lighter fabric. I brought another piece just in case, because I remember yesterday that red was a little bit tricky. Can you see that blue line a little better? Yeah, so that was great. One fabric. How about, let's try this one. Now you can see the blue mark. You never know what you're gonna see on here. <laughs> Now you can see that. See that purple mark right here? All right. Yes. Go down. And this time I'm going to pick a decorative stitch. Maybe. Anne has a good suggestion for using this for mitering. Oh, definitely. You know what else you could use for mitering? Um, up here, the laser light. When I press on this here, this has a laser light and a grid. Now look at the fabric. And I'm gonna just press a few buttons and watch what happens here. I don't think you need to watch the screen, but watch this part. So you have a grid, you have, you can turn it dif uh, different colors. There's a subgrid and a main grid. So there's a grid and you can change the size of the grid. I have been using this like crazy. You wanna know why? Because let's just say you're doing rows of stitching and you, you know, you can use the laser light, but that only goes so far. I can actually take one of my rows of stitching and have it way over here to line that up. It's so cool. So you also have angles. 
See if I can make these just a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make the line long. That's a long line, a medium line, and a short line, in case you wondered where that came from. And this is your seam allowance here. So this is your stitch line, that's your seam allowance. And you also can change the angle from 90 to 60 to 45. You had to say metered corners, or mitered. I always say that wrong. Tomato, tomato. Yeah, tomato, <laughs> tomato, definitely. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off and go back to picking a decorative stitch. So here's the decorative stitch that we're going to stitch. I'm going to put this down. Let me click on endpoint sewing. I already showed you that. And I see that it's on, and it's going to finish at the end of my stitch. So just put your little snowball. I put it right here in case you can't see that. Okay. And you can see the purple line just barely. And let's go stitch. I love this machine, it's so quiet. Now, can you see that purple line showing up? So the purple line, once you're in that section, it's picking up on the sticker and it's saying, hey, you know what, we're gonna stop now. And it will actually finish the stitch for me. So it might make it a little longer or a little shorter than the other stitches, but you can't tell. At least you're not getting to the corner where there's like part of a stitch done. Okay, there you go. Now maybe you are gonna go around a corner. Maybe you're stitching a couple things. Let's take that off and I'll just go a little bit further. Oops, there we go. And it would stay on and I could actually put this sticker back down right here and keep going. Now, I'm just gonna show you the back side because the back has purple, a little easier to see back there. And when it finished, it finished the entire design. So it wasn't halfway in the middle. Pretty cool. That is uh, definitely a major cool feature on there. All right, I'm gonna come back over here and see if you have any questions about that because I can think of so many applications for that. So first of all, like the top I'm wearing, if I wanted to hem my sleeves and I wanted to use a decorative stitch or on the jacket behind me, you can actually so all the way around, just put your snowball sticker there. And you can actually, here's one thing. Someone said, well, do you have to wait till you get right up to the top? No. If you know you've got this big old long quilt and you want to stitch all the way down to this one little corner, place your snowball sticker. And basically, you're placing the snowball sticker where the parallel line of those dark lines will be right where your stitch stops. So I could put it way down there and start sewing and go away. And as soon as it gets to that point, it will stop. And it is right on. Very exciting, yeah. very exciting. It's so exciting. And I can't tell you, we're about to do a giveaway guys. So start making some comments if you wanna be eligible to win a $10 All Brands gift card. But Angela, I had no idea how this machine was going to change my life. <laughs> And all my friends who come over and they're like, can I use your machine, please? Because I absolutely love it so much. And now I have the 10 needle. And so I have both going at the same time. This is just a dream come true. You probably have some friends. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then the scan and cut is a companion with that. I'm just, oh. Yeah, it's so you, awesome. I'm sure Cindy probably mentioned that. But you know, did you know you can, when we get to the embroidery section this afternoon, that you can actually take designs from this machine and put it into the scan and cut and have the scan and cut cut to fabric for an applique. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is so cool. I love, love, love it. Okay, so let me pick a winner. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Elizabeth you, Smith, congratulations on that $10 gift card. So email uh, events at allbrands.com with your name, email address, and phone number. And I will email you that gift card on Monday. So congratulations, Elizabeth. And I love that quilting design. Isn't that super cute, Angela? I love it. I love it. <laughs> I see so, much, so many of the wolf pack in here. By the way, everybody was so excited yesterday when we told them that All Brands is going to be part of the social hop. Very exciting. Yeah, so how does that work again? Because we're so, giving away a machine, which I think, can I, tell, can I show you the one that I wanna give away? Yeah. Okay. 
it's right here, actually. <laughs> Not this one one. It'll be a new one in the box. But it's the PS500. Oh, that's fiber. a great machine. It's kind of heavy, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good, sturdy, heavy-duty quilting machine. This is in the pace setter line, my brother. So this is what Olbrance is going to give as a Oh, gift. my gosh. That yep. is that is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what, this, what the social hop is, guys, and you can sign up. It's free to sign up. It's 18 days of giving away. It, I usually do a week-long birthday bash where I sew and everybody follows. And my birthday was last Sunday, and I thought, you know what? I'm so busy. I can't. I don't have time to sew all day because I'm getting ready for it so easy. And I thought, why don't we do a birthday bash for the Wolf Pack? So I organized 18, actually 17 of my favorite businesses and people. <laughs> and every single day on my blog, we'll feature a new one. Like today was Vogue Fabrics with Fabric. You are the 17th. So what happens is on the day that we're sponsored, whoever the sponsor is that day, they might even have a surprise special for you. They might even have a surprise Facebook Live show. And then um, you just sign up and you hop, hop. That's why it's social hop to their page on their Facebook and Instagram and say, hey, thanks for sponsoring the Wolfpack all year. Because you're always doing things for us, Barbara. And Yay. you know, that's awesome. And then on the 18th, we do a big drawing. It's a live show. Hopefully you can come on there to give away your machine. Yes, I certainly will. Count me in. So, and that machine, by the way, is amazing. I can't believe you're giving me that machine. That that one's like the bomb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I agree. It is awesome. That's why we ordered plenty of stock. So I'll have one reserved for the winner of the social hop. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Thank yeah. you for doing that. Well, thank you for what you do for us. You are such an inspiration and uh, you're just, you exude amazingness. And <laughs> thank you from the bottom of my heart for being oh, amazing. Super fun. I can't wait to show embroidery this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see you soon. And so we're gonna take a little five minute break. And then next up on the uh, demo stage, it will be Kathy Stipe. So, Thank you so much, Angela, and we'll see you a little bit later today. See you in a couple hours. Bye, everyone. At allbrands.com, our doors are open, and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask, and after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com.
that you enjoyed that little dance music in the background. And we have a very special guest with us today. Her name is Kathy Stipe. She is a brother national educator and she is going to be showing us some really cool stuff today. She has some feet, some quilting feet and a machine and we're going to be doing a giveaway and it's not going to be a gift card this time. It's going to be something new. So uh, we'll tell you all about that um, during the video. So I hope you enjoy this. And here is Kathy Stipe, Brother National Educator. Welcome, Kathy. Hey, good afternoon, Barbara. How are you? Oh, good. Even better now that I see your bright, shining face. <laughs> <laughs> better Welcome than to yesterday. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the show. So, um, so we're talking about feet today, right? Quilting feet. Correct. We have huh. several feet that we're going to talk about: um, the stitch in the ditch foot, the quarter inch piecing foot, the stitch guide foot, the um, open toe free motion foot, and also my favorite is a dynamic walking foot. You have got to see this in action. Now that one is new to me and I have to tell you a little backstory. We're at the vir virtual Houston International Quilt Festival that allbrands.com has been hosting the Brother Booth for a number of years now. And so for the past like um, the first two years of that, I worked the Brother Accessories Booth specifically in the feet section and I fell in love. Like I had to learn all of the feet to demonstrate them to the customers that were there. Brother has some really, really great feet um, for the machines. And I'm really interested to see that new dynamic walking foot because that's new for me. So. And the wonderful thing about it is, is even though it says it's for a low shank machine, which I'm gonna be showing it on, um, I have the Brother NS80 that I'm going to be showing it today with. Yes, I have I um, it on my XP as well with that oh. adapter. Yes, and I like it for my PS500 machine. Yeah, so that one's a really good one as well. So yeah, I'll let you take take it away, Clot. Claudetta Tucker says that she loves all the feet and thanks everybody for chiming in. All right, so take it away, Kathy Stipe. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna change cameras. So okay. you might wanna put me down for a minute. Okay. <laughs> all right, let me change cameras. Ooh, so Mary actually already has the new dynamic walking foot. So let us know what you think of it. Oh, she says she likes it, so that's good. <laughs> quick roll call everybody where in the world are you tuning in from let us know in the comments team all friends all right you ready kathy i'm ready awesome so one of the first things that i wanted to show was this brother ns80e has an automatic needle threader so i i have my needle or have my thread all the way up to the point where i can press the lever and put my foot down, press the lever, and look at there. My needle is automatically threaded for me. Isn't that awesome? So I'm going to take off my standard foot. And the first one that I want to show you is this one right here. It is just my um, quarter inch foot. This one does not have the guide. So I'm using my straight stitch center needle position and I just want to piece with this. So taking two pieces of fabric, laying them together, I want to line the edge of the foot over here up with the edge of my fabric. Can everybody see this well? And then I'm gonna start stitching. So this works great, but let me show you an even better one. And that would be, see how easy those just snap on and off? 
Yeah, so to recap, the model number of the one that you just showed, if you could bring that one back up on the screen, that one is Brother SA-125. That's the quarter-inch quilting piece foot, and it's all metal for snap-on machines. So um, that will fit all Brother machines, right? And you just put your needle in the center position so Correct. yeah thank you okay so the next one is the quarter inch piecing foot with the guide which is sa 185 and i don't know if you can tell but it has a little flange over here on the side and so that's going to assist me in um keeping my fabrics really straight so I'm just going to line the edge of my fabric up with that guide, lower my needle, and then I'm going to just start stitching. So with this, I can be a little more consistent with my stitch width. So see, I've got more of a consistent stitch there. So that really helps as well. So let's move on. Okay, so bring that one back up on the screen one more time. That is the, that is actually, Kathy, this is my absolute favorite foot for everything. And quilters that sew garments change their seam allowance to a quarter inch, I think, because of this foot. <laughs> because <laughs> it makes it so easy to sew in a straight line. Uh, what a what a great foot to have and all of these products that we're showing on allbrands.com uh when you purchase them you use the coupon code bro 15 off on checkout to take 15 percent off of the price that's on our website so thank you you're welcome so the next one that i'm going to show is called the stitch in the ditch foot and it is sa191 and this one has a little flange that goes down the middle. So where I find this useful is if I'm trying to quilt something and I want to stitch in the ditch, or even if I'm sewing a, want to sew a, um, like a top stitch on something, which is what I'm going to show right now. I'm going to put that flange right there in my seam, and I'm going to move my needle position over. So that way then I can get just a, um, a consistent top stitch. But when I'm using this for quilting, what I will usually do is I'll put regular cotton thread in the bobbin and then I will put um, monofilament or clear thread in my needle but I don't know if you can see this I was using red thread so that you could see how consistent my stitch is and let's let's go on the other side so I could have a row of double top stitching. I got a thread caught underneath my presser foot. So this is one of my favorite ways to use it, is basically for top stitching or stitch in the ditch whenever I'm trying to quilt. Yeah, so Mary actually says that she uses that to stop, top stitch her masks. And I, yes, that's, um, that's a great uh, feature. And you can put it in the center needle position so that it goes directly into the seam. Correct. which is really great. 
Okay, so we'll continue on with chalk stitching. And that's where I use my um, stitch guide foot. And this is SA160 is a number for this. And see those little lines on there? I can use those to follow a stitch along so that I can have evenly spaced rows of stitches. So let's snap this one on. And I've got a piece of white fabric right here, so let's try that. I'm going to change to a decorative stitch. So I'm following a row of stitching that I already have here. And then I'm going to sew another row of decorative stitches right alongside that. And so it makes it really easy to have consistently spaced rows of stitching. So if you wanted to decorate a piece of fabric with your decorative stitches, they're always so much fun to play with. And I don't know if you noticed, but I actually ran off the edge of the fabric. And with this machine and its drop-in bobbin, that keeps me from getting my threads into a gnarly mess. I love that machine. We have a, actually a really good question and, okay. and it's been asked a few times. So we have, it looks like we have a lot of dream machine folks. That's the XV 8500, 8550, um, dream one and dream um, two machines uh, watchers. And they're wondering uh, what foot is compatible with the dream machine. So um, actually, with the Dream Machine, Kathy, don't they get the Move It foot? They do yes. for a walking foot, but they're going to want the dynamic walking foot set when I show them what it can do. Yeah. So what I was going to say is all of the feet that you're demonstrating now are compatible with that machine because they're snap-on feet. Correct. So, yes, these are available for the Dream Machines and all the top of the lines. Um, it's just make sure that you have that ankle foot on. And um, but I was also going to mention that for the folks that have the Move It foot, there is an optional um, attachment for that Move It foot. That's a quarter inch and stitch in the ditch, too, which is really exciting. Correct. So. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take this foot off. If I wanted to free motion and I have a free motion open toe foot, um, and I'm sorry, I don't have the number for that one right off the top of my head, but you can see that it's open in the front. So you would be able to see a little bit better. Um, to lower the feed dogs on this machine, I would need to take off my extension table that I have on here, and I would drop my feed dogs with a lever that's right there in the back. Then I could take this ankle off, attach this foot, and I would be ready and set to free motion stitch. But if there's not any questions about how this works, I would rather move on and show you all the cool things that you can do with that dynamic walking foot. Yeah. So um, just to differentiate on this one, the low shank version is SA187. The high shank version is this one on the screen that I'll put right now. Oops, sorry. Here we go. This is the high shank part number for um, the top of the line machines, but it comes with most of the top of the line machines. So hope that was helpful. Okay, so the one thing that you have to remember when you're um, putting a walking foot on your machine, I also have this um, guide 
that I can attach to it as well. It just goes in the back, back here. There's a little hole and it slides right in. So this way I'm able to adjust this so I can do my stitches, you know, whatever distance apart that I would like. I'm going to take this off while I install the foot. You do have to remove the ankle that is on the foot so that you just loosen the screw when this ankle comes off. That's what you snap your um, snap on presser feet to. This also has a little fork. That fork has to go over around the needle bar. And then we're just going to screw this back on. I like to get it partway tightened and then I lower my foot. And then I usually can just tighten it up a little bit more. Make sure that it's good and snug on there. So one of the things that I love about this dynamic walking foot, and this is called the dynamic walking foot set because these sole plates are removable. There is an open toe sole plate here that just snaps. This one would snap off and the new one would snap on. Um, my sewing room is such a mess right now with all my Christmas sewing that I have misplaced mine. But I wanted to show you how it helps me feed two layers of organza. So I'm just going to change my stitch back to a straight stitch. And I'm going to stitch these two layers of organza. You can see how it's feeding nicely. I'm really not doing anything except for maybe just using my finger to help guide the fabric. And you can see here that I was going slow and then I was going a little faster. But it just makes such a nice stitch and helps me keep these fabrics from puckering as I'm stitching them. Can you see no puckers at all in that seam? So for those that are garment sewers, this would be an awesome machine to have as well. That is so impressive for an entry level machine to have that kind of stitch capability on those fabrics. So what I live in Florida and we've had unusually cold weather this past week. So I had to make the grandchildren fleece hats for the winter time. So I was stitching two layers of fleece together. So that's what I'm showing here is two layers of fleece. And what I would do or what I do whenever I'm stitching fleeces, I usually lengthen my stitch length just a little bit, but that's personal preference. So it's stitching my two layers of fleece, no problem, no puckering. I'm just getting perfect stitches. So there's your stitch on the top and on the back. And you can see I didn't have any puckering at all. So imagine what it would be like if you wanted to do some quilting with this foot. I've got that extra high lift so that I can get it over the thickness of my fabric. And one of the things that I like to show on how well a walking foot will work is doing a cross on the diagonal. So I'm going to stitch on an angle. And you can see it just goes through like butter. And then I'm going to do a crisscross so that you can see we don't get any puckering in the middle. Because it's evenly feeding all of those layers together. So I think it's pretty impressive when I can sew an X. Let's 
Let's see if I can get this so you can see it. When I can sew an X like that, and you don't have puckers right here in the middle where your, your lines of um, stitching cross. Pretty impressive, isn't it? I love that. We actually have a question from Veronica. Okay. Um, can you do triple stitching with this foot? You can. Um, let me turn it to a triple stitch. So there's your triple stitch. That's amazing. So one of the things that I thought was totally amazing and why I needed this to go along with my um, dual feed foot for my luminaire is the fact that this foot will move forward and backwards. So let's pick a decorative stitch that has a forward and backward movement. I'm gonna pick one that's like a little vine See how it makes that leave and then it goes back to finish it off? So I've never had a walking foot before that would do forward and backward movement. And for all of those that are, um, that have your top of the line machines and have tried to use their dual feed foot, they'll notice that when they choose a decorative stitch that sometimes those stitches are grayed out. But they won't have that problem if they have this dynamic walking foot. I can even use the little built-in stipple stitch that we have on this machine. And it has a forward and backward movement as well and a side-to-side -side movement. And see, right now I have pedal to the metal. This machine stitches up to 850 stitches a minute. So that's normally a little bit faster than what I would want to stitch. But I just wanted to show you. And they suggest using this with a medium to slow speed. But, you know, we've always got to try and push everything to the limits. So there's my little built-in stipple stitch. See if I can get you a better picture of it here. So Barbara, are you asking Santa to put one of these on your um, under the tree for you? Oh yeah, <laughs> I had no idea. And the fact that it comes in the closed toe and the open toe uh, that just snaps onto the front. Uh, and I can go backwards and forwards with it. And I can uh, even do satin stitches with it. Do we have time so I can show them one of the satin stitches? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I chose just a satin stitch. And this is one of the things that I had always, that I had wanted to do with my dual feet foot, but I was not able to. Those stitches were grayed out on my luminaire. And sometimes I needed the fabric to feed a little bit better than it would with just the standard in foot. So this has just been a godsend. I mean, it's, it's so amazing. It helps feed all of my fabrics evenly together. And it's going to give me the ability to use a lot of those decorative stitches and still have the walking foot basically to aid in, in pulling all the layers of fabric through it at the same time. Wow. So do we have any questions? Um, let's see. I, I think that we're answering them in the comments. Uh, so this is a low shank foot. It is actually available um, 
not for purchase online. So you have to go to your closest uh, All Brands store um, to purchase that that item as a dealer only product. So yeah, I really love that. That was the SA 101. So we're going to do a quick giveaway. Everybody uh, make some comments. If you want to come into the front, Kathy, um, uh, uh, and I'll bring you in after we do our giveaway. Okay. Sounds okay. good. All right. So I'm going to randomly pick a winner and guess what we're going to be giving away today. I have what one. Giving away? Um, my favorite foot. <laughs> the SA 105 quarter inch quilting piecing foot. Uh, yeah, so actually it's in my studio right here. I'll show you. It's my favorite foot in the world. And where did I put it? Here it is. Here it is. My favorite foot, SA 105. So for this one, if you win, I will need your name, address, email address and phone number uh, because I'll have to ship this one to you, but that's the quarter inch quilting piecing foot with guide quilters, best, best, best friend. Snap. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So let me pick a winner and Elizabeth Smith twice in one day. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> just uh, send me that information and I will jot your name down and congratulations. So Kathy, I'm going to bring you back in and thank you so much for being on the show. Well, thank you for having me. It's <laughs> been fun. I hope yeah. they all enjoyed my favorite feat. <laughs> Do you have a, uh, never mind. I'm not going to say it. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> I say I have a foot fetish cause I love sewing feet. Uh, yeah, and all the right. things that they do, um, they're just, just enhance your sewing capabilities. So, yeah. It's uh, all about having the right tools. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. And you'll be back again tomorrow to show tomorrow us some. I'm going to be showing you how to do quilt binding. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. And hopefully everyone will join us again. Yes. 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 All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow, Kathy. And thank you so much for showing us those feet. I'm totally inspired. Well, <laughs> until tomorrow. At allbrands.com, our doors are open, and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask, and after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. 
Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Welcome back everyone. So next up on our demo stage is Colleen Sweatman, brother, multi-needle expert, and she's going to be talking about the Brother 10 Needle embroidery machine. So I will bring her in and hi there. Oh, let's see. You got to unmute yourself. There we go. I didn't want to make noise at the wrong time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so guilty of that. I think I've done that five times today. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's exciting to be here. Let me, I'll, I'll just say my hellos. That's a big picture of me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So nice what do you have to you. show us today? Well, I thought I would just give a really quick overview of the machine, and then I want to show you a couple of fun things that it can do. I don't know how many of our guests know about Mr. Snowman, but ever since I met him, <laughs> we've been in love. So do you know Mr. Snowman? I'm pretty sure you do. Mr. So, Snowman is a very good friend of mine, Colleen, because I do not hoop straight, and <laughs> that's just the way it is. <laughs> well, I hoop straight. It, it just doesn't look straight when it comes out so must maybe it happens on the machine i don't know no don't um, blame that on the machine <laughs> <laughs> I know who's guilty i can't see straight so what i wanted to show you is some very fun things about this machine i'm going to point it, the camera back at the machine now so you can see it a little bit better isn't she beautiful so i want to talk a little bit about a 10 needle as opposed to a single needle because sometimes people say that the 10 needle looks kind of scary. Well, that's only because you're not looking at it with the right set of eyes. So the 10 needle is just one needle next to another needle. So you thread them all at once and then you don't have to stay here when it needs to be threaded. The machine takes off and does its own thing. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing to have this guy. So you thread them one time and it goes and sews. 
it's just amazing. And, and when you're doing something, let me show you this. I brought this out the other, um, where did I put it? There it is. You know, on your home machine, when you have a lot of thread color changes, you change it and you rethread it and you change it and you rethread it, correct? Well, on this guy, see how many thread changes I have for this crib sheet. It's really a lot. So what this guy does is it goes, oh, oh, that's okay. I've got red, blue, yellow. I, I don't need you anymore. And it just changes. So I can do the whole crib sheet without any thread changes at all because it's doing the whole thing for you. Is that cool? I mean, you've got to love that, right? Yeah, I can't imagine how long that would take if you had to do each sailboat individually on its own. Yeah, it would not be my it would not be my choice of fun things to do. But that's why uh, this guy is my best friend, and I will never be without one. I find that it is has all the user friendly features of our top end machine. So if you're familiar with uh, Dream, Luminaire, Quattro, any of those kinds of machines, even our smaller machines, the features are the same as they are here. This just has more of them is all. So that makes it pretty nice. Have you ever tried to do a hat on a regular machine? It, it's um, not very much fun, but this guy has his own hat driver. And what he has that makes it special is that he can do a 14 inch cap all the way around. Isn't that fun? So that's pretty exciting. One of the things that I wanted to show you today is, well, let's, let's just stitch something because that's the most fun. Let's go to the machine screen. And let's just stop talking. Let's put this stitch. Yes, ma'am. I have a quick question. Um, Carol sure. Longhard asked about that long design. What about yes. that design has 10 color changes? Yeah, so if you import each one individually on a regular machine, not that one, you would have to sell, stitch out each individual sailboat. So red on the first one, then white, and then blue. And then it would skip to the next one, red, white, blue. Well, this one, she's combining the thread. So it does red, 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 all the way across. Saves so much time. It's, Is that correct? It's pretty efficient. I just do a segment. I do a hoop size segment at a time. Uh, so I have set up those boats with the colors so that I can do, it only takes 10 colors or actually less. And then I just set up the segment and it goes for, you know, the long segment. And then I just rehoop for the next segment. And with our rehooping tools that we have, it's, it's really, really easy to always be correct. And I like being correct. I bet you do too. So let's go to the screen for just a minute. I did that answer. Okay. Let's go to the screen for just a minute and let's just choose a little design because I'm going to talk about hooping. Um, do you want to see my hooping skills? They're awesome. Little kid. Hold this and see hooping skills. Do you see how that hoop is nice and straight? Nice. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I'm not usually quite that bad, but today it was. But did you notice that little snowman marker that was kind of pasted on there in the middle? Let's run that by one more time. See him? Well, he's got some magical powers. He's got some really awesome magical powers. So I'm going to choose a design that I want to put on the back side of this little t-shirt, not letters, a design. And I know I want to do that little fire hydrant right there. And I want to make him a little bit bigger. So now this is a design. So if I'm going to change the size, I need to do some things to um, make it change nicely. So I'm going to touch this icon right here. This one means I'm not changing the number of stitches. This one means I am changing the number of stitches. And it asks me, I'm going to tell it, okay. And I'm going to let it be just a little bit bigger. And it's going to still fill in and look perfect. Don't you love that? I'm going to tell it, okay. And I'm not going to change anything else, but notice all the tools that I have here. Oh, let's just show you applique really quickly. Boom, there's an applique patch. Boy, that was hard, wasn't it? Um, you can do all sorts of things, but what we're going to do, you want to see me quilt around it? Watch. Quilt. Cancel. I didn't want to quilt. 
Um, but what I do want to do is I want to stitch it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch that little snowman. You saw him on my shirt. So I'm going to touch him and it asks permission to mess with him. And I'm saying, okay, go ahead, change him and it's going to move. And oh, it found him. I'm always excited because he always finds him. He's so good at this. And it says to remove the, the positioning mark. Now I'm going to tell you from personal experience that if you don't remove it and you stitch through it, it doesn't come out in the wash. I'd just like to let you know that. So here it is. It's a little crooked on the hoop, but that's okay because the snowman told me it's right. I'm going to touch embroidery. I am going to change that color to and see how easily I do this with my magic wand. I want that to be color number two, which is gold. And I want this one to be color number 10, which is black. And I'm going to let it go and I'm going to let it stitch. That's all I have to do. I didn't seem very difficult, did it? It's so easy to change the thread colors. I know. And everything about this machine is easy. And that's why I love it so much. Um, but while it's stitching, I wanted to tell you this. This is a new tool, new to this machine. It's called Stitch Monitor. And let's see. Can you there? I'll get it right in front of the screen. And you can see that it is showing me the time till it's finished. This would actually show me the stitch count. This would show me the thread colors. But is that cool? It's a baby. It's a baby monitor for your sewing machine for your embroidery machine, huh? Yes, but the nice thing is, is that it tells me things. Like the other day, I was downstairs, and it told me it needed a new bobbin. And a baby monitor won't tell you that. So this is pretty impressive. And besides that, it's been three days. That's what makes it really, really special. And it'll tell me when it's finished. It's doing uh, one of number three, so it'll be a minute. So while it's teaching, I thought maybe we could talk about some other things. I'm, I'm not going to scan for you today because I think someone else might be scanning, but I do want you to see the scanning portion of that. I kind of forgot to tell you what comes with the machine, so let's do that too. So when you get the machine, you get the machine itself, you get the four beautiful hoop sizes, and they're a nice variety. So you have one for everything. You have the um, one and a half by two and a half. 4x4, 5x7, and almost 8x14. So you can even do a jacket back in the week to come get that. Then there are a bunch of more accessories available for you to use. So that's pretty exciting. Hey, Colleen. Yeah, I think the sound of the machine is drowning out your voice just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to talk louder? I can't change the volume on this computer because it's a naughty computer. <laughs> just yeah, just speak closer to where the camera is. I can do that. Cool. I can do that. I'll just come down here. Um, so do, do I need to repeat something or just go forward? Um, why don't you repeat the last thing that you said? What did I say last? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't hear it. <laughs> well, it's okay because the machine's finished. So are you ready to see how it did? I'm going to tell it it's okay. It's done. And I'm gonna just lift and bring the hoop out. And even though it looks crooked in the hoop, and it does look pretty crooked, when I pop it out of that hoop, you're going to be amazed because it is going to be perfectly straight up and down. You wanna show us that in the camera? I'm showing it to the wrong camera, aren't I? Sorry. It's okay. You know, it's so funny. These machines are so easy to use. It's just there we like go. <laughs> that throw us off. A Didn't it do bit. a beautiful job on that? Yeah. It was quick and it's beautiful and it's totally accurate. I put that snowman right on a fold line so I knew it was perfect. And I love that snowman. He is just my very best friend for making sure things are right. So I was telling you what comes with the machine. So it's the machine, four different sizes of hoops. 
a scan mat, which I'm going to show you in just a second, and a great big lovely support table for the heavy projects. When you're doing a, a heavy project, you will have that support table. So let me hold up the scan mat for you. So this is included. And on today I have a coloring book page. On the other day I did it by just drawing on the screen. And you can do anything that you want. You can scan most anything. I've actually scanned some fabric. And, and it came out nice too. So if you have to have a piece to match. But this I think is really fun. It's a coloring book page. Now my tip for coloring book pages is this. Uh, just print it on your home printer on white paper. Because that's a better quality paper. So you get a better image to trace. Now, do you want to see the finished design? I know you do. Look at that. Isn't he just, oops, I'm just like sick. Isn't he beautiful? Isn't that amazing? And he's got bubbles in the water. Now, what you see, if I wave him just a little bit, you will see that the coloring of the fish is changed. Even though it's from the same spool of thread, it looks a little bit different. And that's done by changing the angle of the thread, and you can do that right in your My Design Center program. Is that cool? I mean, it's got some pretty, pretty high-level features. I love that you mentioned My Design Center because Ann Keller asks, is it worth trading in my PR1000E for this new machine? And this is the PR1055X. Oh, there's so many more things on this. Um, first of all, the scanning is really, really nice, and the My Design Center is super, but there's just a whole bunch more features. Uh, one of my favorite is, do, have you ever had a design where you just wanted to skip a color? Well, on your home machine, you just delete that color and, and don't stitch it out and just go on. But this guy's got all the threads, so he goes ahead and he stitches that color. Well, in the new programming we have the ability to just completely delete a color and I have just found that to really really be uh, something that I use a lot let's switch to the screen again and let me just fix him so he's upright let me get you one that um, we'll st we'll just pick him again and we'll make him bigger so he's visually bigger there and we can go to the next page. And if I just wanted the outline, I can just touch delete and it's gone and I have just the outline. So that turned that instantly into a red work design or an outline design. Um, but very, very quickly you can delete colors. That alone probably would have pushed me over the edge. So I'm not a good person to ask because my answer would have been oh, straight up, oh yes. <laughs> I hope that helped. This is a fun tool. This is written by, there we go, Brother Educators. It is the playbook for the 1055X, and it has 34 project lessons. So they're projects that you can just follow along with, and it has five hours of video, and it has great instructions on it. Now, you all know that these machines have videos on them. So if you just touch the question mark, we're in the wrong, I'm in the wrong, no, I'm not. Just touch the question mark where the video is. It will pop up and there are your support videos. There's hours of beautifully done videos. There is no talking during the videos because they are, um, Brother is a global company. They sell machines all over the world. So there's no, uh, no, no sound, but they're, the videos are very, very easy to follow, I think. Uh, any other questions that popped up real quickly? before I want to do a little bit of show and tell. Okay, let's see. Yes, this is the 1055X. Um, we've gotten a lot of compliments on the machine. Um, let's see. Um, so hoop sizes was one of our questions that we had. Okay, the included hoops, the largest is about 8 by 14. The smallest is 1.5 by 2.5. There's a four by four and a five by seven. So it comes with a really nice practical set of hoops so that you have something for everything. Um, one of the ones that I wanted to talk about a little bit today is the sleeve hoop, which I had out here. I don't know where I put it down at. Oh, right here. The sleeve hoop 
looks like this and it's called the sleeve hoop. But this, of course, looks to you like a baby onesie, doesn't it? And guess what hoop I used? The sleeve hoop. You got it. So it's amazing on sleeves. It's also amazing on pent legs. Um, I've, I've used it for a million different things. So just because brother calls it something, that doesn't mean it's the only thing you can use it on. This one is... It's still football season, so I know you football fanatics are out there. And this guy has a uh, genuine faux leather football. And then the sleeve has football on it also. Because I used the sleeve. There we go. Having a hard time getting these right in the right of the, in the page. I think it's me. Uh, anyway, any questions about the sleeve hoop? No. Um, no, not yet. Just a lot of compliments on the machine. Everyone loves it. Oh, the machine is so wonderful. Uh, here's another one. The thing that I love about it is the free arm because, you know, I'm showing you things that I can do on a free arm and you could do them on a flatbed if you took the garment apart or held it with your hands for every single second. What I found with my luck and I'm doing a onesie is the second I turn my face that little arm flops right into under the needle and gets to be a big hot mess. So I'm happier with the free arm. And here we have just a little logo, pocket logo. This is often the bet, bread and butter of people who are uh, using the machine for a business. Not always, because there's a lot of use for this as a business. There's a lot of use for me having fun with it. <laughs> Yeah, so I got two really good questions that just came up. Uh, Marilyn's watching. Hey, Marilyn. Um, what's the size of the sleeve hoop? It's about three by eight. Wow. And yeah, then, it's a nice, nice length. So Mary asks, do you get support for the hoops for heavy sewing things like jean legs or jackets? Yes, you do. I'll well, show them mine. Okay, um, I was going to say mine's right here. I can put my hands yeah. on it. So it's the um, the support table comes with the machine, but they also have a new one. If you want to do tubular arms, there's an additional optional accessory it's that you right can here. Use. Oh, OK. Mine was in grab reach without having to even move. So I let's see if I put it on here and release it. Now I'm going to pull it out. And you should be able to see, come on, there we go. That comes out as far as our table does. That's so, such a big deal. Yes, and one, I don't have that sample in the room with me right now, but there, I did a really heavy jacket and I did both sleeves and it took two sleeve hoop hoopings to do the length of the sleeve and I had no issues at all. It was a heavy, um, fake fur line jackets is probably three quarters of an inch thick. Yeah. I had no trouble at all with that. Cool. Um, I did use that arm though. So fun thing you be at all to your jean because it's, yeah. just, it's too stiff and bulky and awkward, but it was just a snap to do on this machine because you just slide your hoop right inside. And I actually used um, my regular hoop. You could use an M-clamp hoop for it. And it snaps into place and you're good to go. That is so cute. I love it. So everybody start commenting because we're going to be doing a giveaway on one of my favorite things for the 10 needle machine. I absolutely love the magnetic core bobbins, the pre-weld oh, bobbins. Oh, yeah, the the yes. Yeah, so one side is, is not... Uh, magnetic and then this side is magnetic and it connects to the inside of your bobbin case and these things are wonderful this is the Filtech 12434 so I will uh, be shipping these to a lucky winner if you don't have a multi-needle embroidery machine let me know um, if you win and I'll ship you your correct size uh, pre-wound bobbins for your machine and this is a box of a lot. Um, 
a hundred, hundred pre-wound bobbins. It lasts okay. you a long time. I'm so, going to have to say that's what I use. I love those. Yeah. And I, I'll tell you a secret that you may not know because you haven't used other bobbins. Yeah. The secret is this prevents any backspin so you don't have any loops. But better than that, it's less lint. These yeah. have very little lint to them. It's a good, really good quality thread. Yeah, I agree. I have had so much success with it. So congratulations, Constance. You're the winner. Email me at events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, phone number, and shipping address. And let me know what machine you have so I can ship you the correct bobbins. So yeah, so thank you so much, Colleen, for coming on the show. Fun. Yes, it well, always is. Goodbye. <laughs> it's always great to see you and it's great to see everyone watching. We've been having, I think, like the watch rate has been here. So I think we've had folks been have watched all day. So if you have been watching all day, let me know in the comments because you are a super trooper. Love you so much. Um, yeah, so so we're going to transition to Jerry Granada. We're going to take a little five minute break and we'll see you. Uh, again, we had one quick question before I go. Can this machine be shipped? Okay, so this is a dealer only model. If you want our special deal, it's um, below here at allbrands.com. And we have seven retail stores in Louisiana and Texas. If you come into our retail store, we can accept a trade in. We can give you 60 months financing. You get to pick an extra. There's a ton of bundles with this machine. You get the stand, you get a rebate for the seven and one easy frame and the XP one playbook. I mean, the PR playbook, which is awesome. Road so trip. Yeah, road trip. <laughs> come and see us. I mean, you. We've already toured the Houston store and the San Antonio store, and, and tomorrow we're going to tour the Baton Rouge store. Um, so yeah, you have to purchase it in our retail store, but if you need us to ship it to you in Louisiana or Texas, we can do that. If you don't have like the proper setup for um, putting it in your vehicle or, or whatever like that, but you do have to purchase it in our store. So yeah, give us a call, 866 two five five two seven two six and we'll find the closest uh retailer to you so thank you so much colleen thank and we'll you. see you again a little later okay i'll have a great day and you do too yes oh carol you're awesome watching all day <laughs> yeah okay well we'll see you a little later thanks colleen okay. thank you bye bye, bye. At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup. Thank you.
or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. I got to just keep on dancing and oh, that's so fun. And I see Jerry's been dancing in the background. I love these five minute breaks. So it gives me time to dance. And here's Jerry Granada. We're so happy to have you on the show. I can neither Jerry. confirm nor deny any dancing was going on. I just want to say. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How are we doing? Doing awesome. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. To have you on the show and we have a ton of people watching super festive super fun learning a lot so what are we learning today <laughs> um, i can definitely pull off rainbow ear rainbow antlers with uh antlers with bells on them i can certainly do that i'm gonna have to up my game tomorrow between you and angela and cindy was even blinging today oh my goodness wow i know that's awesome <laughs> Yeah, she well, had we're, gonna, we're gonna talk about the PRS 100 today or the uh, otherwise known as the Persona. And what I love about this machine is it is it is very versatile. And I'll say something controversial. I think it is one of the most versatile machines in the Brother lineup. Um, it is a semi-industrial machine. It can do free motion quilting. You could do your tote bags, your caps, your shoes. Uh, it has the free arm, just like you learned on the 10 needle. And a lot of the things that Colleen talked about that are on the 10 needle are also on the persona. So what is what would this machine be good for? Okay, it's great for the person. If you have a business, this can also serve as your cap, uh, your cap machine. So if you just wanted to dedicate a machine to just doing caps, perfect for that. Um, if you're a home sewer and you already have uh, a sewing machine and even maybe an embroidery machine, but you want to jump into the multi-needle world, uh, the semi-industrial world, 
Um, this is a great machine. The price point is so great. It has the same, uh, the guts of the 10 needle uh, put together very much the same way, but it is a single needle machine, but it's a great way to jump into this world without feeling like um, you have to sell your children. <laughs> so um, this is, I mean, it's amazing. And yes, it does free motion quilting as well. There's a free motion quilting set. Um, if you already have the persona and you're looking to add the table, get the free motion set because it comes with the table. So there's a little tip for you. Um, you get the table plus all the free motion. So uh, it's it's an amazing free motion quilting machine. So how many embroidery machines do you know of that can also do free motion quilting? Not many. This is one of them. So let's uh, let me go ahead and switch my camera around here and let me take you over to the persona. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to take you on a little tour here. So this is the persona. As you can see, it looks a lot like the 10 needle. It has the same like needle stack and thread stack. You're going to come down. It looks very much like the 10 needle or the six needle that you just saw. Again, semi-industrial machine has the arm, has the free arm here so that you could do your shoes and your tote bags and your caps and not have to worry about anything getting caught. Um, so what I want to show you now, I want to focus on two things specifically. Again, it would, it would take me an hour to go through everything that this machine has, and we don't have that kind of time. So <laughs> I kind of want to break it down into just a couple things. Um, what I want to talk about is the border function. There's a border frame that's along with this. And also, I want to talk a little bit about the cap frame because people want to know how that works and, and how you work it. So let me show you, let me show you the main menu. That was my dog. Sorry. I'm going to show you the main menu. This is our uh, main menu of the machine. And this is uh, about as simple as you can get it. I mean, it's just so wonderfully simple. And what I want to do is show you, and I'll spin this down a little bit. What I have on my machine is the border frame. And what this is for is exactly what it is. You know, in sewing, we have needles that are leather needles, and we have needles that are ballpoint needles for knits. This is a border frame. So what is this specifically for? It is for borders. So if you wanted to put some embroidery on the edge of a garment, or you want to put it, um, you want to decorate the edge of your sheets, maybe you want to jazz up your sheets a little bit, um, this is a great way to do it. So what I'm going to do is go back to the screen, because I want to pick a design first, and then we're going to... I'm going to show you how the frame works. So I'm going to pick a design, and I've kind of been working with this a little bit, so I kind of know, let me get this in here so you can see it really well. All right, so I'm going to go to um, this category right here. It comes with, let me go back first. This comes with 20 different fonts that are all adjustable. 20, yes, 20. <laughs> Uh, it has a quilting category. It has various categories for embroidery. It has a, a category for frames. So if you wanted to put uh, a beautiful uh, font and then have a beautiful frame go around that, you can do that here. But for now, I'm just going to talk about the border frame just real quick. And I know it's kind of hard to see. I've tried to do my best to uh, change my lighting around so that you can see this really well. And I know this is very hard to see. But since I have my frame on with the specific arm for that frame, it is showing me that in the window, and I know that's very hard to see. It's very faint. But in my window, I'm seeing an outline of the frame. What's nice about that is it did that automatically. I didn't have to change anything. Once I put the correct arm on for this frame, it automatically sensed it, and it automatically gave me that outline so that when I start loading designs, I won't go outside that area. So they've thought about that, which I think is wonderful. Um, so let me go ahead and load a design. So I'm going to choose 007. I'll call this the James Bond embroidery design. We'll choose 007, and there it is. Now, in playing with this, I know already that this is too big. I'm not going to be able to do the border function with this, so I have to reduce the size. So how am I going to do that? So I'm going to just set it because I want to bring it into my uh, edit area, and that's where I'm at initially. That's where it takes me. I'm now in the edit screen, and I want to resize this. So as you can see in this lower left-hand corner, there's the word size. It's also the word rotate. We can choose a color. This is the magic part that we're going to work with, the little border frames. And you can mirror image. So if you wanted to flip this design another way, it will do that automatically for you at just the touch of a button. You can duplicate if you want to. 
Um, but we're going to do the we're going to duplicate, but we're going to use the border function. So let me resize this. And what my choices are on the two left hand side categories, this stays proportional. So there's four arrows going in and four arrows going out. That means it will proportionally increase or decrease the size of the embroidery without stretching it out of shape. Now, if I wanted to customize it, maybe I want uh, an embroidery design of an apple and I want to stretch that apple so it's really tall. I can do that here. I can mash it down so it's really short. I can stretch it side to side or inside. I'll do that here. But for this design, I just want to make keep it proportional. I don't want to stretch anything out of shape. So I'm going to choose um, the in, and it will stop when it's finished. Gives me a little a little signal that it has gone as as far as it can go, and that's perfect for me. So I'm going to touch OK. So now I have taken it to the smallest size that it can go. Now I want to add some designs on either side, and I want them to be centered because this is going to be a border. So here's that little magic icon right here. This is the border function. And when I open that up, I have uh, a few selections here. So it defaults to the vertical section. So if you see down along here, this is my vertical choices. But I'm not working vertically. I want to work horizontally. So all I have to do is go to the icon to the right. And now I have all of my horizontal choices. So what do I want to do? I want to add, I know that two more are going to fit on either side of this initial design. So how do I do that? So down at the lower left-hand corner, I have some choices here. I have a plus and I have a minus. So I can, I can delete designs or I can add them. Now I want to add them. Now look at the arrows are in the lower left and the lower right. This means that it's going to add designs to the right-hand side of my design. And once the plus set sign is on the left side, it's going to add a design to the left side. So I'm going to touch the plus on the left once and watch my screen. Touch plus on the right. And I, it automatically centers and gives me my design to fill my hoop. Now that's perfect. I can also put this in memory if I choose. So uh, I can just keep going, or maybe there's something that I've worked on and I really want to save it. You can put that in memory as well. But now what I want to do is just, I'm not necessarily going to stitch this out because we just don't have enough time, but I'm going to touch embroidery. And there I am. Now I'm in the embroidery screen, but notice I still have some choices here. I can still move this around if I want to. Um, I can also uh, test it, test the design. I can add, um, which I always suggest that you do. Here's a tip. There, on our brother machines, we have the way, a one-touch way to put a basting stitch around our designs. And I always suggest that you do that because it's just an extra bit of security. I, I go to events, a lot of people say, you know, my designs, they just, they went all wonky and it got all out of whack, and, but it was straight when I put it in there. Put a basting stitch around it automatically. Um, and that will secure all your layers together and it will create a beautiful embroidery for you. Um, it keeps everything nice and straight. So now I'm ready to go. So I've got my basting stitch on there. All I have to do then is touch unlock, touch the green blinking button at the bottom here. Let me do that again for you. I'm going to touch. Now I'm going to touch unlock. This button will blink green, and I'm now ready to stitch out. I mean, that quickly. And I, I have a border that I love, and I'm ready to stitch it out. Notice that it automatically locks up for you, so you don't have to worry about that. It will automatically reset to lock. Now let's go down and let me show you this frame and how we're going to load this. So this is the border frame. And one thing that I want to point out is there are several arms that are made uh, for the various the various frames. So this is the, the B arm here. If you notice, it's this, this section right here. This is the B arm. How do I know that? Because there's a little sticker on the right side that says B. And also on my frame, there's another sticker that says B. So it's very easy to match up. So if you have the A arm on and you see this, you know that you can't use this with that arm because that's this is a B. This uses the B, the B arm instead of the A arm. So I've got my B arm already on. This is ready to go. Now I want to point out a couple features here of this frame. So if you notice here, right underneath on the frame itself, this is sort of, I know it's hard to see because it's black, but this is sort of a velvet, or a, like a velvet, maybe felty, velcro-y kind of fabric. And then when I flip the frame over, 
This is the underside of the top part of the frame. It's rubber. So this is a rubber strip that goes all the way around the top part of the frame. So as you can probably guess, once you lock this into place, your, your fabric will not move. And I'll show, you, I'll show you, it locks it right in. So if you've ever had a problem with anything shifting, this is a great hoop to use. So what I'm gonna do on both sides of the hoop, you're going to see that there are gray clips that have uh, a little uh, indentation in there. All you're gonna do is you're gonna touch them and you're gonna press, it will click, that will lock everything in place. To undo it, when you're ready to move on, if you notice right here on the side, there's a little button. It's a little gray button and you have that on the right side and you have it on the left side. There's that little gray button. You're gonna push those in at the same time and it unsnaps your hoop. So now you're ready to go. So what I wanna do is, um, I'm just gonna do a quick example here. I'm just sliding in my frame until it snaps. Look how easy that was. Now I'm going to take a piece of stabilizer and you're gonna match your stabilizer to whatever project you have. It could be water soluble, it could be tear away, it could be cutaway. This is just a piece of cutaway um, just for an example here. And I have a piece of fabric, I'll scoot it over here. I have a piece of fabric and let's say this is going to represent uh, the bottom of a skirt or the bottom of uh, a sheet, maybe a, a border on a sheet that you want to do on the edge. But again, it's a border for this. Is, so this is for the edge of something. That's what this frame is used for. I'm just going to slide it in until it stops. And that's it. Remember, I've got these gray clips here or gray, gray buttons. I'm going to push down on one. And I like to hold from underneath just to make sure everything stays in place. And it is now that simply locked into place. And trust me, this ain't going nowhere. <laughs> the machine is shaking. I'm pulling so hard. This is locked into place. So now all you have to do is stitch this out. Stitch out the design that I showed you that's on your screen. Right over there. Once you are finished with that, watch this. Remember those two gray buttons I showed you on the side? See how the frame pops open? Then all you're going to do is take your project and just slide it right on through to your next area that you want to stitch. Push down on the gray clips. Again, locked into place. Let it do its stitch out. Now for me, this takes three minutes. But I also have to talk about the cap frame, so I can't do a stitch out right now. Hit those buttons, slide it down, lock it into place, locks it right in. And look how fast you could just slide everything right on down. Um, now, also, you don't have to do this with just uh, borders. You can, you can do this on children's clothing. You can Anything that you can fit in this hoop, you can certainly embroider on and slide it on down. So if you were doing like a, the border of a quilt would be perfect for this as well. Um, put your edge right in here, stitch out your design, maybe your sashing design or your, your border design and slide it on down and think how fast that that would be. You get all those UFOs done. So also I'm going to talk about bobbins really quick. Remember that Colleen mentioned the, um, and Barbara as well, talked about the Filtech Magma, Magna bobbins. You can use those in this machine as well. So they are fabulous. If you haven't used them and you have a multi-needle or you have a persona, I very highly suggest that you get the Magna Bobbins. Um, again, it prevents backlashing or any kind of nesting underneath as you start to sew. It's really great for free motion uh, quilting as well. So um, it prevents any backlashing as you start to quilt. So that is the border frame. Any questions about, do we have any questions about that so far? Um Jerry, I wanted to remind you, and that what you just said reminded me, the Persona is the only tubular arm embroidery machine that includes a bobbin winder attached to it to oh, wind your own bobbins. It, so let me, without without doing the Dramamine so. effect here, I'm going to show you right here on the side, here's your bobbin winder right here. This gray section right there has its own onboard bobbin winder. So my motion needle embroidery machine does not have that. So that's a big deal. And I'm wearing my Disney ears awesome. video because this is the only tubular arm embroidery machine that accepts Disney designs through ibroidery.com. 
Absolutely. Brother. Yeah, that's one thing I was going to touch on as well is, is yes, you can do Disney designs with this machine. Absolutely. Um, you, you certainly can. It is the only semi-industrial machine in the Brother line that will accept Disney designs. Um, do not sell them, <laughs> but you can stitch them out for sure. Um, can't, can't do Disney on a 6 or a 10 needle, but you certainly can do it on this machine. Um, and another thing, too, I'll just pull back real quick. Look at the footprint. It's a very small footprint. I have this on my sewing table. I'm sitting down right now as I'm working this machine. Um, it's sitting on my sewing table. So I have all that free arm. I have all of that ability, uh, semi-industrial ability, um, sitting on my sewing table. So you could have this sitting right next to your machine. You just roll right on over, slide right on over to this machine, and work it as you need to. So now I'm going to show you the cap frame. We're just going to slide the hoop off. Now, you'll have to forgive me. I'm doing this from the side. So <laughs> it's a little more difficult. All right. So while you do that, Jerry, do you mind if I tell them what the special is on this machine? Do it. That'd be great. That'd be All great. Right. I'll bring you back in in a moment. I'm going to All right. It. All right. So everybody, um, this machine is available. I know a lot of people are like, can I buy this one online? The the XP2 and the 10 needle. You have to be local or make the trip to allbrands.com to get that deal um, in Louisiana or Texas. But the Persona is available for sale online. It's free shipping right now on that machine. Um, and this is the special. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so that you can see this because I just don't want you to miss out on this. It's just in time for Christmas and it, it comes with some very special products. So here we go. I'm going to share my screen and make this full. Okay. So allbrands.com. We went to the Persona PRS 8x8 embroidery machine. Uh, by Brother Page. So right off the bat, I see it comes with a rebate for the border frame that you just saw. So you don't have to purchase that extra. That is a rebate directly through Brother. Um, and then you get to pick one more extra from the drop down box here. So in the pick ones, you can choose the stand. You can choose 0% synchrony financing for up to 60 months and let's see i muted you jerry sorry uh and or you can get pe design 11 digitizing software with that big deal everybody i absolutely love that and um here's the specials on it so you can purchase this online here's the rebate form for the border frame and there's a buy button on this page so you can have it shipped anywhere in the united states and then you just pick your extra and you're good to go so what do you think about that jerry that's incredible once again did you say free shipping yes and that's a big box right it, it is that's i mean come on folks that's a lot of money right there that you're yeah. saving that's Don't a deal right that. there yeah, for tubular arm embroidery, free shipping. And if you purchase it online and you're outside of Louisiana or, or Texas, our website does not charge you sales tax uh, because we don't have physical locations outside of Louisiana or Texas. So big savings, tons and tons of extras in value and financing. And then you get to pick the, the freebie that you want. So no brainer, right? Unbelievable. I mean, again, I, I just can't get over the free shipping part. I mean, even if you threw in nothing else, it would be worth it just for the free shipping. Um, but again, All Brands does such an incredible job with their with their bundles. And I mean, don't walk, run, and call them, please. Jerry, um, I just did the math. And you know, you know, I don't like doing math, but this one's worth doing the math on. If you choose the 60 months, 0% financing, the price per month is only $84 per month. Oh, good grief. Yeah. I mean, folks, okay. come on. <laughs> please, please go buy this machine. This is such an awesome machine. Um, okay. Very, very quickly, very quickly, I'm going to talk about the cat frame. 
Um, I'm gonna get this in. So unfortunately, um, I was sent the wrong cap frame, but uh, I have the wide cap frame, which doesn't work on the PRS. You have to use the regular cap frame. Um, all that means is that it's just, you can use a bigger cap, but um, this part will work and I will show this to you. This is what it's gonna look like in your machine. I have loaded up my hat. As you can see, it's very simple. It's just a metal band that clips over your hat. All I have to do is slide this in and bring this around. Snap it into place, and there we go. I'm ready to start embroidering. So just like that, I can do caps on this because of the free arm. So it is wonderful. Again, um, Marilyn, it says you're thinking about purchasing a second one, do it. If, if, if nothing else, just to have it for a cap frame, um, you could dedicate this as your, just your cap machine and off you go and you're ready, you're ready to go. So this is, um, I know my time is up here, so I'm going to, I'm going to close it out, but this is very simply how, you know, uh, Barbara was talking when I was loading this, this section here. So you see, it only took a couple of minutes to do. So um, it's very easy, very easy to switch everything out. Thank and you, Gary. Hey guys, this is, this is the ultimate, ultimate deal that we have. If you're not in Louisiana or Texas and you can't make that trip over to our stores, this is the one to get. This Absolutely. is the best yeah. internet machine that we have to offer. It does Disney and Frozen. Yes, it does. <laughs> all of that great 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 stuff so let's go ahead and pick a giveaway winner Jerry. Oh, yeah oh, so everybody start making some comments and i want to thank you so much you are such an amazing presenter um i just i love i'm just so enthralled uh with that border frame like i know it's incredible it's so it's so amazing you slide everything right on down and you're ready to do the next one yeah, it's very similar to what I think I might be doing with the magnetic frame on the 10 needle, uh, right. but it's the clamp system, which is super, super duper cool. All right, so <laughs> let's pick a winner. And uh, Deborah, congratulations. Email events at allbrands.com. Your name, email address, and phone number, and I will email you a $10 All Brands gift card on monday congratulations deborah it's good to see you again i know you're from baton rouge so thanks for watching and sticking on with us all right so we're going to take another little five minute break and then we'll bring in angela wolf thank you so much jerry you're awesome thank you barbara for having me i really appreciate it bye yeah. everyone bye At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. 
Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Give me a shout out if you're dancing, everybody. We got to keep dancing in between these segments to keep our blood pumping and, and ready for more uh, for more fun. Oh, Angela. You got me. I need some of those Mickey ears. I need some. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I have I um, I have my Mickey, my Mickey purse that you can that do on the so scan and cut. <laughs> you have a really big cup and a really tiny purse, Angela. <laughs> it's super, super cute. So I don't know if, if the purse holds the money. It means I'm broke, but not thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Jill says, love you. We love you back. Go with those ears like nobody's watching. Oh, my gosh. Oh, love it. So, oh, my gosh. Angela, is this our last live? Of, this yeah. is going to make me cry. <laughs> it's been so great working with you. And you're such, just such an amazing, amazing, uh, knowledgeable person on the XPT Luminaire. So what do you got for us today? I got a couple. Of One, for anybody that did not see the magnetic frame, I brought that out again with a piece of mesh. Okay, just so you can see how that works. And then I'm going to take you to my design center and so show you some cool things there. And one thing we did not take a look at yesterday is the actual projector with the embroidery. That is by far the best thing ever. Yes, I agree. All right. Well, I'll let you take it away, Angela. All right. Let's see. I'm going to take you over here first. I love that fabric, by the way. So oh, pretty. The, isn't that fun? 
It's okay, so, so fun. Let's see. Yesterday, I was throwing stuff everywhere this morning. Here it is. Oh no, is it doing it again? I can switch cameras if it does. If I don't breathe, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I think this one is gonna have to go out to pasture. So this is the magnetic frame. And this one only fits the XP, not the 10 needle, it's different. Similar, but different, right? Now this was a piece of knit, a super lightweight piece of knit. So you can hoop pretty much anything on this. I'll just turn this sideways so you can see a little bit better. And you know, I wonder, by the way, well, I'll just throw a piece. I'm going to hoop this mesh, which is super lightweight. Just like I did my lace designs here, I embroidered this on tulle fabric. And this is how light of a fabric that you can hoop with here. I love this. And then when I go to show you the projector, I'll just throw a piece of paper on top because I don't think you'll be able to see anything on here because it's invisible. And these just snap into place at each side. Watch your fingers. They're a little snappy. All right. Where's my other one? <laughs> Can you tell that it's Friday? But that means my office is like clean up in aisle four, five, and six. <laughs> TGIF. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. All right. And here. Look at that. You can't even tell there's fabric in there. Isn't that awesome? And so if you had to move it, like when you're doing your sleeves or you're doing a whole garment, or maybe you're just doing, this is great for home deck because you can do this and lay it on top of something else. So that's how easy it is to use this hoop. Now, before I go to the machine, for anybody who did not see yesterday, this project here is one that we did in the Luminaire Masterclass. And this is quilt sashing around the edge. This is a whole nother design and I will switch to a different camera because that one is not behaving. And then this one here, by the way, is quilt sashing. Isn't this beautiful? And it met. I think I was like an eighth of an inch off or maybe like a 16th inch because I'm such a perfectionist, but um, this looks great. So let's, I'm gonna take you to the machine. And that camera is much, a much happier person today. Angela, I think that brother needs to also manufacture camera equipment because we haven't had any sewing and embroidery machine malfunctions. Only hey, camera. That's perfect. <laughs> I think you're right. I'll test it. <laughs> okay, so here's the embroidery machine. You guys can see that okay, right? I'm going to show you a couple things in here. Now, my design center, Barbara, do you work in that a lot? Because that's like, you can do just about anything in there. Um, yeah, that's the reason why I fell in love. With this. <laughs> that's why everybody has. All right, let's wake her back up. She was sleeping. So yesterday, can they go back and watch some of the videos from yesterday? Oh, yes. But I have to say, um, they're all on YouTube. So oh. hop over to our All Brands Corporate YouTube page, and they're easier to find and see there. Perfect. So yesterday, I showed how to scan in your handwriting and turn it into embroidery. So I don't need to do that again. Let's move on to something else that's really fun. So by the way, what I just showed you there, in case you did miss that, that one design in the center was under here, zero, two, and look at all of these. These are great. So I think that one was, I don't remember. I think it was this one here. So if you have a scan and cut, you can turn this into an applique. See where it's always red, gray, red. You can just click on those and turn them into applique. Take this into a USB stick and take it over to your scan and cut and it will cut every one of those pieces out. I did something different, which you'll see in the master class, but let's go back here to my design center. I love my design center. So in here, oops, not Disney. You got me all Disney with your ears. <laughs> Speaking of Disney, for those of you that don't know, there are a few new Disney things in here. Look under number seven, check this out. These are so cool. So you could do trim, you could make, um, oh gosh, well these can combine into more designs. So check this out. There's a little Mickey hand. 
and you can click more of these. Where's my little duplicate? <laughs> these are just, I love these. So just to give you a little idea. All right, now for real, let's go into my design center. So <laughs> it wants to know if, it, if I wanna recall what I was working on before. Now, how cool is that? That means I didn't save it. So this is what I was doing yesterday. Did you guys see me make this snowman? I'll, I'll do it one more time just so you can see. I can't really see it, it's too lightweight. We'll start over. Here you go. Okay, so in here, you have so many different options. You can scan in, so let me just give you a little, you can scan in an image, a line design, or an illustration, and turn it into embroidery. Or I will scan in fabric and use, and use the image, and it'll show up on the background, and then you're able to add designs on top of it. You can also grab something from the machine if you've saved something. So you can see this, I'm gonna bring this in just so you can see this. This here <laughs> looks like a major hot mess, doesn't it? But what this was, I scanned in the fabric and then I just drew triangles because the fabric kind of had triangles on it. It was just kind of a weird looking, dif different shapes. I would draw in triangles and add stippling to each one, creating my own fabric. And I'll show you that bag when I get back over to the other camera, but you can do so much in there. So here, I'm going to take you in here and show you all the fills. So let's just bring in, oh gosh, I don't know. Should we do another snowman? Cause that was pretty easy. Bring in this, there's the big circle at the bottom. And let's go ahead. You have all the capabilities here, similar to what you have on the embroidery side, but more. So let's see. Go ahead and make another circle and bring that one up here. And we need to make it a little smaller so you can change the size on these. Very easy. And as long as there's a red box around what you're working on, you can keep working on that. Otherwise it moves on to the next thing. So here's another one. See how the red box is around that one here? Click size. Let's bring it down a little bit now. If I were to go ahead and add a fill, this is this button right here. This section here has to do with fills. There's a paint brush, which you could just draw, kind of cool, not there, <laughs> or a paint bucket, which means it will fill whatever you want to fill in here. So click on here. You can either fill it with satin stitches, stippling, or any of these designs here, which is very cool. So if I were to just fill this, uh oh, wait, I can't do that because it's not going to make any sense. Well, I guess it looks like a snowman with a bikini on, huh? <laughs> so let's take this back out. <laughs> but it has a very cool tool right here, and that is the eraser. And you can make it any size you want, square or circle. I'll just keep it on the circle, but I'm going to make it kind of large. Click OK. And I'm just going to do this kind of messy, but... Look at, I can take away some of the lines that we had. So by doing that, now what happens? If I click on the paint bucket now, look, it'll fill. Isn't that cool? So you have so many possibilities. Why don't we just erase a little bit more of the head? Angela, I can't help but notice your beautiful cuff on oh, your thank you. <laughs> I had to change clothes for you. I did this on the Luminaire, by the way. It's beautiful. Oh, see, that's just the that's just the paintbrush. I do that all the time. You want the bucket so I could fill this with stippling. Look at that. How simple that is. Now, wait a minute. Maybe you want to add something else in here. Look at all these shapes that you can add. All of these, which are a great base. Like some of these work great for adding monograms in them. You can also have a shape that, that's already filled with satin stitches. So why don't we add a nose to this little guy? We'll add a prettier nose than yesterday. That was, that's an awful big nose, by the way. <laughs> we'll go back in here, turn it into satin stitches, and we'll make his nose like a normal. Oops. There you go. Okay, and let me just go back here one more time. I forgot to change the size for a oh, second. It was, 
This may be late, but I just got a chat from Rosemary who's coming up next. She said the bucket does it. The what? The bucket does it. That may be really late, though. <laughs> oh, I was checking the chat. The, the, bucket, chat. the bucket does the fill. The paintbrush doesn't. I always grab the wrong one. But the best part is that guess what? There's an undo. <laughs> And Angela, you got to stick around and see Rosemary's really cute hat. I'm oh, sure I want to see it. it. Yeah, it's going to be so cute. I miss seeing Rosemary right now. This is when we'd all see each other. In I, know. I can't wait for next year and to get back together again. Me too. Okay, now let's add the satin stitches. And we have the bucket, not the paintbrush. And there we go. So we've got the nose. I don't know. It's kind of weird. And then maybe you just want to draw in the eyes. There's pencils where you can actually use different. There, you have all these different options to just draw things in. Let's do it. Satin stitches. Why don't we just. There's an eyeball. There's an eyeball. I think that's a very scary eyeball for a snowman, but I think you're getting the idea, right? And then let's go in and just add stippling. How about you want a green snowman? Nope, there we go again. Here's the bucket. Look at that. So this is so simple. And then you can keep adding things. I mean, there's so many possibilities in here. So now maybe you want to add some arms. You can add them with satin stitches. My snowman's getting scarier and scarier, but <laughs> <laughs> why don't we just give him a few feet and it'll look like the squirrels in my backyard, right? <laughs> Oh, your squirrels are so cute. <laughs> they are. So that is so easy. And then one, a few more things in here that you might want to see. Under the shape side, you have all of these. These are so cool because you can do little frames with these. There's so many different possibilities. In here, you have little swirlies. I call these like little mustaches. But you can put add these to whatever you're working on in different places. I have a ton of Valentine's things I've done with this, making mug rugs. And then here is what I showed yesterday. If you want to go back and watch that video, I brought in mini just to outline a mini to be able to use it in my design center. You can see I have letters here and there's so many different things, but also in here, you can tell your machine what size hoop you're using. So you don't get that ever dreaded when you go to embroidery. See this, my design's bigger than that right now. Guess what would happen if we didn't have that option? When I go to next, it'll let me change some things on here. But then when I go to embroidery, it's going to say need a bigger hoop, which drives us crazy. So there's my scary guy up here. You can go through each section here or link them together and change them together. So you have so many different options here. Unlink as you scroll through here, it'll just go from different piece. I can see now it's somewhere on one of those. And then you can. Maybe the green, you want to change it. You can still have the options of doing it here, which is amazing. And guess what? It only changed it within my little hoop area. See that? So you really can't screw up on this. I mean, that's the ugliest snowman I've ever seen. So that could be a screw up. But <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, Angela, but I love all of the possibilities of the machine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now let's look at something beautiful. Like, <laughs> like so um, maybe mini. And let's take a look at the projector because this part is super cool. All right, slide my frame in here. And if we can't see it, I'll grab a piece of paper to lay on here just so you guys can see it. Um, so let's pick a pretty design. I don't trip over my camera. We'll get rid of the scary, the scary snowman. So in here under Disney, let's pick something fabulous. How about Minnie? When I go to click embroidery, you have so many different options here, but click on projector. I'm going to just grab a piece of paper so you can see. I'll actually use the back side of just something I'm laying around here. Oh, actually, good. look, you can actually see it even without that. <gasps> Wow. So I love how vivid the colors are on the projector, which is so great for matching colors. Yeah. Isn't that great? So here I just grabbed a darker piece of fat or paper so you can see I have the option of changing the background on this. 
maybe it was too hard to see. Now you can really see it. And also, if you need to move your design, you can do that right here. Well, this is the box that you're inside of, right? But let's just say you need to move your design somewhere. You can just move that. And guess what? The box will show you exactly where it went and it fixes that in the hoop for you. So now look, now Minnie's way up here. Isn't that amazing? So you can so still easy. do things on the screen, like turn, rotate, and it'll show you right on here. So when you're trying to line up designs, oh my gosh, this is just amazing. So a couple more things. Do I still have a few more minutes or am I chatting too long? No, you're good. Okay. We'll take Angela Wolf as long as we have her. <laughs> so just a few more fun things on here. There's actually videos in here. Now, of course, if you have this machine, you're gonna be in my Luminaire class, which is all videos, but maybe you're on here and you're thinking, wait a minute, I just need something really, really quick. There's videos throughout each of, each of these sections. There's tutorials built into the machine. Like, check this one out. This was that design I mentioned to you. And I'm not gonna play the whole video, but I'm just gonna show you. See how it will walk you through all the steps of what you need to do. It's like having, I don't know, TV on your, <laughs> on your machine, which is amazing. Okay, so that's a very cool feature. And let's see, go back in here. Couple more new things. There are more fonts, in case you've missed some of these. I love these. Hey, guess who's coming to visit us? Hi, Wynn. Hey, Wynn. Welcome to the All Brands Show. Oh. We're on the All Brands Show. Oh, you really? And now you just made every dog in America bark. <laughs> okay, so here's some more designs. I hope you catch a lot of fish tomorrow, Wynn. Well, I hope so, too. <laughs> And look at all of these. There's so many different fonts. I love this. Barbara, do you monogram a lot of things? I get asked a lot to monogram a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> That's my number one request from neighbors and friends. That's funny. So I don't know if you saw this section here, the C for couching, where you can uh, attack, you can embroider with yarn which is amazing. These turn out so much fun. I, do, I have a lot of tutorials on this in the masterclass, but you can also find some YouTube videos on this. So look at all the extra designs they have now. So you put yarn through the top and it will embroider it like this. It is so cool. Colleen says, tell when to get on camera. <laughs> Oh, I'll, I'll make them come and say hi before we leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And then for those that missed yesterday, this is probably one of the coolest feature, especially if you like to quilt. So I'm just going to, and I actually don't quilt very much and I love these. I've been using them for other things. So you have two colors in the sashing, which is very cool. And then here's the hexagon. This is the one I just showed you guys just a few minutes ago. And all you do is click set. Now, yesterday I showed the other one. Today we'll do the hexagon. So you measure, inside so how wide do you want this or how big are you going around whatever you're working on first pick your hoop size and then just it'll tell you this could be all the way up to 102 inches can you imagine that's huge i think that would that fit on the bed probably <laughs> yeah that's pretty, pretty large i'm gonna put 80 in here and then here it tells you you have to stay between 1.18 and 3.62 And it tells me there are 54 total pieces that have to embroider. I Do can, you know, Angela, I just got, um, uh, you know, the light bulb that comes over your head when you get excited about something? A yeah. Christmas tree skirt border. Oh, you know what? We just put up our tree and I don't have a Christmas skirt. What a great idea. Yay. Oh, like, hey, you just gave me a project for the week. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I might have to skip on fishing to finish that. <laughs> And then the other cool part is when, once you have this, you set, save this to memory. 
And you can see I've been working on quite a few of these. And now when I bring this up, it has all of these individual pieces. So maybe I was working on a small project and I just wanted one little corner. Now I can just go grab that corner. Isn't that cool? So you could do trim. I, well, of course me, I like trim on my sleeves. So that would be cool or on the collar. Um, you could even add other things to that. There are so many possibilities on here. I think I showed the buttonholes yesterday, which those are fun. And now they come in every size. Well, smaller. They used to be so large, which is great for pillows and stuff. But now they have some that are great for garments. That's and wonderful. of course, all the beautiful embroidery designs. Hey, Angela, can I tell everybody what comes in the box with the machine? Can I show them the special? Oh, sure. I'll come over and say hi. Okay, to cool. I'm going to put it on the screen. So this is the Luminaire XP2 that Angela was talking about. And we have an amazing special on this in our stores. It's over 55% off of the MSRP with the machine and the extras that come with it. You get 60 months financing. Plus, you get to tailor your own package and pick a, one from a list of awesome items to choose from. So that is, um, so it comes with the Luminaire uh bundle which is a seven thousand two hundred dollar uh value extra and it comes with full digitizing software angela wolf's academy in the box a thread set the three-piece luggage set there is a rebate for the wide extension table from brother you get 60 months zero percent financing from allbrands.com plus you can pick trade-in magnetic sash frame the playbook, the magnifying lens, BES4, a scan and cut, and much, much more. So I'm That's so- A, a scan and cut? I'm like reading along as you're going. I'm like, wait. <laughs> yeah, so you can get the bundle. And then if you want to choose a scan and cut to bundle in with that, um, you can, so. I have to show you something. So the scan and cut, I actually even added this in the Luminaire class. How, I mean, if you don't have a scan cut, it's okay. It's just one lesson that will make you drool a little bit. But <laughs> this is that fabric I showed you that I scanned in. Pretty cool, right? And so I drew around each area, added different colors of stippling, and you'll make this bag. That's just one of the many projects in there. Isn't that fun? I also got the fabric in pink, so I might have to have a few bags. And I monogrammed my own, which is not going to help me with gifts right now. So... <laughs> Very fun though. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to do a really good giveaway since uh, this is your last class with us at this virtual Houston International Quilt Festival. Um, and I don't know if Wynn's going to be able to come in or not. Um, hey, Wynn, why don't you come and draw? And you know what, Barbara? <laughs> I'm going to add something to your giveaway. Oh, okay. I'll let you, uh, whatever you're giving away, I'm going to add somebody can have a free month to my fashion sewing club. Woo! Awesome. So you want to come and draw? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to give away a $100 all brands gift card. That's really nice. Well, my yeah. fashion toy club's going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> so start commenting below. He just to... got off of a fishing boat. He might. <laughs> hey, when? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I hope you catch a lot of fish tomorrow. Oh, we will. Take time for the rest of us. <laughs> I'll take them all. <laughs> yes. So you're the lucky winner. Yeah. So a hundred dollar gift card, and to redeem this one, if you win, it's events at allbrands.com. I need your name, email, and phone number, and I'll send you that on Monday. And Angela, what are you giving again? I'm giving away. Actually, you know what? I got to. I got to make it. If you're going to give a hundred dollars. I give three months free to one person to Fashion Sewing Club. Woo! Yes. You're awesome. And don't forget to do the shop social with us on the 17th. Oh, yes. Don't forget about that. Social yeah. Hop 2020. And yeah. All Brands is giving away a sewing machine, which you have right there. I can't believe you're giving away that sewing machine. That is like a great machine, by the way, Barbara. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and Rosemary, we're probably not going to transition in between this, so just be ready. Um. <laughs> that is a great machine. <laughs> and you'll be joining us uh, for, you will be on, well, you're, uh, we're promoting your hop, we're hopping to your page on the 17th, and you're giving away that machine on the 18th. So if you go to AngelaWolf.com, click on blog, you can join now, because uh, we have a lot of fun things for the whole month. Thanks, awesome, Barbara. Awesome. Okay, so who's going to pick? 
You, me, or win? Oh, you, me, or win? I, I, you just pick a number, and then she'll she'll tell you who wins. Okay, what's that? From what number to what number? Oh, from what number to what number? One to a thousand. Oh, okay. Uh, 576. Oh my gosh. Where did okay. you come up with that one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me type that in real quick. And let's see. They can see part of you when they see Just like your arm. <laughs> Christy Gray, congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> so events at allbrands.com. And Angela, what's your email address? Um, or, you message, message me on uh, Facebook and I can get that for you, Christy. And also, Christy, it will be available um, later. But if you have the Luminaire 2 right now, it's exclusive to that. But it will be available later. Yeah. Well, congratulations, and thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And thank you, Angela and Wynn. Mm -hmm. we Sorry we're going to miss you tomorrow, but I'll be watching from the boat because it's way too much fun hanging out with you that way. Yeah, give us some comments. I will. Bye, everyone. Have a good day. And, Barbara, have a wonderful weekend. This is a great show. So yeah. many, so much information. Yeah, yeah, so exciting. So next up on, uh, we have Rosemary Garcia. Sorry, Bye, Rosemary. San Antonio. Bye, Angela. Thank you so much. Oh, isn't she wonderful? I love her so, so, so much. So let me transition the screen over to Rosemary. And I'll bring her in the screen here. And here she is. Hi. Yay. Yay. That was exciting, huh? I went a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome and just great I, I miss seeing everybody uh live when we're there in houston so it's it's a little shame but it's a uh, it's great to to have this platform to show our uh, creativity so thanks so much yeah i agree so you're streaming live from our san antonio store how's the I weather am. over there i am i hope everybody liked the tour this morning there's there's so much to see uh, and they've worked so hard getting, um, uh, just moving things around to make it work for them and make it work for the customers. Uh, it's fantastic. So I'm, I'm just kind of in the in the classroom here, uh, in a little uh, in a little bubble of technology. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, y'all are so festive and fun over there, and Thank I know you. you are often in our classroom over there as our guide instructor and uh instructor for kimberbell and now pickle pie virtually yes uh, exciting. So, I love it. yeah so i'll let you take it away okay and, yeah sounds great okay so yesterday we talked i talked about um what did we talk about oh we did applique with the scan and cut which was is really really cool and i told you there was a little theme going on uh that what we were doing and it is snowflakes so we did that snowflake mug rug yesterday, uh, and I, I showed you how um, how we prepped that for uh, the scanning cut. So today we're going to work in Canvas Workspace, and in Canvas Workspace you can do a lot. And today we're doing this little ornament, and it's not out of paper; it is out of uh, that craft foam that we can buy. So I'm going to show you really quick how to do this. And don't worry, I will eventually do a, um, uh, a whatchamacallit, a video, and I'll share it with everyone. It really is very simple to do. Uh, I am going to be using Canvas Workspace uh, on your desktop. So it is, you can work with it online. It's available online for you to use. But since they offered a download and it sits on your uh, computer or your Mac, uh, I find that there are that uh, make it, that make designing much so bear with me and let me share. Oops, hold on a minute. Let me share my screen here. It sounds like it's busy in the store today. It huh? is. is we've got, um, <laughs> we've got, uh, and you'll see me, for some reason, my, um, my monitors aren't doing what I need them to do. Uh, yeah, there's a fabric rep in the other classroom talking with Giselle. So there's lots. All right. So, Sorry, that one was my fault, Rosemary. Here you go. Oh, no problem. All right. So here we are right now. We are in Canvas Workspace. So when you log in and you open it, I'm in the um, the one that lives on your computer on the desktop version. 
Hey, hey Rosemary. Yep. Um, it's showing the StreamYard stream. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, er, okay, hold on. Hold so on. just uh, yeah, you just have to choose a different window. Yeah, I do. Uh, let me stop sharing. Let me do it again. I'm so sorry. Oh. I had my <laughs> uh, monitors going, um, but it was not uh, doing what I needed to do. Jamie says she loves your Santa hat, Rosemary. Isn't this the cutest hat? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I, um, where'd I get it? Uh, Dollar Tree, my favorite. Dollar Tree. Awesome. <laughs> Priscilla um, says hi. Hi, and Priscilla. Says hi. Awesome. Okay, I'm so sorry. Hopefully this will allow no me to... Um, yeah, and Joy says that she's actually new to Scan and Cut. So I have found that. Uh, oh, and Carolyn uh, Hargrave. Hi, Carolyn. Hi. And oh my goodness. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, so we got a good good group of folks in here today. Yeah, um, yeah. So the number one comment that I see that's a little concerning to me is I bought the scan and cut and I haven't taken it out of the box. Yes, it's concerning <laughs> to me too. <laughs> I know we lead busy lives, but we need therapy. Well, I need therapy. <laughs> and this is my I mean, we all need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's fun. And there's tons and tons of educational material online. Um, yeah, it'll be, it's really, really cool. Yes, um, there's some fantastic stuff. Brother, of course, has um, their um, their education, uh, Julie Faith on Balser. Nice to see you, Barbara. Uh, oh, what? Barbara, you don't have a scan and cut? Oh, we need to fix that. We're, we need to come in. You need to come in and fix that. Uh, but there's lots of education out there uh, for, for the scan and cut. So I, I really, really love it. Uh, let me see if I can do this again and share <laughs> or else I'll cry. Oh yes. Perfect. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. Can we see, can you see that now? Oh yeah. Let me uh, pull it up. Rosemary. There we go. We're in business. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So when you open up the canvas workspace, you're going to get this, the splash green with all these, a project that you can do and they're free each and every one of them check it out really awesome so to make this snow uh, this uh, snowflake ornament I actually picked this winter fabric bowl why because I liked that snowflake right in here I loved it so you have the whole design you have video on how to do it and you have the PDF instructions really great so if I click on that right there it looks like nothing happens you just x out of it and voila it is right there on your board i can click on it it clicks everything because it's group i'm going to right click and i'm going to ungroup i'm telling you this is going to be fast <laughs> and there you go i can click this snowflake and i'm going to move them off to the side because i'm going to select everything else and make it go away I actually did this design on um, for pillows for the holidays, and it comes out really nice. So there's our snowflake there. On the side here, we have shapes, you have text, and, and the main reason I like the desktop version is because I can use all the text or all the fonts that I have installed on my computer. The online version of Canvas Works only lets you work with the brother fonts that they have provided and it's and it's limited so this is why i like using the desktop version is for is for the unlimited amount of of fonts that i have on my computer so here i'm going to go to my shapes i'm going to scroll down and get a circle because that's what i need and when you select it it should appear there it is on my screen perfect i love it uh, it's going to open up to our properties, which is this paintbrush, and I'm going to give it a color. And the only reason I give it a color is so I can see it. Uh, because with these lines, uh, line drawings, you can't see what's in front or what's in back. I need two circles. I'm going to right click and duplicate. Now I have two. 
I'm going to fill this with color too. Give it that red. Now I have that. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. Um, I'm going to do one more of these. Duplicate this one and just kind of set it aside. Because both of these together, um, I'm going to go to the second one right here, which is an edit button. And I can align them. So I can align them center and I can align them and make them even, which is really awesome. Uh, I'm going to pick this first one here and I can size it. So I'm going to size this one about 3.4. Perfect. I'm going to align them again, center and even. Now this gives me a little ring. So kind of like a frame for it. And with both of those selected, I am going to press, go to process overlap, and I'm going to remove the overlap. So when I press that button, it looks like nothing happened. Aha, but just wait. I'm going to click in the middle, and I made a hole in that one. Perfect. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to make that go away. Now I can take my snowflake. Let's give him a color or her a color. And let's make it this nice blue. Perfect. I'm going to put it right in between or right in, in the center of it. Let me, and when you press on these uh, buttons over here, you can make them go away. And let me increase my zoom so I can see what I'm doing. And I want to make it bigger because I want these tips to touch. So I'm going to make it a little bigger, grab them both, and go back to the edit and align them center and in the middle. It looks like it could be a little bit bigger because I, what I want to do is to weld both of them together to make them one. That's better. Now, if you can see, this snowflake is behind this green circle. So I can actually do a couple of things. I can click on that snowflake, right click and go to arrange. And I can bring it to the front. Sometimes it gets fussy about doing that. There we go. Boom. Because I need to see that. And that looks really good. I'm going to slide both of those together. I'm going to select them. We've already centered them and uh, made it all look nice. I'm going to go to process overlap and hit this first button, which is to weld it together. Now it's one. So when I click on the inside of the snowflake, it's just one unit, which is awesome. So let's bring this circle back again. Remember, because it was the same size. I'm gonna select both of them, center and middle. Perfect, because I need two of them. One for the back, which is solid, and one for the front. So you pretty much have your ornament done, but you need a little hanger. So this is super easy because we've already done this once. So go to shape. Let's do a circle again. Let me go up. Oops, not that. The circle, let's get rid of that. With that selected, we're in edit and let's resize it. And it's great when we resize something and we want it to say, stay the same kind of shape, uh, we make sure that our maintain aspect ratio is selected. So I want to make this one inch and I have a one inch circle. Let's bring her over here and paint them. It's not going to matter what color we paint them. And I'm going to duplicate, right click and duplicate. This one, I am going to make that blue that way I can see that there, one's gonna go on the green, one's gonna go on the blue. This blue one, I'm going to make it smaller. Go back to edit, and I'm gonna make this half an inch. Why? Because I'm going to put both of these together. Remember, I need to create a hole for my hair. I'm going to center it, and I'm gonna make it even right there. Awesome. Then, I can remove our overlap right there. Click on that. Remember, it looks like nothing happens. Don't worry, it did. 
and there's our hole. You can get rid of that center, get rid of the little donut hole. Now, I know this is an inch because that's what we decided it was going to be. So I, I in testing it, this was too big. I'm just going to make it uh, 0.75. And awesome. And bring it over here. And I need to duplicate it because I need two of them. Let's turn that one blue. And again, the only reason I, I changed the color is so I can see uh, you know, where it's, uh, where it is in the order. And another way to see what's, in, how it's all attached is this layers tab right here. And that's that fourth button down. So when I click on that, these are all the things that are on my mat. So if I, let me go back and oops, just do those two together. Let me edit it and center and make that even. And they're both selected and I'm going to make them kind of, overlap here. Let me make that a little bigger. That's not bad. Awesome. All right, let's go to this layers again. I want to select this green shape. I'm going to hold shift key and select that green shape and make them go back to here and center that right there. I'm going to go back to this layers. Now I'm going to select the blue shapes, the two blue shapes. Oops, control key. And I'm going to center those again. Now they're all right there on top of each other. I love it. So now all you have to do is to weld or combine that little circle to the bigger circle. So I go back to my layers. I'm going to select that blue shape, hit my control key, select the other blue shape, go back to my edit button and weld. Now I have a hanger. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. Select my green shape, small one and that one. Go back to edit and weld. And that's okay. That looks scary. It always scares me every time that happens. Because when all I have to do now is either right click, arrange, and send it to the back, or I really like using the layers, and I can select this shape and move it down so I can see it. And there you go. Now I have two things to cut. Awesome. So all you have to do now is to send it to your cutter. And this is one of the greatest things that you can do. You can save it or... Uh, you can do file and you can transfer your FCM fire file. You can keep it on your desktop, but since it's wireless, why not send it to your machine? So I'm going to send it here and it says it's ready to go. All right. I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm going to go back to there I am. I'm going to um, change the camera so you can see the, um, there. Okay. So there it is right yeah. there. Oh. We're going to retrieve our pattern. Oh, mm -hmm. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have a cool question uh, that Miss Bernard asked. Um, can you use Canvas uh, with an some iPad? Some people have, and it's, it's the, um, the online version, to what I understand. So, um, mm -hmm. so I, I have yeah, not done it, but it's, um, I know, I like the control of the mouse. I'll have to try it and, and use the pen to see if that works out. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. Hey, and I got to say, I love this. That you did That's a awesome. similar thing for my uh, that, that is um, <laughs> um, actually what we're going to cover tomorrow is doing uh, vinyl. And there's our ornament right there. There it is. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And I already have my two pieces of two pieces of foam right there. You can scan that in and then you can cut it. So with cutting 
something other than like paper or some fabric. This the foam is kind of uh, kind of thick, uh, not real thick, but it you know it has some density to it. It passed through. It cut three times when I cut the um, when I cut the um, the ornament. It made three passes, uh, and it was clean. It is really perfect. It just cut it really nicely. And then I just uh, put glue on the back of the top layer and glued it to the bottom layer. And it was that easy to do. So lots of fun. Uh, this will this will be a really great project uh, for for kids. Like you can get them all cut and then they can uh, gl uh, you know get all messy with the glue, put glitter on it, put uh, sequins on it. Oh, it's you know I just thought of that one. Like, Ooh, let's add some bling to it, and that would be really fantastic. So that's what I have for y'all today. I love it, Rosemary. That turned awesome. out really cute. Good, so, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> so are you going to put that on the Christmas tree in the store? Yeah, I could. In <laughs> fact, I think I'll just give them the file and they can make them. Because <laughs> I still have my own Christmas tree <laughs> to uh, to decorate uh with with really cool stuff <laughs> yeah so we still have a little bit a few more minutes oh we um, do oh my so goodness we, well you want to see a cut i can cut it yeah, let sure me, let me change the camera that way you can see it cut all right so it is there uh i'm not going to test it because i already did it oh let's scan it in so we can see what it looks like and this is actually a really cool uh, tip. Once it scans in, and I'm going to focus on the screen a little bit because I want to show off some things. I was like, "What is this noise I keep having?" There's a bell at the on the end of my uh, of my hat, <laughs> and I'm like, "It's like the, it's competing with the ringing in my ears." <laughs> so you can see that dark piece, but you can't really see that white piece. So. If I go to this little tool, this little wrench right here, and select it and go to background, you can turn off the background so you won't see anything, which defeats the purpose of scanning. The middle button, which I have selected, uh, it gives it kind of a shaded um, cut type of color. But the first one, if I select that, it will be in full color. So now you can see where each one of them is and you can move your design, I have to do this opposite here, to each one, especially for the white portion. So if you're working with a really light fabric uh, and you can't see, or a light you know, piece of paper, and you really can't see where that, uh, where that is on your mat, changing it to that, to the, you know, to the full color version will help with that. But it doesn't help with the darker color. So once I have that set, right there and in fact i'm just going to move it down a little bit because it looks a little too much to the edge no i'm making it worse i get really lucky all right i can go back to the wrench and put it back in the middle so i can see where to put that blue one awesome and then i can say okay i can select to cut and let's see what it says. Ah, this is really cool. I was doing, um, hey, Sydney. I was doing vinyl uh, for tomorrow's demo. So my half cut is on. I've got to go to my wrench because I want it to cut all the way through. And I'm going to turn my half cut off. Or you will have an epic fail when you do this. If this was the first time you were going to cut this, I would do a test cut to see how it does. But I'm going to live on the edge and start. I'll zoom out so you can see what's going to happen with this. Make That's so me. cool. Rosemary, while, it's, while yeah. it's cutting, I'd like to yeah. do our giveaway, Let's if that's OK with you. So everybody, give me some comments down below to be eligible to win a $10 allbrands.com gift card that you can use in our retail stores or on our website. So uh, if I choose your name, then you email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number, and I will send that to you on Monday. 
So we do have a question real quick. Will yeah. it scan and cut cut through glitter paper? That's a good yes, question. It does. Darn it. Uh, I wish I could go around and get. Uh, <laughs> we did a couple of Christmases ago. We did um, I had glitter paper and we cut. There's a sewing machine on on the scan and cut. And we sewed. Uh, we sewed. We cut all of the little sewing machines out of glitter paper and that those were our ornaments and so we still have quite a few left and so they're on the um um on the whatchamacallit on on the machines they're they're everywhere in the store so it works oh. out really well all right so i'm gonna pick a winner and janice yay janice, congratulations email events at allbrands.com to claim your prize and you will get that on Monday. So congratulations on that. Awesome, awesome. So now it's <laughs> making a second pass through. I made it look easy. It's a, you know, um, all those, all of y'all that still have your scan and cut in the box, um, you're not gonna get anywhere with it. <laughs> and, and it's not gonna get any easier with it in the box. So it's uh, it really is. I mean, the scariest thing is getting it out of the box and pushing the buttons. You have to push the buttons in order for it to, what's the worst that's gonna happen? You're gonna cut your mat, everybody's done it. And it actually is very hard with the with this model and the, um, the Disney model. It's hard to cut through your mat now because it's an auto blade and it's gonna know how deep to cut. So it's really fantastic. Yeah, the auto blade is my best friend. Oh. I accidentally decided the first time I used the older model before that, uh -huh. I, uh, <laughs> I, I <laughs> into the mat and everybody knew who did it. <laughs> it was me. It's hilarious, uh, you know, because we want our mats to last and everything. Um, I was watching, I think Julie Faye Van Balser on something and I forgot what she was cut because I was so horrified at her mat. <laughs> and because she had cut through her mat and she turned it around for something, and I don't think she meant to, but she had a big old piece of duct tape on the back of it. So there you go. <laughs> Everybody does it. Even the, the best people out there will cut through a mat, and we'll just stick some tape on the back, and, and we'll, just, we'll just go <laughs> before we can get another mat. <laughs> now it's going through this third, um, this third pass on here. Yeah, so next up on uh, the stage is going to be Durky Brent from hey, Durky Brent. Embroidery Hoops. Makes amazing products. And I'm going to be demonstrating the new split frame Ooh. for the 6 and 10 needle. And there's also an option for the single needle persona um, yeah. where it expands your embroidery area. And it comes with PE Design 11. And it's really, really, really cool. So um, awesome. we'll be doing that in about five minutes. If you want to just show us what you got, and then we'll uh, go into the transition. Oh, there you go. Here is the, look, I just pulled it off. And there. Cute. Ta-da. Easy. Everybody should do it. Foam, it's fun to cut. Well, thank awesome. you so much. I love it. Tomorrow we're going to be doing more um, uh, more snowflakes, and we'll, we'll be working with vinyl. Um, and I'll be showing different kinds of vinyl and, and, and we'll cut uh, some of it out. Great. So, thanks so we'll much. Yeah. Thank you, Rosemary. We'll see you tomorrow and we'll be back in a quick five minutes, get up, get some water, um, and, and enjoy the, the intermission. Awesome.
At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to the All Brands uh, All Brands show, but it's the Brother presented by AllBrands.com booth at the virtual Houston International Quilt Festival this year. And I love products that are made in the USA and good quality products that are made in the USA. And I love awesome hoops for my multi-needle embroidery machine. So we have a very special guest today um, that we all know and love, and that is Brent from Jerky Hoops. But before that, let us know where you're watching from in the comments. And at the end of this video, we have an amazing giveaway. Karen Hay from Ohio, Illinois, and Brent from Jerky is in North Carolina, and we would love to know how the weather is, so I'm going to bring you in now. Hey, Britt. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Oh, good. Happy Friday. It's it's a great day. Same to you, and it is a little cool in North Carolina and overcast. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> I would have never made it as a weather reporter, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. So we actually, at the end of this video, should we announce the giveaway now? I tell you what, let's do this. 
tell people what they have to do to get it. But I'll, let's just do this much. The giveaway at the end of this section or this segment is worth $230. So I think whatever you need to do to register, let Barbara tell you, you need to do it, okay? Yes. So go ahead and like comment and share or like comment and subscribe so each of those things gets you a chance to win and i will announce the winner of this after the show um tomorrow so that's great and i'll also be giving a gift card giveaway at the end of this video as well okay great 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 well yesterday if you were with us yesterday we talked about our products for single needle machines Today, we're going to talk about products for the multi-needle machines. Tomorrow, if you can join us, we'll be talking about our packages of a variety of products for both single needle and multi-needle. So we hope you can join us then. But today, let me throw you a curve right off the bat because I said we're going to talk about multi-needle machines. But we include with multi-needle machines the Persona PRS100. And yes, it's a single needle machine, but it uses a regular tubular arm system just like a six needle or a 10 needle machine. So we have the same basic products available for the Persona PRS 100 that we have for the six and 10 needle machines. So it's a part of this demonstration as well. Well, Barbara, let's just get right into it because you kind of, uh, I guess you gave away a little bit of my thunder, but that's okay. Let's talk about size for just a minute. Let's talk about embroidery in general. One of the things that everybody needs to understand is that every embroidery machine, no matter who manufactures it, no matter what machine it is, Every machine has some limitations, okay? The limitations just vary based on the machine type. The Persona PRS100 happens to be one of my favorite machines. We love that machine from the day it came out. We call it the little tank. That thing is durable, it's tough, and it is made to work. We, we just love the machine. Now, some people would say its drawback might be that, well, the given, it's a single needle, okay? Well, so what? How long does it take to change thread with a self-threading uh, needle? Big deal, okay? The other thing that people might say something about is, I wish I had a bigger sewing field. Well, for years I've had to stand in the booth at trade shows and look at people and say, I'm sorry, but our hoops will not change the capability of your machine. Whatever the maximum sewing field is of your machine, if you could buy a bigger hoop, it wouldn't matter because your machine is, for example, let's talk about the Persona PRS 100. The maximum sewing field is eight by eight. That's what we call nominal size, and I'll talk about that more in a minute. But eight by eight, my hoops won't change your capability. Well, that was true up until about 14 months ago, and it kind of changed a little bit, not totally. Can we change the capability of your machine? The answer is yes, we can with a hoop combined with the correct software. And PE Design Software from Brother combined with our hoop will allow you to make that change. And let me show you specifically what I'm talking about. This is our eight by eight easy frame, okay? That's a maximum size hoop or frame that will go on your Persona PRS 100, all right? So that's it. But well, what if I told you that combined with the right software, we could change that capability, look at this, you ready? From eight by eight to eight by 14. How do you like those apples? Guess what? Now you can. Well, what if you've got a six needle machine? A six needle machine has a maximum sewing field, nominal sewing field of 12 inches wide, eight inches tall. And this is the frame, that's your maximum sewing field. What if we could change it from eight by 12 to 12 by 14? We can with this frame and with your PE design software. So Barbara's going to, I think, in just a second, give you a little demonstration of exactly how that works. But we're delighted to bring that product to market. Let me go ahead and say this right up front. This came about, we developed the product about 14 months ago. And last January, at the Vacuum Dealer, Sewing Dealer Trade Association in Las Vegas, the great friends of ours from Brother came over to talk with us. They said, what have you got that's new? And I shared this product with them, and they were impressed enough that uh, they wanted to negotiate an exclusive. And so I'm going to say this to you up front, just so you'll know. The only place in the world that you can buy these frames, if you go on my website, you won't even see them. The only place in the world you can buy these sturdy frames, multi-position sturdy frames, is from a brother dealer. So I want to make sure you know that up front. And before you ask, I don't even know the price, okay? I think it's around $200, $220. I'm not really sure. The frame by itself. 
But as long as you've got the frame and P design software, you're ready to go. Barbara, why don't you show them how to do it? Okay, thank you, Brent. And I absolutely love this hoop. This is the sturdy frame, and I'll show you. Um, I'm in the middle of my project now. So I took my, and we have a really great bundle that includes PE Design 11, Professional Digitizing Software by Brother, and the Durky Sturdy Frame here. So basically what you do, and we have really great tutorials of this on YouTube, uh, you open the software and you split the design. And you have a, um, oh, a basting stitch that you put here. And so um, I'll just switch my camera so that you can see how this hoop actually goes into the machine because it's really exciting. So here we are at the Brother 10 needle um, machine. This actually also works on the six needle um, embroidery machine by Brother. So if you'll notice on the brackets here, there's two sides. So basically when I first started my design, I put it into my A frame on my 10 needle machine or six needle if that's what you have and just gonna back this up just a little bit and i'm going to go to my screen so i went ahead and i saved my design on my usb stick um, and i put it into my machine just like so okay and then let me go home all right so we're going to go from the very beginning so I'm going to pull up this design and let's just pretend like I stitched this whole first half section done. OK, now when I'm finished, all I have to do is take the hoop off of the machine like so. Turn it around. Put the hoop back into the machine and then stitch the second portion of the design. So I'll go into the screen of the machine and show you just how easy that is to line up. Okay. With the 10 needle embroidery machine, my brother, you use the camera, but with the six needle embroidery machine, you use the laser guide. So I'm going to go into my USB stick I'm going to pull up the design that I already split in my digitizing software, and I'm going to pull up the second portion of the design. Okay, I'm going to click set, and then I'm going to move it all the way up in the hoop. I'm going to end edit. I'm going to hit rotate, rotate it 90 degrees, and click OK. And then I'm going to click embroidery. Nope, not yet. Sorry. I'm going to scan my hoop now for lining it up. So my machine, this machine has a camera and it's scanning my hoop. And it's going to pull up what's currently in my hoop on my screen like so. So it'll be very easy to line up the designs. Yeah, so um, the question is, Jenny, can my machine recognize the hoop? So with this one, you do the trace and connect feature. Uh, and I will show you how easy that is to do. So there's a little um, button right here that you can't see, but I'll move this down just a little bit. There we go. This is the button that you want to start with. This is your endpoint um, embroidery button. So I want to make sure that my needle um, is right above the bottom right hand corner so that I can see that it lines up here with my crosshair. And I'm going to go into my camera. And it's going to tell me exactly on my machine where my needle is going to go in and if you can see i need to move it just ever so slightly like down so i'm going to go okay 
and I'm going to move this down and it's going to show me in real time on the screen when it's over the starting function, starting position. And I can see that it's right over that basting stitch. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the rotate, which is right here. I'm sure everybody knows this button. If you have a brother machine, you just click that. I can see in real time with the camera, it's following that basting line. And I can see that it's lining up perfectly. It's going to go to the top right and the top left. And I see it all in the screen real time. I absolutely love this. Okay. Wonderful. So then all I have to do is exit the camera function and click embroidery. And if I don't want to stitch my um, basting stitch, I don't have to. I can go forward in the stitch. It's also going to ask me if I what colors I want to use. I actually already set that up the last time, but y'all, you know, this machine sets up colors so easily with the magic wand. So you just say, okay, the first color I want to pull from number one, the second color two, third color three, four, five, six. So I can see those colors. I absolutely love the magic one on the tin needle. Okay, and then I start embroidering and it's that simple. I absolutely, I mean, I can't imagine how much easier they could make it. So while that's stitching, I'm gonna come back up on screen. And I'll show you the end result in just in just a minute. But there is a combination if you're interested in this PE Design 11 software with the uh, split frame hoop that increases the embroidery area of your six and ten needle or persona machine. Um, this software normally sells for two thousand dollars. Right now, with the Durkey frame. It is only, it's half off on our website. Half off, which is crazy. And then, guess what? There's more. You can take that half off, and then when you check out on our website, use this code BRO15OFF, and you get the full software for splitting designs and the hoop of your choice. So I, I'm i going to um, put the camera back on you, uh, Brent. But I'll, I'll show you my end result in a minute whenever it's finished stitching out. How about that? Great job, Barbara. Great job. I look forward to seeing your finished product. And folks, I'm telling you, the way she just showed you is exactly correct. And if it's done correctly, literally, it's almost impossible to tell where those two halves meet. It, it creates a, a perfect union, if you will, of the complete embroidery pattern. Very excited about it. And very excited that brother wanted to work with us on this uh, on this product. So now I want to take a few minutes because we just have a few minutes left to talk about a few of our other products, most important products, I guess, for the multi-needle machines. And when, again, when I say multi-needle, 10 needle, 6 needle, and the Persona PRS 100. Probably the one that got everything started for us with the home embroidery market was our cap frame. Most people when I'm in a trade show and they walk up and I say, hey, do you do caps? No. Why not? Hate them. Why do you hate them? Because you got to take the arms off the machine. You got to put that round thing on there. You got to digitize the round. And when it's all over with, you get something about that big. Say, so, yeah, correct. Well, what if uh, what if you could do something like this or even bigger and you could do the front of the cap and the back of the cap? What if you could do a logo or a monogram three and a half, four inches tall or wide? And what if all you had to do is just put this on the sticky backing, slide it on your machine stitch? You don't have to disassemble your machinery. Can you really do that? Yeah, you really can, okay? So this product kind of brought us into the industry in a, in a pretty big way. And just to give you an example of things that you can do, this cap has 26,000 stitches in the front. And I hope you can see this in the back because with ours, you can stitch the front and the back. You can do visors. 
You can do bucket caps. And this is one that we did at that VDTA show I was telling you about earlier, just to show the capability. If you combine our, our cap frame with the product I'm going to show you next, which is our easy frames, look at what you can do. Beautiful design on the front, beautiful name logo on the back, and then stitching on both the side and the opposite side. And all of that was done in probably 25, 30 minutes time, the entire cap. So let me talk now about the other product. That, and by the way, that cap frame is available with the PRS-100 six-needle and 10-needle machine, okay? Uh, the other thing that I also want to mention, um, Rosemary did such a beautiful job demonstrating that scan and cut. I just want to make mention that on our website at DirkyHoops.com, we have 20 specific tutorials of, on Brother Equipment on both the Luminaire and the 1050 10 needle machine. 10 different project tutorials where we go through and teach you how to do these projects on your machines. On the surface, it looks like we're trying to teach you how to do the project. We are. Much more importantly, I promise you if you watch some of those videos, you'll learn a lot more about how to use your machine and a lot more of what the machine's capabilities really are. Come look at it on our website if you'd like to. If, if, if um, All Brands has it on their website, great. Just use us as a resource. Look at what you want to find, then go to All Brands and buy it, okay? But we just want to be a resource for you to help you in any way we possibly can. So let me talk about Easy Frames just a second. There have been competitive products around for a very long time. And when we look at those products, most people in the industry talk about two dimensions. They talk about the X axis, that's left to right, and they talk about the Y axis, back and forth. But very few people talk about the Z. The Z is the needle going up and down. Well, if the object of the exercise is to get, to get the best result, we call it registration, the best finished result, how good can that result really be if the needle's doing this and the hoop is doing this? How good can it be? Wouldn't it be a whole lot better if it was doing this? So we created what we call easy frames. Our easy frames are made out of 3 16 inch thick anodized aluminum. And as Barbara mentioned, not only is everything made in America, Actually, everything is made within about 30 miles of where we have our offices just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm a Vietnam veteran. I'm a very proud American, so it's all made right here. I can tell you that. But we made a product that's sturdy. It, our product is held in place. Our easy frames are held in place with two fluted knobs that securely hold the frame in place to help stop it from doing that. Okay? So we think that's a very important thing. The second thing that we do that's different than the competitors is we put a label on every single hoop. Listen to this. Isn't this genius? to tell you what the actual sewing field is for that hoop. So if we say two by four sewing field, the actual sewing field is two by four. If we say eight by eight, whether your machine can stitch a full eight by eight or not, the capability of that hoop is eight by eight, which is now a real good time to stop and talk about very quickly size, because size is very important to a lot of embroiders. My background is in the building materials industry, 27 years worth. I know I don't look that old. I actually have hair and I just covered up with a bald spot. <laughs> 27 years in the building materials industry, and I want to use a little analogy here very quickly. If I ask with a show of hands, how many people have ever gone to a lumber yard or a home center and purchased a tube before? Raise your hand. Most every hand would go up. Well, what I'm going to say might surprise you, but no, you haven't. Chances are you've never even seen a tube before. You see, the language in the building materials industry, like the embroidery industry, there's what's called nominal size and actual size. What you see advertised in the newspaper, or if you walk in the store and say, I want a two by four, sure, come right over here. When you walk out of the store, what you have in your hand is a piece of dimensional lumber that is one and a half inches by three and a half inches. Nominal size versus actual size. In the embroidery industry, why would I bring that up? Uh, the easy language is the nominal language. Sewing field, eight by eight. Well, in our case, the sewing field is eight by eight in this frame. But your machine's capability is not eight inches by eight inches. If you have a Persona PRS 100, it is seven and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths. If you have a six needle machine, it's not 12 by eight. It's about 11 three quarters, 11 seven eighths by seven and seven eighths. Now you say, why split hairs? What's the big deal? I'm not trying to split hairs. I just want to make sure that you understand the capability of your machine versus if we say the sewing field's eight by eight, it really is eight by eight, okay? So know that when you're picking up the easy frame. Our most popular easy frame set, and by the way, when we say seven piece set, that's our most popular set, that's seven easy frames, and the blue adapter arm they are held by automatically come with it. We don't play the game of that's an eight piece set and count the arm as a set. No, it's a seven piece easy frame set, and it comes with blue adapter arms. 
the eight piece set on the same seven pieces that you see here, plus the 12 by eight hoop, that makes it the eight piece set. Now we have a lot of additional sizes of frames. In fact, we have a set that's a 12 piece set. In just a second, I'll come back and talk about those additional four sizes and why they're important. But a little while back, one of my granddaughters says, uh, Granddaddy, you got to take me to the mall. There's a new place I want you to go. And I said, where is it? She said, build a bear. I said, what's build a bear? Come on, I'll show you. So we went to the mall. Now, for those of you at home, if you know what build a bear is, you already know where this is going. Let me explain to those of you that don't know what build a bear. Build a bear is a place where you can go and buy a bear for $9.95. And when you get to the checkout counter, it's $99.95. Because <laughs> by the time you buy the shopping cart for the bear, the sunglasses, the rope, the hat, the by the time you finish decorating the bear, it's $99. So I walked out of Build a Bear and I said, hey, Knucklehead, um, why are you making people buy the whole bear? Why don't you give them an opera the, the opportunity to create their own bear? So with that grand idea, we created what we call the Easy Frame four-piece kickstart combo. And this is it right here. You get the blue adapter arm, automatically comes with it. And then you get the four most common sizes of hoops. You get a two inch by four inch sewing field, five inch by four inch, seven inch by five inch, and eight by eight, okay? So that's the basic set. If that takes care of your needs forever, hallelujah. If you need more, here they are. And I wanna show you four of the most popular additional sizes. I'm not gonna go through all these, but very quickly. The one and a half by four, the smallest one we make. Size, tons of tennis shoes, sides of tennis shoes, okay? Uh, handkerchiefs, collars on cuffs. Any, any little bitty thing you want to do. Now, when I say pockets, beware. I, if there's a hoop that does all pockets, I don't know why. I don't know why anybody would say that because keep in mind the sewing arm has to go inside the pocket too. So obviously that depends on what the size of your pocket is, but can be used for some pockets. The second most popular uh, size is a three by eight shirt sleeves, pant legs, three inches by eight inches. The third most popular. The size is five by eight, but our customers gave it a different name. This is the onesie hoop, okay? Based on what our customers say, this is perfect for doing onesies. That's the five by eight. And again, I told you there's a 12 piece set. That's three of the additional pieces. And last but not least is the 12 by four, okay? 12 inches wide, four inches deep. Most of these came about because customers said, why don't you do this, why don't you do this? This was the hardest frame. People had a hard time talking into making this one. Because, of course, logically, a long monogram on a shower curtain or a pillowcase or a towel, yeah, 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 I understand. But someone said the magic words, how about dog collars and karate belts? Okay, I'll make it. So there it is. Those four added to the eight-piece set create the 12-piece set. So with that, Barbara, I hope we're back to where we can see a finished split design. Have you finished it? <laughs> well, I have a little bit longer to go, uh, Brent. I, if yeah. you can hear me, I'm not sure. Okay, I had to put my headphones in because it was my machine's a little loud. But let me go get it, um, yeah, and I'll show everybody in just a second. All right. So I love this. Okay, so I'm gonna just trim my stitches, and I'll show you where I'm at. And let's see. Let me uh, do the thread trimmer. Look at this. So I just pull my um, sturdy frame off of the machine, and I didn't I didn't do the colors right because I turned the machine off and back on. But can you see how perfectly it lined up the design here? It turned out perfectly. So it's so easy, <laughs> literally so easy um, to combine a design to make up to a uh, 12, 12 by 14 embroidery area on the PR six needle and 10 needle uh, machine with this Durkee split frame. And I'll show you guys the special on that for um, with the uh, software PE Design 11. So this is normally, just the software is normally $2,000, Brent. It's only $9.99 at the show, and you get the split frame free. So there's two in the um, link that I put there, there to shop. There's an option for the persona, and then there's an option for the six and ten needle. So, and don't forget, when you check out, use code BRO15OFF 
to save an additional 15% on that package. What do you think about that? Outstanding, Barbara. What a deal. What a deal. So obviously, if someone already has PE design software and they just want to buy the frame, they can buy the frame from you, correct? Yes. Yes, they okay. can. Great. Great deal. Well, folks, yeah. there you got it. Thanks to the PE design software by Brother and the Sturdy Frame, when you lock those two together, you just took a car that ran real fast that you'd already paid for and you put a supercharger on it. You changed its capability just by adding a hoop and using some software. So isn't that great? We're so happy to have that available for you and we really hope that you enjoy it. It's had a tremendous response and we hope it enlarges your sewing opportunity, okay? Well, Barbara, is it about time for us to pick a winner? Yes. So should we pick a winner now for the four piece easy frame or should we pick, wait, what do you think? Uh, I'll leave it totally up to you. you you're my boss. <laughs> okay, let's pick one now. Just do to it. keep and exciting and i'm gonna throw in a twenty dollar allbrands.com gift card not a ten dollar one there you go so this winner this one winner is going to get all of those things so to be eligible to win i'm looking at all the likes comments and shares um so start doing that now and i want to thank you brent first of all for your service Not and good. Second of all, for making amazing products that make our embroidery life easy, peasy. Thank you. Yes, I absolutely love the easy frames. It makes my life easier. So thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> it, it takes away the aggravation of worn out thumbs and hands trying to hoop with the traditional two piece hoop. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so we're gonna pick a winner. And that winner is, Drum roll, please. Priscilla Paris! Yay! Yay! Oh, wow. <laughs> Congratulations, Congratulations, Priscilla. Okay, so I know Priscilla, uh, she's been watching our show for some time. So, oh my gosh, congratulations. Email events at allbrands.com to claim the $20 allbrands.com gift card and the Durkee Four Piece Easy Frame. So thank you so much for that, Brent, and we really appreciate it. It's my pleasure, and please listen, come back tomorrow because guess what? The door prize gets even bigger, so we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yes, thank you so, so much, and we'll see you later. And we're going to transition to uh, Carrie Cunningham um, right now, so bye-bye. See you later. Take care. You too. Okay, so I'm going to bring in Carrie Cunningham from Endless Designs by Carrie. Um, she's just been having a lot of fun making scarves on her embroidery machine. And let's see, let me try this. All right, yeah. let me try this. <laughs> you wanna, let's see. Let's try this. I see me. Yeah, I know. Okay, um, try to unmute your uh, the one that's pointing at the scarf, Carrie, if you don't mind. And I'll come in uh, while you do that, while we fix the sound. Yay, that was so fun. Don't, what did y'all think of that jerky frame? The fact that you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool, I can see you now. Okay, I'll bring you in. So what do you have to show for us? What do you... <laughs> What do you, it's been a long day, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what do you have to show us today? Is it this beautiful project down here? Well, it's, um, it's a fleece scarf. And what I did is uh, created this design to go on the bottom of it to create scallops. It's another thing that I was inspired by someone else. <laughs> she had a scallop scarf and I kept looking at it and looking at it and thought, I could do that. <laughs> so I created a design and I did it. Oh, cool. Well, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we went over a little bit. So I'll let you get right to it and I'll bring you in. OK, so just let me know where you want the camera to go. So we're here because I have the. Uh, let's see if we can. I want you guys to see the screen here. I think, can you, Barbara? Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. Oh, good. Good, good. Learn, I learned that yesterday. <laughs> We keep learning here. 
So I already have it loaded in the machine. And what I have is, it's really a sample in here. Um, so you would cut your fabric wider than the width of your hoop. Not, why, I'm sorry, wider than the length of your hoop. And because you're going to stitch on the edge of the scarf. So the narrow end of your scarf is what you're actually going to stitch in. If not, you're going to end up with a design kind of in the middle of your scarf and you don't want that. So I think mine is about 18 inches wide and my 7 by 12 and my 8 by 12 hoop. Maybe a little, maybe a little bit narrower. And I have the design loaded. And I want to show you a couple things here. So here's my design. Here's my design. It's just a roll of scalloping. So it's three parts. The first one is the petal that's in the middle. I don't know if you can see it here. With this little petal here. And then it will stitch these little petals. Well, this is a flower. And then it will stitch the petals. And then it will come back and do the scalloping. And when it does, after it does the scalloping, it will do a satin stitch around the petals. Uh, this is a 27 minute stitch out. So obviously we're not gonna stitch the whole thing here, but I have some samples to show you what the next steps are. So let's just stitch a little bit here. We're gonna stitch the leaves first. And I get it all set with embroidery. And then on your machine, you hit start. Put your foot down always, right? So this part is about a few to stitch out. So this machine I bought quite a while ago, uh, but it's the VE it's 2200, and it, um, it's embroidery only, which I love because I'm a garment maker, and I can kind of listen to the machine while I'm sewing. And now that I have my scan cut, I can listen to the cutting and the embroidery while I'm sewing. <laughs> we'll let this stitch out. Any questions out there, Barbara? Um, let's see here. So, you have the well, that's kind of close to the machine, so it's a little bit loud. Yeah, so I'm going to mute you for just a moment, and I'm just going to let everybody know, um, Carrie has the VE2200, and that one was actually just replaced by a new model. It's called the VM2300. It's an essence model machine. Um, and that is an 8 by 12 embroidery only machine. So it has an 8 inch wide by 12 inch long embroidery area. It's a phenomenal little machine. Um, it doesn't have the My Design Center, but it has a lot of the great, great sewing features and the, that nice touch screen available. So, um, yes, great, great machine. I'm going to bring the sound back in for you, Carrie. Let's see. There we go. And I do like that it's uh, embroidery only. I keep forgetting about the new model, though. <laughs> I have to come and take a look at it. Somewhere. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm in Illinois, so we'll see. I miss going to Big Bruce this year. Really miss that. That's kind of our gathering place. <laughs> Okay, so we have a we have a request from D Workman to see if she can see it stitching in the hoop. Uh, let's see. Just I'm the to hold my laptop up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hold it up, Barbara. Oh, Eartha has that machine. She said that's the machine that she has. Really, really popular. Cuts jump stitches. It's in a larger embroidery area. It's phenomenal. So here it is stitching. So that first row of the design, just kind of ignore that as part of the sample. But this is it stitching. And so here's going to stitch the five leaves, the five flowers, and then there's nine of the petals that go to the set, and then it comes back around, and it'll stitch the scalloping, and it gets the total or set and stitch the petals. Yeah. So I obviously won't be able to hold it up the whole time because I'm literally holding it up. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So I'm going to put it back and okay. say hey to a few folks. Susan says beautiful. 
And oh, Barbara, you're so sweet. It does. I, thought, I think I bought this machine in 2011 or 12, or right when it first came out. And it's never been repaired. It's only been serviced. Never needed to be repaired. So it gets its service. And usually in May, obviously this year is late May. Hi, who was that? What is she saying? Barbara said she wants to be you when she grows up. Carrie's <laughs> <laughs> not grown up. She's been cutting up on her skin and cut. <laughs> <laughs> I got all kinds of toys going on here. <laughs> Eartha asks if she has the VE2200, if she can use the coupon, which is the Bro 10 off for 15% off of Brother Branded Accessories. Um, upgrade to be 2200 Yes, absolutely, Eartha. I will send you the link for that. That is currently available in our retail stores only, though. So, so you'll have to come in locally and get that upgrade. Awesome. I'm around my room to see what I can tuck underneath. Um, so tell us about that stabilizer that you're using, Carrie. So I'm sorry, I should have told you that in the first place. So on the bottom, I have a layer of very thin, uh, very lightweight tearaway. So it's like paper. See, I just tore a piece off there. And then I have the fleece hoop on top of that. And then I have and water soluble on top of that. So when the design is done, you will tear away what's on the back and then you'll, um, let me continue with the next step. You will pull away your wash away. So some people, when you have those tiny bits of the water soluble, not wash away, but water soluble, some people on some projects will use Q-tips. I do not suggest Q-tips because this is fleece. And you could get bits and pieces of lint from the Q-tip stuck to your project. So what I do is I take warm water and I'm refreading here. Put it in my next color. I take warm water and I use my fingertip to get rid of the little bits. So tear away as much as you can. Okay, we're gonna go to step two. Like I said, there's only three steps. The last step is the longest and we won't stitch that. Today. <laughs> Gotta miss thread here because I'm trying to just one second. Let me get the thread. Show us that awesome needle threader, Carrie. My favorite needle threader. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Hard when you're upside down. Upside. Okay, I'm going to hold it up a little bit here. So it's right here. It's this button right here. And then if you look over here, you'll see it. Right. Down and up, and it's threaded. It's ready to go. I love the Brother Needle Threader that you don't have to use both hands to thread a needle on a sewing machine. And that's patented by Brother. Um, it's it's an amazing, amazing. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful feature. I love it. I love it. I got a piece of linen here. I don't know where it is. And I unthreaded my needle. Okay, so I accidentally unthreaded my needle, so you'll get to see that again. Okay, so we're going to go on to our next step. Foot down, press to go. Some people call it the start button, I call it go because it's great. <laughs> um, Eartha, this is the upgrade pack for the VE2200. Um, and I included a link in the comments. It's called the SAVR UTK1. And that expands your embroidery area 
from the seven by 12 to the eight by 12. So it adds an extra inch of embroidery area to your machine. It also includes a multi-line text feature, 30 additional designs on CD, um, and it's, it includes two hoops in the box, the eight by eight and the eight by 12 embroidery hoop. So that is a phenomenal product. It looks like it is available online for sale. So it's $249.99, but don't forget, we have a coupon. So if you check out online on our website, type in the coupon code BRO15OFF and you can get that. And we have two left in stock. So, <laughs> and go. <laughs> All right, Carrie, I got you back in now. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we have about 15 minutes left. I'm not going to switch this whole row. I'm going to actually stop. And I'm actually going to switch and just let you see the beginning of the next one. So I'm going to cut my thread so it knows I'm moving on. I just want you to see the beginning of the scallop. And then I'll show you on the table what else we're doing. So all I did here was I needed to go to my next step, right? So here, you can see, I'll put this up really close. So I hit this up and down the needle with the plus minus, with that. And then I want to go to the next color. I don't want to go one or 10 or 500 stitches. I want to go to the next color. So the next thread spool is what you want to hit. And that took me right to the gallery. To remember that name because that's the name of the design. <laughs> Priscilla says she loves the way that it sings after the design's up. I agree. I do too. I love some of the other sounds on some of the other machines too, but yeah. Mary's <laughs> asking where you found the design, Carrie. I designed this. It's my design. It will be on my website at 4 o'clock today, 4 o'clock Central Time, and it will be 20% off. Wow. Okay. And and remind everybody what your website is. It's Endless, E-N-D-L-E-S-S. -S. Designs is spelled D-Z-N-S by Carrie.com. Great. I'm creating my last color. Like I said, we skipped around a little bit. So let my foot down and start. Just to give you an idea what it does. So this is a candle wick stitch, actually, this entire scallop piece. And that's why it takes 17 minutes <laughs> to this side of it. So I've done a few designs, but this one I really liked and thought I should finally put it out there. So just do one scallop and then we'll move on. And I love this candle stitch a lot. I use it on a lot of things. And then tomorrow we're doing scan and cut again, right? Yeah. So tomorrow we have with Carrie Cunningham. <laughs> Let's see. The new scan and cut fabric mat. So yeah. that's cool. Yeah. And that's going to be at four o'clock Central Standard Time. I thought that was because I knew about it. <laughs> Like the scanner cut, though, I had wanted a scanner cut for almost four years, but I couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't understand what I would do with it, so I couldn't justify it. In my brain, I just couldn't justify it. And then after spending some time with Green at, at the pool show, and she always put me on the scanner cut and machines and the embroidery yeah, machines, and I learned a lot, and I finally decided to get one with it, but on sale. Was it June or May or June? <laughs> yeah, working at the store has been uh, quite the experience for me because I keep accumulating equipment too. But I am having the best time. 
Yeah, I'm really happy that I bought it. <laughs> so I bought it. I did not leave it in the box, ladies. I took it out of the box and I used it right away. The same thing with this machine. This machine did not stay in the box. This machine came out of the box. First day it got home. I had grandchildren gathered around to see what I was doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're gonna so stop here. Mary said you should see some of Carrie's clothing design stunning and yes I agree and oh, Carrie yeah so Carrie posts a lot actually on our so forum page uh, all, mm -hmm. uh, on Facebook so allbrands.com so forum so I encourage all of you to go on over there I'll include a link yeah there's some cool stuff over there not just my stuff me post there a lot too but did you see the duster that I just did? That was so cute. Um, I was so happy with that. I did not want to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to have to make myself one of those. Yeah, I, I just wanted to throw around the house and just stay in it. <laughs> and it's not they for are. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're so flattering. We're going to switch cameras. Go back to my table so I can show you how to finish this. Okay, we're there. Okay, good. So this one is finished, completely finished. And you can see the little sparkle. I put stones on those petals. I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but here we are. This one tiny little stone is on there. It's a pink stone. But this is how you finish it. This one isn't completely done yet. So you take your curved scissors are better if you have them. And you just cut around these petals carefully. And I cut up to about the second petal from the top. Uh, you can kind of decide where you want to go. It doesn't matter. And then I just go around. And when I get to the sides, I leave those as straight as possible. And then I take my ruler and my, you can still see here. I take my ruler and my rotary cutter and I cut them all the way to the other end. I like to use my grids on my cutting table, on my mat, to help me keep everything straight. Are we still in view? Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. And you just cut straight till you get to the other end. And when you get when you get to the other end, just gonna do the same thing. Cut it as straight as possible to the very end. And then your scarf is finished because you don't need to finish this because it's fleece and it's not gonna ravel or fray. If you'd like to finish it, you can, but I prefer not. So the reason I talk about in the instructions, I talk about the same bobbin color as the as the fleece, this is what it looks like. So I started to tear this away from the back. That's what it looks like before you pull it off. And then this is it off. And then the front, I just take all of that water soluble away. Oh, there's a piece floating around. And like I said, I can take my finger in warm water and get rid of this little, these little bits here. But this is what your scarf looks like. That's gorgeous. I love that we are showing a combination of quilting, embroidery for quilting, and embroidery for garment sewing. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Weird. Yeah. Who wants a plain square, rectangular fleece scarf when you can do this? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> and then I have the blue on the machine, and I have the pink and black that's finished. Wonderful. Blue so is the same, it's not long enough. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So remind everybody what the stabilizers were that you used for that. So I think you sell the, do you sell the exquisite stabilizer? Oh yeah, and Eileen Roche is at the beginning and end of each uh, day in the allbrands.com mall booth and they have tons of amazing specials. Okay, so, so it's, it's their light, it's called their light tear away. Let me see if I can get the label, one second. I thought you sold it. And here's my little trick for my stabilizers, ladies and guys. I 
keep the label inside the roll. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, in case I have to order it again. So it is, it's the lightweight tearaway, and this was 20 inches by 10 yards, and it's exquisite. Great. And then my uh, water soluble, it's just any any water soluble you can use. I don't, I don't know. Right. I have a giant roll of that. <laughs> yeah, Mary says like, great gift idea. Yeah, they do. They make wonderful gifts and quick and easy gifts. Like I said, the stitch out is uh, 27 minutes only. And then you just pull away your tear away, pull away your wash away, dab it with water wherever you need to, cut it, you're done. I love it. Love it, love it, love and it. You can, if you think about it, you can use your rotary cu cutter that scallops. You can use that one, that blade, or the edges, and give it a little bit of a decoration there too. doesn't have to be a straight cut. You can use your... Um, the other scissors. <laughs> I can't think of the name of them. Pink shear. Is that what you're Yeah. 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 All right, Carrie. Just, do it, just do it carefully so the <laughs> pinks stay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's time for a giveaway. So everybody start commenting. We're going to give away a $10 allbrands.com gift card. And Carrie, sure. if you want to come in on the other uh, camera. Maybe <laughs> we can pick a winner out together. So thank you so much for that wonderful project. And what a great idea for a quick and easy um, Christmas present, birthday present, or holiday scarf, because it is starting to get cold outside. And uh, thanks for, for all that, the tips and tricks. Oh, you're welcome. For that 20% uh, off, you don't need a code. No code needed. Yeah. Um, Cool. So I'm going to pick a winner. We got some new comments coming in and for a $10 all brands gift card. Congratulations. Oh, what a cute puppy. Oh. Carolyn French. Congratulations for the all brands.com gift card. Email events at all brands.com your name, email address and phone number. And I will get that sent out to you on Monday. Congratulations. And thank you so much, Carrie, for joining us. Thank you. It wouldn't be Quilt Festival without you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I truly yes. appreciate it. <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick five-minute break, and then Reem Wilcoxon from Embroidery Garden is coming up next. I see her dancing in the background, and this music <laughs> is infectious. So uh, I'm sure all of you will, should be dancing as well. Uh, so, Carrie, we love you, and we'll see you tomorrow, okay? At allbrands.com, our doors are open and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask. And after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience. Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. 
Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. everyone and welcome back to the all brand show live from the virtual houston international quilt festival and we are in the brother presented by allbrands.com booth and we have a very special guest right now her name is ringwell coxon from founder of embroidery garden and i will bring her in hi hi everyone hi reed hi barbara <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. Me it's too. so good to see you again. Yeah, I'm going so to show you how to make this today? cute key fob completely in, uh, on the screen of the Brother Scan and Cut DX225. Yeah, it turned out cute, I think. I love it. So I'm going to, well, first, let me show you. We need three pieces. So we're going to create... Um, two of them actually on the screen. We're not gonna create the fabric strip. That's, you'll see how to do that once we create the back piece. Um, but we're gonna do the back piece and the cutout piece. And in this case, it's the little hearts. So we need these two pieces we're gonna create. We're gonna go over to the scan and cut and do it right on the screen of the machine. So I'm gonna head over there. Let me change my camera so you can get a good view. All right. So to make the, um, the two pieces, the two long rectangular pieces, and to make the little heart cut out, I'm first going to go into the patterns, basic patterns, and we're going to scroll down until I find the heart that I used. Can you see the screen well, Barbara? Yeah, I'll take the banner. Okay, I'm going to show oh. the, um, I just 
selected the heart that I'm going to use. And these cutouts on the inside need to be about half an inch. You don't want them too big. So let me um, resize it. Whoops, went a little bit too small. Got to keep hitting it until it gets down to half an inch. There we go. Okay, I'm going to hit set because it is the size that I want it to be. I'm going to go into edit. Object edit because we need more than one of those cut out. So I'm going to use this little button here with the plus sign to add more hearts. And while I was doing this project, practicing it last night, I kind of estimated that I need 16 hearts. So I'm just going to hit the plus sign until I have 16 and then hit OK. I'm not going to do anything on this screen, so I'm going to hit OK. Not doing anything on this screen, so I'm going to hit OK. This is the screen I want to be at. And I want to use this button right here. This is the Auto Arrange button. And I just learned that today because I was reading Cindy Hogan's new book. So let me hit that. And then I'm going to hit the top one to arrange them. And you can see that it put them kind of at an angle, but it spaced them all out perfectly. I'm going to hit OK. Edit. And now I, I need to select all of them. Right now you see a red box is just around one of them. So let's go into the select. This icon here selects all of them. You can see they're all selected now, but they're still individual pieces. So we're going to have to group them. So I'm going to hit OK. We're going to go into Object Edit. And this is the Group button right here. So now you can see it put a red box around all of the hearts. And now I can take those hearts and I can move them anywhere I want to. So I'm just going to put them sort of in the center there. I need to rotate this because my scrap pieces of cork are going vertical. So let's just go ahead and rotate these 90. And I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm done making the cutouts for the um, key fob. So let me just move this over and out of the way. Because now we have to make the two um, long rectangles that we need. We have to get back to the screen. Right here where I'm going to add, we're going to go get a pattern, basic patterns. And let's scroll down until we see a nice rectangle. Choose that. And I'm going to hit set. Now, I have to move this rectangle because I can't rotate it while it's up in a corner. The machine, you know, it doesn't have enough room when it's on the edge of the mat. So let me just move it. Just kind of in the center there. That's good. Um, I'm going to go into Edit now. Object Edit. And we need to rotate it 90 degrees and hit OK. Now we have to size it. This is the sizing button right here. I make my key fobs to be 11 and a half inches high by 1 and a quarter inches wide. The width is um, the length of the width of my key fob hardware, so that's why I'm choosing 1.25. If I start to adjust the height and press the plus button, you're going to notice it's also increasing the width. I want to work with the height and the width individually. So if I press this icon here, it's going to allow me to adjust the height, and it has to get up to 11 and a half inches. And it's climbing, climbing, almost there. So the height is 11 and a half, and the width, it needs to be 1.25. OK, so now we have the rectangle, the long strip. I'm going to move this over to the side, because we're going to say this is our back piece, that solid back piece that's going to cover the back of our um, key fob. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. It's still selected. It still has a red box around it. But I need another one just like it. So I'm going to hit the plus. And I already have one. 
I need two. Hit OK. Now I can move that and I can move it into the center. And let's see if I go to OK. And I use the move icon right here. When I hit that, I know it's very hard to see, but it puts a little plus mark right in the center. And I'm going to use that to center this on this vertical and horizontal uh, axis, centering this on the mat. And let's zoom in. And there's that little plus mark right there. And these darker lines are the vertical and horizontal uh, placement that I want to get that little X on, or a little plus sign on, I mean. So if I use these fine tune um, movements here, I can move it over, it's getting close. I know it's very hard to see that little tiny plus mark, but it looks like I've got it centered right where I want it. Now if I select my hearts, I can move those over and I'm just gonna kind of move them in the general spot that I want them to be in. I found when I was testing this, that if I line the top of the hearts up with this grid line right here, it's basically going to be centered top to bottom. So let me use my fine tune little arrows and move the top of the hearts up to even with this grid line here. Now I have to center it side to side. And I have to move it just a couple of clicks. Uh, let's see, maybe one more. And that looks good. I wanna check the bottom though. So if I use this button to scroll down, there I am at the bottom of the hoop. And it looks like my line is even with this grid line here. So I'm gonna hit okay. Now I want to move this over here next to the other one because I don't want to waste my cork that I have, but I have to group it. It's not all grouped together right now. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go to the select icon and I'm going to select just what I want. So I'm going to hit this one. This one is to select all. I don't want to select everything on the map. If I hit that. I can take this arrow and move it over because I don't want to grab this one. I just want to group these, um, the hearts and this rectangle here. Click OK. You can see that it selected them. The hearts are outlined in red and the rectangle is outlined in red. So go OK. Object Edit. And here's the Group button. Now, when I move this, it moves all as one piece. And I'm going to put it probably about, I don't know, right here, because we're going to have to scan the mat. All right, so now I'm going to say OK, because I'm done doing everything there. Here's the scan the mat button. And I'm going to have to move the camera back. And hopefully that wasn't too bad. I had to set the camera up on some things. I've got my two pieces of cork. These are my, uh, you know, I only had scraps left. So let me load the mat. Hopefully you can still see that, Barbara. I'll just kind of lift it up a little bit. Yeah, I think uh, I can see the mat, but not the screen. Okay, I'm just, I'm gonna hit the scan button right now. And we're going to scan what's here in the mat so that I know where to place those two um, pieces. And let me see if I can't gently kind of raise the whoops, raise that up. Maybe that's better. So you can see my two pieces of cork, my two strips of cork that I put onto the mat. And let me take this first one and it may need to be moved just ever so slightly. It's really going to be tight on there. Let me take the other one and scooch it over here. And that looks good. I can see my outlines are on each of the strips that I have. I'm going to hit OK. 
Then we're gonna go to Please Select, and we're ready to cut. Now you could do a test. I have been, you know, I did this demo this morning. I cut cork yesterday, so I'm pretty confident that they're going to cut. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Start. And you can see it's gonna take it around two minutes to um, cut. What the machine is doing now, as it drops down the blade, it's determining the thickness of the material that I put onto the mat. And there it goes, it's starting to cut. So while it's cutting, Barbara, did you have um, something you wanted to a special about the machine? Not sure if Barbara can hear me. Sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was rearranging my room and I muted myself. Okay. I'm back. Um, yes. The 225F scan and cut is awesome. That's what a uh, reen is using. It comes with a fabric mat. Um, it has a rebate for a duffel bag and it's only $5.99 with free shipping. And you can order that online and you can finance that for up to six months, which is really exciting. Nice. We also have the one that Perry and I have um, is the SDX 230DX. That one actually includes over a thousand dollars worth of extras in the box, which Cindy will be talking about that, um, I think tomorrow, like the difference between the two in depth. Uh, a $75 all brands gift card, a rebate for a rolling tote bag, and it's only $8.99 free shipping within the continental USA. So that's really exciting. So Reen, back to you. Okay, so I, it just came off of the machine. Uh, let me get my tape off. I taped it down just because I did not want it to shift any because I wanted it to turn out perfectly. So let me just get the tape off here. And then this comes the fun part. At least I think it's fun where you get to pull it off the mat and see um, how it all cut. Did you guys think that that was pretty easy to do? We're getting a lot of good comments. Uh, good. Awesome. Uh, does Auburn's have the cork in stock? I'll have to check that, but it is available for purchase on our website. So here's the first piece, the piece that is the back, that solid piece. And then here's gonna, the one that's going to have the hearts in it. This is all exciting, isn't it? <laughs> all right. So I pulled it off there. And now let's see how it comes off with all of the, oops, the hearts are even sticking to the mat as I pull it off. You can Look use how that. nicely it cut. <laughs> so yeah, cute. I could save these little hearts for confetti or something. <laughs> so here is the heart. Um, the key fob, the front of it, and how it cut. Looks really nice, doesn't it? Oh, that is so super cute. So how do we put the key fob together? So I cut a strip of fabric, which can also be cut on the scan and cut. You do the same thing. Take that rectangle, size it to the size you need it to be. It's about an inch wide and probably about 11 inches long. I'm just going to put it on the back side. The right side of the fabric is going to go on the back side of our little cutout here. Line it up just so that, um, you know, I, it's cut smaller because you don't want to see fabric on the edge peeking through when it's done. So I just placed it on the back. Take the solid strip, place it on the back side with the good side of the cork facing outward. Make sure it all lines up. And I like to use these little sewing clips. And I'm just going to kind of clip it together here and there, making sure that I'm keeping the edge nice and even, both the edges, the front and the back. And then we're going to just stitch, machine sew along both long edges. Now, the, from the, this morning, the demo this morning, I stitched one side. And I used on my Luminaire, it is stitch number 1-07. And I'm not sure if you can see it really well, but it makes like a heavy stitch, a single stitch, a heavy stitch, a single stitch. I just thought it looked kind of cool. So um, I can start stitching the other side if you'd like to see that. I'm not sure. Yeah, sure. We got about three minutes. All right, great. Let me, well, 
you know what, here, I can easily grab the other camera really quick, pull it over here, set it up, change the camera. Yeah, while she's doing changing her camera, I'm going to do the All Brands gift card giveaway. So give me some comments down below, um, and that'll be a $10 All Brands gift card. So um, I'll be announcing that very, very, very soon. So um, give me some comments and love. So all I'm doing is just lining up the foot, the center of the foot. I'm using the J foot and I'm just going to start stitching, keeping the edge of the key fob right in the center of that foot. Oh, it's perfect. So we did get a question. What uh, blade did you use to cut the cork? Just the blade that came with the machine. Standard um, blade. Yes, yeah. standard blade. Nothing oh. special. So while you're stitching that beautiful stitch, I'm going to pick a winner. And the winner is, I'm not looking, but I'm clicking. <laughs> Barbara Bell Stringer. You want to make that? Well, <laughs> also won a $10 All Brands gift card. So email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number. And we will get that coupon code uh, gift card emailed to you on Monday. Congratulations, Barbara. And um, my, my dad said uh, he named me Barbara because he never met a barber he didn't like. So <laughs> we have a lot of barbers in our family. So back to you, Reen. So, you know, after you stitch along both long sides, all you're going to do is bring the ends together, the short ends together. And then you're just going to, I what I like to do is after I bring the two short ends together, I like to stitch across. And that keeps these from, you know, sliding when you crimp your key fob hardware on. So did it turn out really cute? And it's all done on the screen of the scan and cut machine. I think that's pretty cool. That is really awesome, Reen. I absolutely love that. I do too. <laughs> ah, so can you give us a little uh, teaser of what you're going to be doing tomorrow? Okay, so tomorrow... I have a purse that I've done in events before, and it has kind of a diamond grid on it, you know, a quilting pattern. So I'm gonna show you how to go into my design center on the Luminaire and create your own quilting file for the front of this purse or really any, any purse or any project that you have. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much, Reen. You are amazing and such an inspiration. And thank I, feel you, so, I feel so in the holiday spirit with all of your decorations. So we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and thank you so much. We'll be back, everyone, in five minutes with Cindy Hogan. Okay. All right. Thanks, Barbara. Bye. Bye. At allbrands.com, our doors are open, and we're fully prepared to serve you safely. Show respect for others by wearing your mask, and after a quick temperature check at the door, you're on your way into the allbrands.com experience.
Inside, you'll find the latest sewing machines and quilting and embroidery products from brands like Brother, Grace, Bernina, Juki, Singer, and so much more. Plus, take advantage of exclusive in-store pricing and financing at all of our retail locations. Our stores are cleaned regularly throughout the day for safe shopping. And as always, you can arrange curbside pickup or get your items shipped straight to your door by ordering online at allbrands.com. Since 1976, it's been our joy to serve you. And believe us when we say, we're just getting started. Allbrands.com. Find us in Louisiana, Texas, and everywhere online. Shop with us today at allbrands.com. Cindy Hogan and I just feel like that TV show what was that where they all came up in the uh in the squares <laughs> and they're all a big family one big happy sewing family is what we are so I'm going to bring in Cindy Hogan uh from Cynthia's Embroidery it's so easy TV and brother brand ambassador and just one of the most knowledgeable people I know um in embroidery um she's awesome so here she is Oh, let's see. Don't hear your sound. Okay, one one second. So today, Cindy's going to be showing the sashing frame. It is very, very exciting. So this is actually available for the Brother XP1 and with upgrade um, and XP2 Luminaire. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am, I can. And it's also available for the... Uh, 10 needle the pr 1055 x so oh, yeah today we're going to do 10 Cindy. needle yesterday we did xp so today we're going to do 10 needle and show you the difference of how it works differently there yay all right let's get right to it yes ma'am let's get right to it we'll be a little bit faster today actually put yourself up there for a second because i'm gonna switch cameras all right here i am 
And yeah, I found out you cannot go one second over eight hours in a live or Facebook takes it down. So, <laughs> so yeah, we have to make sure we don't go over today. Um, yes, we will not go over today. <clears throat> yeah. This one's faster. Yeah. Cool. I'm ready. Okay, guys. So I've got my project ready. We're going to do auto quilt sash borders on the 10 needle today. Yesterday we did it on the Luminaire. Today we're going to do it on the 10 needle. Like I said yesterday, you measure what you want to, where the space that you want to do. So we're going to measure the top and then we're going to measure the sides. And you'll notice I've already done it, but I'll show you. I've actually marked where I want to sew between. So that's 15 and a quarter. And then if I rotate here, I am at 21 and a half. And then I've marked where the space I want it from side to side. So this is the size of my pattern and that's at about three. So I've already wrote it, written it down on my project here. And if you want to see what we did yesterday, while we're over here, I'll show you what we did yesterday. So can you see those nice borders there? We're going to do the same thing this time, just on the 10 needle. So I'm ready to flip over to a different camera. Can you see that a good angle there, Barbara? Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, so I am going to actually hoop this while it's on the machine. The magnetic sash frame for the 10 needle hoop hooks directly to the embroidery unit, the embroidery arm there. You don't have to have an A arm or a B arm on, you just put it directly on there, which makes this super simple. This one I can slide and mess with it while it's on the machine. The Luminaire one, you do not want to do that. And I'm just going to snap my magnets on here. The same way as we did basically when we were at the table yesterday, except for now we're doing it directly on the machine itself. All right, so we are hooped. Let's go to the machine screen. Wrong one. There we go. So we are going to touch this button right here. These are our magnetic sashes. When I touch that, I have single color. And there are 20 different single color quilt sashes. And this one is our dual color. And that's the one I want. So the feathers is the, is the third option. We're going to touch set. Now, it does help if you write that down, but it remember it's on my project. So I'm going to read it down here it was 15 and a quarter by 21.5. Okay. So 15 and a quarter is my width. I'm going to set that 21.5 is my height. I'm going to set that and I want my design to be somewhere around three inches. I'm going to take it down just a little bit so it has some wiggle room. Actually, I can take mine all the way up because I actually have wiggle room on my outside. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll go with three and we will set that and touch next. Actually, we need to tell it what hoop we're in and I'm in the magnetic sash frame. So it is 14 by seven and seven eighths, the largest hoop. We'll touch next. And it's going to save this to the machine's memory. And once again, you have the option of changing the colors of the two sections, but we're going to leave it the color that it is because that should show up pretty well on my red fabric. Touch memory to save it to the machine's memory and then touch OK. This one starts differently. If you remember yesterday, I started at the upper right hand corner of my project. Today, it's going to tell me to start at the upper left hand corner. So let me, I did that a little fast. I'm going to touch, this is the thumbnail of the one I want to use. I touch this for automatic. If I want to use the pieces outside of the design, then I can choose one of these others, but we want to touch the one on the machine itself, the, the automatic touch set and it walks you through it. It tells me to begin at the upper left hand corner, what I was just telling you. So we're going to touch OK. And now it's telling me I need to align my pattern with the corner of where I want it to embroider. So I'm going to go ahead and touch OK. 
and the live camera for this machine pops up and you can actually see my two different fabrics here. If you need to lighten it up, you can lighten the fabric Does if that helps you, there we go. So you can actually see it lighter, darker, whatever floats your boat and makes it easier for you to see. So I'll go with the lightest because that looks like the best option for you. And we're going, I've got fast forward and we're going to slide this to where it goes over to my corner. And I've got little chalk marks right here. So I'm close. So I'm going to slow down a little bit. And I'm in the spot that I want to be. So now I touch next. And it tells me I need to adjust my angle. So I'm going to touch OK. And I want this angle. Oh, wow, I'm spot on here. I don't know how I did that because I really didn't pay attention when I was ooping. But these are your angle adjustments. So you can butts with those if you want to. But really, mine is spot on. We're going to touch embroidery. And we're going to tell it what two colors we want it to do. So since Cindy forgot to put the two colors that she actually wanted on it, we're going to go with, I've got two different, I've got two different colors of green. We are going to do um, the switch. So the green that I actually want to stitch is on needle number nine. So I'm going to take number one and move it to needle number nine and touch OK. And that, whoops, actually I needed to touch switch. Needle nine, switch. And then the second one is on needle five, switch. And the reason you want to switch instead of magic wanding it is because switch will remember it when it brings up the next section. Magic wand does not. So I learned that lesson the hard way, learned from my mistakes so that you don't make the same ones. Do you like that? Do you like two greens or should we do a green and a gold, Barbara? Oh my goodness. It's on a red. I yeah. think a green and a gold would be very nice. And All right, let's try a green and gold. That, I'm so used to using that magic wand that that's my go-to thing. So yeah, you made a very good point there. Yeah, I'm a magic wander myself. And that is how, oops, we want this to be actually, yeah, that's, I've got it right, I think. Needle nine, nope, I don't. I want this one right there changed too, from needle four to needle eight. So there we go. Now, so now they're on nine and eight and that's perfect. Let's go ahead and lock them and go. And it's gonna embroider that first section for us. And I love how simple this one is. It is faster on the 10 needle than it is on the single needle because, and I can speed this up as fast as I want it to go. That is one reason. <laughs> but the other is I don't have to change my threads out. And we'll get a corner done real fast on this one today. Do I have any questions? Not yet, Cindy. Um, we did have one. Um, um, at, we had a few asking what the compatibility is. So it's for the Luminaire XP2 and the PR1055X. But um, if you have a Persona, it currently comes with a, um, the Persona cur currently comes with a border frame rebate, which you can use kind of similar, similarly. It's not the same as what Cindy is demonstrating but you can connect designs with the border frame that comes with the PRS 100 persona. So I really like that one. And Cindy, this design is just gorgeous. Oh, Carolyn suggests switching is better than the magic wand. I'm going to have to uh, break my habits of using the magic wand every time. And Cindy, I think we lost your sound. All right. And don't forget, everyone, we're doing a gift card giveaway at the end of this video. So be sure to give us a lot of comments. Let 
All right. I think that it's so great that um, Brother makes such amazing machines. We haven't had any machine malfunctions, but it's all on the camera side. So, Brother, can you make some cameras? Because we need a very reliable company. <laughs> okay, Barbara, I'm going to switch to my computer microphone, so I'm going to have to talk louder. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll just have to talk louder. I don't know what happened to my microphone. It's up. It's attached to me earlier today. I had it on the screen and it wasn't attached to me. Um, it actually had dropped down in my clothing. Good. So we're going to touch. Okay. <laughs> and it's telling me I need to adjust my pattern to where it meets where I want to turn my corner. It's automatically going to connect to the previous one because it knows it can do that. So we're going to touch. Okay. All I have to do is worry about where this is on the end. So it's using my live camera and you can see, wow, that never happens. Just so you know, I'm right there on my mark, but if I needed to adjust it, I can shrink it in or take it out to meet the mark where I need it to be. We're going to touch embroidery and it is going to go and embroider. And you'll notice my colors are still on needle nine and needle eight. We'll touch lock and go. And I'll move it out and let you all see an embroider this time. And it, I mean, these are two minute stitch outs. So imagine how fast you can get your daughters done. Wow. Cindy, I'm going to mute you for just a moment. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to talk about our special arch. Our, everybody knows the Houston Quilt Festival has the best specials and best prices. I can't advertise the price, unfortunately, on the internet, but I am going to show you our website listing for this product that we have right now, and it is so, so great. So right now with the PR1055X 10 needle embroidery machine, that's the brand new one, you get, um, let's see here, it includes the stand. It includes a rebate for the Durkee seven piece easy frame. It includes a rebate for the PR 1055 X playbook. You get free in-store instruction. You get the best premium manufacturer warranty in the business. That's 25, six, two years, parts of labor, 0% financing through synchrony financial and tons of even more you get to pick an extra out of this list so you can do a full market trade-in um, in one of our retail locations you can get the sashing frame you can get pe design 11 with the jerky split hoop or you can get a scan and cut with that um, and you get to combine all of that um, the extras the pick one and the financing uh, for zero percent financing for 60 months. If you're in Louisiana or Texas and you purchase it in one of our stores, we'll ship it to you for free. We'll give you free instruction in our store and you'll be supporting a family owned and operated business. So the, it, it only happens one time a year. So I, I can't miss out on telling the special for that. So back to you, Cindy. Yeah, you all always have amazing specials during Quilt Fest. It is just big the best ones I ever see. So we're going to touch embroidery is finished. Okay. To connect next pattern. That means we get to turn our corner and it tells us what to do. So let me switch back to wrong camera Four. there we go. And I'll show you how easy it is to actually rehoop this one. Since we have to turn, we can't slide, but if I needed to slide, I can leave two magnets on and just, uh, with this one, you are allowed to slide it while it's on the machine. I don't want to slide this one. I actually do need to turn it. So we're going to totally unhoop it, rotate it, make sure that you're within your embroidery field before you start snapping magnets on. And I'm going to 
slide that one on. I, I usually put all four of my big ones on first. And I love how I can just smooth and slide. Now I may be too close to that edge, so I'm going to move just a little bit. I should have looked at that. There we go. Put these on. Let's make sure this one's attached real well. I'm real close on my fabric on this one. All right, so now we're back to the screen. We're going to touch OK. And it's going to tell me I need to attach, basically find where it ended the last one and check that connection spot first. The live camera goes into position. And we're just going to touch the arrow key. And when you get close, slow it down to the slowest speed there. And I think I am spot on there. Let's touch next. Now it's going to tell us to check our corner position to make sure we're in the right spot there. And if we need to stretch it up, that's this button right here. I need to stretch up just a little bit to get it on my chalk line. Not tons, just a little bit. There we go. So now I'm ready to touch and border. If you want to check and see if it's going across the other line the way you want it, you can go ahead and touch that little button right there. I'm good. We're going to touch embroidery. We have turned our corner now and notice the colors are still there. We can lock it and go. And it is ready to embroider. So while that's doing its thing, actually, we can, if you want me to stop, we can stop this and we can answer any questions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mute you, and then I'm going to come in, Cindy, because I'm going to go ahead and do the giveaway now for this video. So go ahead and give us some comments down below. I'm going to get a $10 allbrands.com gift card um, to a lucky commenter. So let's get some comments rolling in. And um, yeah, so if you win, you email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number, and... I'll send that to you on Monday. So uh, good luck, everyone. And yeah. And what do y'all think of this 10 needle and ordering machine? Isn't it just phenomenal? Look at that. I am just smitten in love with mine and the new magnetic sashing frame. So, okay. I'm going to pick a winner. And the winner is Charlene Brokaw. Awesome. Yes, that is awesome that you just won. And congratulations, Charlene. Um, go ahead and email events at allbrands.com. Name, email address, and phone number. Congratulations. All right, Cindy, I'm going to bring the camera back to you. Back to over here. Okay, so it's just about done. We can go ahead and do one more piece since we're real close on this. And you'll see how it decides when it can do more than a pattern at one time. Um, these guys are really useful for other things besides quilt sashes. You'll notice on the back of this pillow, can you see that? Let's see here. I'll flip cameras for that. I've used it to do the back of a pillow along with my buttonholes that are built into my 10 needle. And now we're ready to connect the next pattern. We'll touch OK. Touch OK again. Remember, it knows that I, I don't have to connect it. All I have to do is check the angle on it this time. I need to move it up just a hair. There we go. Touch embroidery. And this time, oh, we're still one pattern. So it knows how much it can do in the space, given the size of the design that I created. And it's ready to go. I'm not going to go ahead and embroider that, Barbara. I'm going to come in back to the computer and see if there's any questions. Got it. I will check that too. 
All righty. So, um, yeah, congratulations. Uh, Cindy is a super teacher. So here she is. Hi, guys. If we have any. Um, let's see. Carolyn asked, will the six needle use that? Yes, ma'am. It sure can. There was an update. Depends on which six needle. The 670 will. So um, the 670 will and the, and the 10, those are the two. And the 10, uh, the original 1000. So 1000 and the, the 670 and then the 1055. So the 1050 will as well. So it, it's a great hoop. Um, I, you can use it for way more than quilt sashes or quilts. You can use it for towels. You can use it for jackets. You can use it for anything thick that you don't want to hoop in, in a regular hoop. Um, Barbara, you didn't say anything about my lovely wild earrings this afternoon. I am so proud of you, Cindy, <laughs> and all of your festivities. Uh, it's so exciting. And I told Jerry all about your bling, and he was loving it, too. <laughs> so um, any other questions for us? Uh, Barbara, yes, I do teach classes. Used to. I mean, before COVID, I was going all around the country, and all brands happen to be one of the places that I would go to. But um, now I'm doing Zoom classes, uh, so and I do a weekly Facebook Live on my on my Facebook page. Oh, cool. Okay, so is there a special on the hoop? Yes, Carolyn. If you go to um, your closest All Brands location, let them know that you want to use the coupon Bro15 off. That's like that stands for bro, bro brother, <laughs> but I call it bro 15 off uh, for 15 percent off of that hoop. So I can't see the price on digitally, but you can call your nearest allbrands.com store to get that uh, special, special deal. So why don't I just go ahead because we don't have any questions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring in Heather. Okay. And you want to see her fun hat? Yes, let me see if Heather's hat today. <laughs> uh, I saw that one yesterday. I thought we had a new one. It's the same one. I know. It's a great. But I do love it. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it goes the distance. I'm just going to say. Cool. <laughs> Cindy, I love your earrings. Thank you. I took part of your time yesterday, Heather, so I'm giving it back to you today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. You did a great job. <laughs> Right. Like it, I told you, it's faster on the tin needle. <laughs> <laughs> the tin needle is always faster. <laughs> when anybody asks you why to buy a tin needle, it's faster, it's quicker, and it's many times easier. It looks intimidating because of all those needles, but it's really not. It still threads one needle at a time. You just tie off. You don't have to rethread it every time. And it's got an automatic needle threader. Y'all know that's, that's the criteria in my world for a great embroidery machine. It must have an automatic needle threader. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Arnell says we look so best. <laughs> We're trying. <laughs> All right. So let's transition right into you, Heather. And Bye, thank Cindy. you so much, Cindy. We'll see you see tomorrow. You. Yes, ma'am. Y'all have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Hello, Barbara. Thanks for having me on day two. Yeah, welcome to the show, Heather. We're so happy to have I'm here. you. <laughs> we are so well. Happy. I'm here. I'm. <laughs> I'm ready to talk beginning machine embroidery, uh, entry level machines. People who are thinking about moving up from an entry level machine they have into another one, and the criteria, things, features you might want to look for as you're moving up. And someone brought up a great comment last night. You may not be looking for an entry level machine, but you may know someone who is. And so perhaps a gift or just a recommendation. So you know that we experience people who do a lot of machine embroidery. We have friends who come to us when they're looking to start machine embroidering and they would like to get information about what they should look for. And sometimes when we've been doing it a while, we forget what we should recommend to them as the uh, features that they want to look for. So All Brands is having some amazing specials and Barbara's actually going to show us a couple more machines. I have one here. I'm showing Brothers NQ1600E. 
It is an embroidery only machine. Barbara has some combo machines. And just so you know, Brother always has both sides in the same in, in a price range that you're looking for. So if you are looking for a combo machine, sewing and embroidery, we can accommodate. If you're looking for embroidery only, we can as well. And one of the things I was going to say tonight was that if you have a brother embroidery machine, but it does not have Disney, you can always add to it with ibroidery.com. And you can see here that we have some Spider-Man uh, designs. These work perfectly in four by four, five by seven. And the one I'm going to talk about tonight, which is the six by 10 hoop. So don't be discouraged if you are looking for some Disney designs and you think they're only for large machines, they're not. And if they don't come on your machine, you are in luck because at this point, we even have Star Wars for your favorite people. So I wanted to throw that in that you can definitely get uh, Disney, Star Wars, Marvel if you are looking for it. So we're talking beginning embroidery, entry level embroidery. What are some of the things that you get with these machines? Even if you have a really beautiful large machine, you may want to travel with your embroidery machine. The 1600E that I'm going to show you right now, and I'm going to switch cameras so that you can stop the uh, beautiful, oh, we have one right there. Barbara just switched for me. Look at that. So that is the 1600E, comes with a gigantic hoop, I gotta show you, and full color touch screen. Thank you, Barbara, for the beautiful uh, photo there and the bow. So you're getting an example of what it looks like. Now this machine that you see here doesn't weigh more than 20 pounds. So if you're looking for a travel machine, something that you can take to a friend's house, I mean, this is a phenomenal price for what you are getting. You can accommodate four by four designs, four inch by four inch, five inch by seven inch, and even six inch by 10 inch. And let me show you, and Barbara's gonna actually do in a little bit some more close-ups of that, but you can see here sitting next to the machine what the six inch by 10 inch looks like, and it's huge. I mean, I just gotta say, this is a huge hoop. So one of the things Barbara and I were talking about before was that when people get into embroidery, they want to do in the hoop projects like Reen does for Embroidery Garden, and you frequently want a larger hoop. So compared to a five by seven, you can see here that this is considerably larger. Additionally, when you are looking at something like the 1600E that we have here, some of the lower end models or entry level models will not cut jump stitches. So if you are familiar with machine embroidery, then you know what a jump stitch is. And that is when the needle moves from one part of the design to the other. And on a higher end machines, it automatically cuts these for you. And you can see here that these were not cut. So if you have a lower end model or entry level, then you're used to clipping these threads yourselves. However, when you start to move up, you can see that the machine cuts these for you, which is just such a time saver. And so the 1600E stitched these out, the machine you see here, no jump stitches. So one of my, two of my favorite features of moving up to the 1600E is the huge hoop and the fact that you no longer have to cut your jump stitches. So six by 10 inch hoop, something to consider. I'm going to move you a little bit closer to the screen because I'd love you for you to see up oh, Barbara has you there at the 1600 and I'm going to show you a little bit closer up on the screen. So here you can see that it is oops, a little bit blurry. <laughs> there we go. You get seven different fonts with this machine. So and actually you get some additional ones like uh, the Greek alphabet and there are Japanese characters as well. Let me go back. So you get full alphabets along with all of the other characters that you would want to be able to stitch out. So, and these are completely customizable in terms of size. 
Additionally, this machine has almost 200 designs and they are very easy to see. So let me pull that up. Now you're thinking, okay, it's color, I can see it, but what if I want more details? Here's the size of it up here in the corner. If I push that hoop, boom, I get a full vision of what that design is going to look like. And it tells me exactly which size hoop it will fit into. Six by 10, five by seven, and four by four. And this is one of our little mini hoops. So I love about this that you can see the designs so well. You can really get the details and you aren't forced to go back to your computer or use software. Additionally, you aren't forced to use software to make addition and changes. So let me show you this one. We showed this a little bit last night and I'm gonna show you what this looks like stitched out. So backing this up and you can see that this is so large. I'm having a hard time fitting it in the camera and it's such a beautiful design stitched out. I added the lettering in the middle. So let me show you how that works. Because one of the great features about getting such a large screen in full color is that you can make your changes and additions right on the screen. So I'm going to set this and check out all the editing capabilities you have. This machine has memory space. So I can save this design to a USB or to the machine. I mean, not every embroidery machine at entry level will save designs to the machine. So this is one of these really great features. Additionally, moving sizing, so I can bring that, make this smaller or larger. Uh, rotating and mirror imaging. But let's go ahead and do what I did, which is personalize this because Embroidery is about personalization and it's about monogramming and making things personal for you. We can buy a, a design at the store, but we want it to be just for us, that wedding gift or a banner for our front door. So here you can see, let's um, scroll over. And in my case, I had written out home sweet home. So here's the first line set. One of the great things about brother machines is that they're all intuitive. They're just, if it says add, that's what it's going to do. So I'm going to use the touch screen to move this up. Maybe it's a little too big in my opinion. So I'm going to go to size and I'm going to take that down. Now you can always pay attention to the screen to the exact measurements, but I like to eyeball frequently and I would do something like that. And I'm just going to add again. So I come back, pick my font, and I'm back to putting things into my screen. I just wanted you to see how really easy this is. This could be a monogram. I mean, think of all the things you can monogram. And when you have a really big hoop like this, there's, I mean, you, there's a lot you can do there. So when we would finish our editing, we would just push edit end and embroidery and this is ready to go. You have all of the colors listed here, the approximate amount of time that it will take to stitch it out. So for each color, you can also move this by stitch number. So say you want to go ahead or behind in a certain number of stitches, or you can also um, change by color selection. So in the right-hand corner of this screen, you have a little box and if you are familiar with brother machines you know what this is and this is the particular piece you are stitching so this white that you see right here is right there and i'm going to move this ahead one so that you can see then then we're seeing the next section that we're stitching there's so much that you can do here and remember those jump stitches i was talking about you can turn those on and off so uh, that's a possibility as well. I get so excited when I see this. Up here in the top, and let me zoom in a little bit. You can see what foot you need. This uses the U foot. You can see how many stitches there are. There's almost 40,000, that it's a 70 minute stitch out and that there are 34 color changes. So yeah, this is a big one, all right? It fits in the six by 10 and there is a lot to see. With that, 
Heather, I definitely don't want to trim jump stitches on a 40,000 stitch. I'm with you, Barbara, design. right? <laughs> I mean, that would be a huge number to go back and forth with. So I love that feature about this machine. Um, so let's see what else we talked about that you can travel with it. Additionally, if I were to leave right now because, oh, you know what? It's late. I got to go to bed. I want to finish this tomorrow. If I turn this machine on and off, it will resume back where it was when I left it. So I don't have to remember where I was. I love that feature. And it also takes a USB flash drive. So over here on the side of the machine, you just plug in your flash drive, import your design, and you are ready to go. Uh, let's see, Barbara, what am I missing about this machine that, uh, did anybody have questions? I know I have more things I would like to talk about. Let's see. Additionally, oh, go ahead. Were you say some? Oh, uh, Marilyn says great oh. presentation, Heather, and I definitely agree. And this is one of our most popular uh, embroidery machines for people getting started. And I think that it's because the hoop size is so important when you're getting started in embroidery. Uh, that's six by 10 embroidery only. And at this price point with the brother technology of embroidery, everyone knows brother makes amazing embroidery machines. Um, I can say the best <laughs> because I know that that's true. Uh, sorry, but they do they make the best embroidery machines on the market. And um, the fact that you can get into that at only $14.99 with it trims jump stitches. It also works really well with the scan and cut. Uh, because you can uh, make the, the um, cut file appliques with that. It's just a perfect machine that you can grow Absolutely. With and I just saw someone say, hi, Eileen, how does the hoop go in the machine? Thank you for prompting me. Excellent question. Let me show you because this hoop glides into the machine. So you can see here that it has a lever that comes up and down on the side. And then I'm going to slide this side of the hoop. Oops, let me see which way I wanna turn that towards you. Right into the side. So I'm going to, and I purposely didn't put anything in it just so you could see how this works. So I'm going to slide this in very easily. Like I said, it just glides in. And then this lever locks into place. So if you're familiar with the very high end machines Brother carries, this is how they work. They're using the same technology that we have or for the high end ones, it will lock in to the moving embroidery arm. So this is a really great way to, uh, to have this set up and you're getting the same thing you would get on our high end machines. Automatic needle threader, another good question. Thank you, Charlene. Since I'm here, I'm going to move that forward and let you see the side of the machine. So this has the lever for, uh, for threading and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I wanted you to see where it was located. So I'm gonna unthread this, make sure this is focused. Okay, I'm going to wrap the thread around the side cut it on the needle, on the threader, and then I'm going to push that button that you just saw over here on the side. So I'm gonna push that and show you how that works. That was it. So this is a really easy needle threader that doesn't require you to get close up. It's consistently like that. This I know I've had some machines where you drop the uh, threader or you have to play around with it a little bit, but with this threader, you will consistently get good threading results and you don't have to have any any extra effort going into that. It is a drop-in bobbin that you can see right here, but I have to say Brother makes really good needle threaders. Here is the buttons that you get. These have scissor buttons, needle down and up buttons, and then the presser foot. So the presser foot pushed will give you the green light to go ahead and start. Yeah. With your embroidery. So, Heather, someone just asked how much does the machine weigh? Um, I usually like to pick these machines up like this. It is not that no. heavy. It's very portable. Um, it's not the most portable. We obviously have two more smaller ones here, but it is um, it is a very um, storable, portable machine. 
And I did look that up, Barbara, and it is just under 20 pounds. So that is not too bad. And I saw you pick that up. And I know I can easily pick this one up. And we have some that, you know, that's a little, it's a little bit of a push. Let me yeah. show you. This so is this, okay. this machine um, is a USB transfer um, yes. for this machine. That is correct. Oh, I see the question. Thank you, Beth. Yes, you would use your USB to save your PES design. And like I said, this machine actually has storage room in it. So if you make a design like I was doing my home sweet home and it was customized, or you have a customized monogram, save it to your machine or save it to the USB. You can do both and retrieve it that way. So uh, and I can show you that too. I was just giving you, here's a few designs. Those obviously don't go together, but uh, that I have pulled from this machine. There's a little shirt. Um, so this has a, this, like I said, almost, I think it's 198 designs. And uh, boy, there's, there's a lot to this machine. Let me show you how I pull up a design that I save. I'm just going to go home. You can see that you have a sewing machine option with a pocket and then the flash drive sign. And if I had imported a or put a flash drive into the side of the machine, I would push this button and it would open up whatever was on my flash drive. If I would push this button, this is everything that I have saved so far. And I actually have a couple pages of, of things I've saved. So you can see um, if I push this right here, this is when I originally made that design. So you don't have to store anything you've made on a flash drive, although you can. Uh, you can save it to your machine too. And that's, if you're like me, that's a huge help because I, I tend to say, which one of my 500 flash drives is the design on that I'm looking for? So I'm gonna go ahead and go back home. You also get frames. And we didn't talk about that yesterday. Yeah, but before that, yeah, Barbara just can't, just brought up a brilliant question. So, is there corresponding Disney a Disney machine? So, yes, there is a combination machine called an NQ thirty six hundred D that is available in retail stores only. Um, so, you can't purchase that one online. But guess what? You are in luck. Brother has a website and it's called ibroidery.com. That's ibroidery.com. I'm going to put that on the bottom of the screen. When you purchase a Brother machine and you go to www.ibroidery.com, um, the only, I think one of the two of the only machines that are excluded are the six needle and 10 needle, um, right. machines that are considered commercial. You have access to Disney characters through download if you have a brother uh, embroidery machine uh, through iBroidery. So that is phenomenal. So technically, they're all Disney machines except for the six and 10 needle. Exactly. And that's what I think we want people to know is that if you do decide to get a, a machine that's not Disney, you can certainly add those on. And I know I do. I was excited to find out that we had Star Wars. I didn't know. So I had to get busy on that. Uh, let's see. Oh, my gosh. There's so much here. Um, this particular machine stitches at 850 stitches per minute. So it is actually faster than some of our other entry level machines that you may have been experiencing currently or looking at. So again, this is moving you up a little bit more than our, our true entry level machines. It, it does a little bit more of everything. It has a bigger hoop than those. It stitches faster. You can do more. I love these built in. Uh, personalized uh, alphabets that we have, buttonholes, you know, I mean, really pretty accents to go with the buttonholes. And you'll notice I'm not, it's not difficult. This isn't in any way giving me a hard time. I'm, I'm uh, very easily accessing any of the designs and I'm trying to just sort of flow through so you can get an idea of what's here. But uh, like I said, almost 200 designs, so quite a few. And I'm a fan of these red work designs. I gotta say, and um, let me go back to this one. I gotta stitch that one out. I know it's on the side, but this, this winter scene, 
I love it, Barbara. I'm thinking I got to do that one next. Uh, but, and you have a couple more machines there, right? Yeah. So this machine actually qualifies for 12 months, 0% financing. So the NQ1600E, which has a bundle available on our website, allbrands.com, is 1499 You get 12 months, 0% financing. And guess what? We have this machine in stock. I know that sewing machines are hard to come by right now, uh, but we have stocked up and we have a great deal for you here. Uh, we also have two other machines that I wanted to let everybody know about um, that if, if this $14.99 price point isn't for you, that's totally fine. So we have another machine here that's a five by seven embroidery area. And that is our SE 1900 machine. And this one also has a color touch screen on it. But guess what? This one's a little bit smaller. It has a smaller embroidery area. So it's even more portable than the NQ1600E. Uh, and it's a sewing and embroidery machine for only $999. When you finance that, it's $166 per month. So at the price per month is a little higher because the payment is a shorter payment period. Um, so actually it's the less price per month on the NQ1600 that you have uh, with you, Heather. Um, okay, yes. Month. But for a sewing and combo embroidery machine, this is phenomenal. So I'll just show you one of the most important things to consider, Heather, when you're yes. So on the 1600, it has a slide off hoop. This is your hoop size here, okay? The five by seven is going to be a little bit smaller, but if you're using this as a secondary travel machine, it will definitely get you by. So here's the difference in size of hoops. So your machine will only go a certain embroidery area uh, when you purchase it. So the NQ1600 is the largest. This one is the second largest. And then I'll show you our very affordable combination. Uh, wonderful for a Christmas present for someone or a travel machine. That is our SE600. I'm going to pan the camera over. And that one is right here. And that's a four by four embroidery area. It has the color touch screen. It has the amazing needle threader. All of these have the same needle threader, the same great bobbin system. Um, and this one's just a little smaller. It's a sewing and embroidery combination machine. It's only $4.99, free shipping. And guess what? We have plenty of inventory. So your price per month is going to be approximately $84 per month on this machine. So super, super affordable. You have really great deals going on, Barbara, I got to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So just to recap, the NQ1600E sewing and combination embroidery machine, uh, six months, zero percent financing through Synchrony um, in stock, free shipping in the continental USA. The SE1900 five by seven inch embroidery machine, only $9.99 free shipping is and uh, six months, 0% financing. That one is also in stock. You'll get it by Christmas nice. and well before Christmas. <laughs> so you can start your Christmas projects. And here's our NQ1600E for $14.99. It's only $125 per month if you do the 12 months, 0% financing. And guess what? That is also in stock. So we actually need to wrap it up so we don't go over the time limit that Facebook <laughs> has on the video. So I'm going to come back on this on the screen here <laughs> with you, Heather, so that we can kind of just ask any questions and do our final giveaway for the day. So sounds good. And I also I don't need it here, but I do have my my Olaf mask that you could easily do in your machines as well. So that is super, super cute. <laughs> So while we're answering any questions, I'll go through that. Everybody start giving us some comments. If you have a question, ask it now. Um, otherwise, you'll have to join us tomorrow. Um, and I'll, I'm going to give away a $10 allbrands.com gift card to one lucky commenter. So go ahead. All day.
start giving those uh, comments. So let's see, questions, questions, questions. Um, what is the quilting area in the neck of the Q1600? That is a very good question. Do you know what that is? Well, now you can't quilt with it because it's not a combo machine. But, but you can embroider. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Of course you can. I believe, you know what? I don't have it written down, but I do believe it's eight inches. Great. Uh, let's see. Great day. Love all brands. We love you. We wouldn't be here without you guys. Um, I love this. I love this, what we do. And I love, uh, I love who we work with and our customers are amazing as well. Mm -hmm. Um, thanks for being part of the family, everybody. Ah, uh, Darby loves your mask. Okay. So <laughs> let me pick a random commenter to win and then we're going to have to get out other, otherwise Facebook's going to delete this video. <laughs> Okay. So ready, and our winner is Erica Lewis. Congratulations, you won a $10 allbrands.com gift card. Email events at allbrands.com, your name, email address, and phone number, and I'll get that emailed out to you on Monday. And thank you so much. Eartha has actually been with us all day. Oh, so that's if, great. If y'all have been watching with us all day, thank you so, so much. And um, just let us know in the comments if, if you have been here all day because we love you so much. <laughs> um, Barbara, someone said, can you say really quick what the bundle is that you get with the uh, 1600? Yeah. So let's see what that is. Hold on. Oh, we also have a trade-in on our website. Um, oh. But I, um, okay. So the bundle you get, let's see, NQ1600E. Thank you all for coming. It's so nice to see you comment. <laughs> all right. So with the NQ1600E at $14.99 for today, we are going to be giving the, um, let's see here. I'm sorry. I wasn't prepared to answer. Oh, I'm sorry. That. I gave you a stumping a stumper question right at the end. Yeah. So anyone that purchases this one um, before the end of the day today, I'm going to include the laser foot with that. Oh, so okay. that will cool. not be available tomorrow. Oh, so that's the bundle yeah. today. Yeah. Nice deal. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we have to tune out and congratulations to our winners and thank you everyone for watching. We love you so much. Thank you everyone. Okay. All right. We love you. See you Bye. tomorrow. Okay.